nothing to hold us back. These are the songs of the wild. Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to Monster Cats Call the Wild. Of course, it's one of our best times of the week to hang out with you, the community, and of course, re-experience some of our all-time favorite records, not to mention drop some new and upcoming releases. Today, you can expect to hear tunes from Fool and Extra Terra, Ramesses B, Laura Brem, No Taker, and another community pick. And of course, oh yeah, some teasers from familiar and new names to the family. So let's get it started. You're locked into Monster Cat's Call of the Wild. Up first, we have Dumu and Glenna with Intentions. And you're locked into Monster Cat's Call of the Wild.
Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. I'm hoping you're all doing very fine. It is Friday. You know what that means? It means you guys get to subscribe and literally hurt me for just trying to pay the bills. Yes, it is Friday. Oh god, what is wrong with my fucking tracking? You are literally- I look like I have scoliosis right now. What is going on? Oh, uh, come on. I don't know what's going on. It's doing this. It's been doing this for the past couple of days. Like, it will just randomly drift. Also, I, I, I added a fancy camera. Hello? Hello? I can't, I can't see it. Um. Um. Uh, I am here. Hi. I added a fancy camera. Hi, Mackie. Give me a moment. Uh, advance. No. Advance. Quick selfie. There we go. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> I don't need this camera. This camera doesn't seem to want to do what I need it to. Hi. Hi, Monk. Okay, this camera is causing me more problems than anything. Go away. Go away. Hi, Monk! Okay, I promise I'm a professional. I want to drop this. I just got spritzed by my air freshener thing. More. I need it to look at me. Okay, how do I have it so it looks at me? Focus. How do I set it so it looks at me? Because I'm... It's not under extras, it's not under hide lens. Movie mode, quick selfie, exposure, go back, what is it? Uh... Okay, so we can zoom it out. Oh, well, bye bye, thanks. Yee. Hello everyone, I'm trying to find a setting. Show me two, 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 two seconds. Stabilize, yes. I can try settings focus. No, settings. Move focus. Auto focus. Avatar focus. I need it so it looks at me. I can't remember where it is. Uh, it should just be looking at me. Should we just play with the styles? I like filmic. We'll go with filmic. Filmic looks nice. Is the music too loud, by the way? I know. I okay. So I'm I'm rocking Monster Cat right now. I'm here. I'm here. I'm rocking Monster Cat right now because I have a Monster Cat Gold license that I never fucking use, and I want to use it just for stream. Better. Oh yeah, I'm still trying to find this fucking setting before it looks at me. Is it just? Oh, it's under drone. Track self. Okay. So they have it, so the track thing, you can look at my feet. Why is that a thing? And also it won't go any higher than that. So you can look at my feet or you can look at me. What do you prefer? Oh shit. <laughs> it needs to be up a little. You want me to move it up a little? Okay. Let me move it up a little. I fingered it ever so slightly. Okay, I need to zoom the camera out. Better? And that should be good. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. How do I get rid of the camera, man? <laughs> 
Hi everyone, I am Miss KDB. I am a waste of fucking space, apparently. <laughs> I'm, I'm a professional streamer and content creator. I miss you so much. I miss you too, Mickey. How are you doing? So it's Fitness Friday. I might move. Oh wait, what am I doing? I just physically move around in my room and move shit around. <laughs> So I added this camera. I'm trying a slightly new format. Actually, I'm gonna change the... Uh... How do I change the lens? Aperture. Oh no, that shit makes things... Bokeh shape? <gasps> oh. We're going hexagon. Um. <laughs> Monkey brain. Exposure, focus, drop, uh, extras. Nope, nope. Advance. Uh, anxiety ones in. I'm gonna let anxiety in. I might have to go in, into a light. It's okay, I'm still. Oh god, I just overexposed the camera. Uh. Actually, I kind of like it like that. I like it being a little bright and makes it look nice. But yeah, so it is Friday. It is Fitness Friday. If you are new here, then you get to find out what we do on a Fitness Friday. This is really plastered onto my tits. I'm gonna need to raise that focal point. Um, so, Fitness Fridays are super simple. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Um, so Fitness Fridays are genuinely, um, you guys get to sub, cool, but in subscribing, I have to reward you guys with an array of fitness options. And we're doing squats. I positioned my track. The reason why I had tracking issues is because I put my tracker here. But yeah, I'm gonna do squats for subs. I'm doing squats for subs. Gifted subbers also I'm gonna write the name in the background. I'm gonna be an internet. I'm gonna be a Twitch whore for sub, sub super subs. Yes. Hi Thickus, how you doing? I'm still playing around with the camera. I put it on before I went to bed, okay? I should have done it before I got into VR chat so I could have played with it. Damn Katie, you're looking like a snack. I am a fucking meal, thank you. Where the fuck? I was in the Drone. I am a fucking meal. I will have you know I'm a fucking meal. <laughs> why is why did they add a look at feet? Why is there <laughs> like hey guys, you wanna look at my toes? Look at my toes, and it goes in between. It goes in between the feet, so they're always. <laughs> Why is it gonna look at feet? <laughs> you got a cameraman acting up. Oh yeah, my cameraman's always acting up. Ooh. How you doing? I have the true zoo. How you doing? I'm trying a new format. So I've learned, I've, I've kind of noticed that my streams have been me in tower defense world and it gets flooded with people. I am going to be learning from this point forward on how to be entertaining by myself. I need to move this. This is very, this is very boob centered. I swear, I took advice from a horny person. <laughs> needs to be here, not here. It needs to be... The cam... The cam... Yes, Thickus, the cameraman knows what he wants. Hi. Yes, the cameraman knows what he wants. I don't get a say in any of... I don't get a say in any of this. This is... <laughs> The cam- the cameraman knows what he wants. I- I don't get to choose, okay? I don't get to choose. 
Uh, Annie Fluff, how you doing? <laughs> you joined at the weirdest time. The, the, the cameraman knows what he wants. I'm sorry, my cameraman is horny. Granted, I am my cameraman. He knows what he wants, okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you. This is the Fitness Friday version, so any subs and support. If you drop gift subs, you get your name. I, I'm going to write your name in the world in the background. Don't ask why. I've just decided to do that today. If you subscribe, in general, I have to do one squat per, like two squats per sub. Anyone who does Big Bomb, uh, big, big, uh, what was it? 5,000 bits or more, $50 or more, or five or 10 gifted subs or more. No, no, I'm gonna say this. Anyone do doing over 2,000 bits, $20, or five gifted subs, I'm gonna write the name in the world. Let's just do it that way. I'm gonna be, I wanna be, I wanna be nice to you guys. I'm gonna get the pen. Are you the rainbow? <gasps> yes, I have the rainbow pen. I have the rainbow pen. Ready? I'm a great artist. It's a lovely cloud. I drew a cloud. I totally drew a cloud. 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 Not clout. What the fuck? Tracking. Why am I a gremlin? I literally. What the fuck happened? Go here, aggressive lens, enable. I'm back again. <laughs> um, I'm back. I'm fine. Promise. I don't know why, but me literally. Drop. I'm gonna put you literally in the middle of the table so anyone joining shouldn't step on you. Drop. And then we go. Drone? Self, selfie track, here we go. And then we can zoom in. Yes! There we go. Hmm, what type are you? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? And there are... Hi Fats! Hi Pos 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 Poseidon. That wasn't a cloud. That was very much a cloud. Are you shit it? I stood up! I, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on with my tracking right now. It's just... Hi Anxiety! The fuck? Am I taller on one leg? I, ca I step here and I... Fucking midget, Harry. Why is it when I move here, I get shorter, and then as I move across the room, I get taller? I think I need to. Re I think I need to redo my play space. I think it's thinking it's slanted. I know. I'm gonna try and stay here. Howdy. Oh no, I'm a footer. It's Friday, it's been I am a, a long week, I'm Millie rocking, boys! <laughs> yes, if you want to know, I am a footer, I am not a femboy. There's a huge difference. For example, femboys... Present. <laughs> femboys are just dudes that look feminine. Oh, fuck femboys are just Ow. Femboys are just dudes that look feminine, whilst uh, footers are literally... Um, Basically the same, but upgraded because they get titties. And you can try and breed them all you want, they ain't gonna get pregnant. <laughs> I may need to turn the music down a little. Yeah, a female footers are genuinely just upgraded bad boys. We're the better, we're the better choice. We're the smarter choice. You can try and breed me. It ain't happening. I'm changing the music. It's a bit loud for me. 
Crazy to think that that record is turning uh, what five years go home. this year. OMG, is that Futa? I must take photos on my iPhone. Of the week, which goes to you could afford an iPhone. This is never enough. Stay tuned. How? Uh, yeah, except it seems a little bugged. There's a problem with the wallpaper. <laughs> yeah, that's not a Futa. That's a femboy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my play space. No, I move that. So I move that's my face on anime. So I move this way and I start to crouch and I move this way and I just suddenly stand up. I I I I, was... I don't know. Yeah, I can't help you here, but I can't help you this. What is going on? It's a crusty crab. This is a crusty so, crab. Like, I'm gonna have to I reset my camera. You, I'm gonna okay, crab. I'm gonna reset my avatar. What am I doing? I want to recalibrate. That's it. I'm going to recalibrate my avatar. Okay, fuck this. I am not. I am. Fuck. Fuck the fancy camera. We're going back to just the standard bitch stream camera. It is less hassle and it doesn't bug out every five seconds. Just going to turn you guys on. Turning the focus on so it looks roughly the same. There we go. Literally roughly the same as what I look like before. <laughs> This camera is just less problematic, but I still have, I don't have the problem anymore. I don't even reset or recalibrate, it's not a a problem. Boy. 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 I'm going oi, he's going boy. Hi Cybersmith, hi Taras. Boy. <laughs> don't tell Cal. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't tell Cal. Don't tell Cal. He'll murder you and then just be upset with me. <laughs> Don't tell Cal. What is he going to do when I have an ass boy? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna change this music again. Okay. It's okay. All I, have to, all I have to do is use the pommel and he'll submit. That was an axe. It was an axe. It was a mighty axe. <laughs> Hello, dead bug. Hey. Ooh. Oh wait, yeah, I'm gonna put the camera in the world. There we go. Move the camera so it locks into the world, because then they can move it away. Hey, hey, they I added a thing with the camera so you can actually just grab the lenses now. So we go. I don't like where you are. Go fuck yourself. Move it around. There we go. Cool. Okay. They actually made it so you can move the camera. I love that. Because it keeps all the settings. Aww. I don't know if this one will let me read the text on my on my trophy. I haven't made it that I can go into my hand just yet. So we're squatting? Yes, today we are squatting. T today I'm doing squats. Not slav squats. I'm not doing slav squats. I'm, I, I, I'm, I, may, I may be a degenerate pandering for subs and You're stuff, drunk. but I'm not, I, 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 Oh, I, fucking oath I am, Cam. I, I at least respect human rights. <laughs> what if I was left, huh? What if I went left, the direction? Human lefts? I mean, I, I mean, if you, if you, challenged. if you, here's a thing, if you don't believe in human rights, do you just believe in human lefts? I, be I believe in the directionally challenged. I get confused between my left and my right all the time. I, I'm with you on that, don't worry. I got... <laughs> How much have you drank tonight? It's night for them, by the See. way. How much have you drank? I'm trying to find sake. I want to try sake. I've never tried sake. I'm a weeb, okay? I'm allowed to want sake. I'm very much a weeb. Oh. I imagine. Cal doesn't need to know. I any fluff. You were you 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 right you right you right. <laughs> you 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 right by the way yeah. Fruits are nice. We're just upgraded femboys at the end of the day. Like everyone going oh my god femboys are so hot and then like all the people like all the big Twitch streamers like soda popping and. If you're into fruits, you can't of... say pegging isn't hot. 
<laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, yeah, that's the one benefit you get from Fooses that you don't really get from cis girls. You can fuck- with, 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 with cis girls, you fuck them and you might accidentally- and then, um, nine months later, a, a, a person might pop out. With a Fooser, you can fuck them all you want, they ain't gonna have a kid. And if you're into getting pegged, the, 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 the strap-on is always available, it's not going okay. anywhere. Okay, well, listen, listen, if you fuck, if you fuck the sis, right, they, listen, you may have to wait nine months, but you also have the option to jump countries and just go. <laughs> God knows my dad did. Yeah, but here's the thing, here's the thing, there was a thing in, in oh the, there was oh a God, thing. Oh God, pieces loose. There was a thing in ah. the. There was a thing on like Jerry Springer or something recently where this woman was going the funny I, I think she turned I, I, no it wasn't Jerry Springer it was a comedian that literally turned around and said being a woman is great you can literally tell a guy you're on birth control not be on birth control have a kid and then he has to stay I'm like oh, yeah that's the reason why so many guys just literally go to the store to pick up mil milk or cigarettes and never come back <laughs> It's that attitude which That's fucks why they the moved country. to Amsterdam. <laughs> it's Don't either mind. Amsterdam or Hong Kong. I've noticed a recurring pattern. I got none of that, Truzy. Oh my god, is that Speedy Man from the, the Batman vs. Superman? You are cultured swine. I'm surrounded by memes. I'm supposed Shut to be. I'm supposed to be trying to change boy. my format of me being alone. Bottom I said yes bitch. to these two de degenerates. You're a and bottom I'm... bitch. Literally within Final Fantasy lore, you're a bottom bitch. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear anything out of your fucking bitch He's mouth. He's not wrong, by the way. Nero is a bunny boy, <laughs> which does make him like a a power bottom of sorts. <laughs> He has no comeback. I'm he one. knows he's right. He knows he's right. He knows he's just a species of femboy. <laughs> I mean, my next, he's my, a species my next of excuse. My next Fortnite. excuse. <laughs> Western Australian. Shut the fuck up. Hey, <laughs> red face. How are we doing? Yeah, well, to be honest, Western Australia is still the best side. <laughs> West Compared side. To, you know, he's, he, he's literally West, going. West he's literally Australia, starting to do the West teenagers. side is the best. So, fucking Queensland, <laughs> where most of the you know, interesting West conventions happen. West side is the best. No, no. East side. It's, 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 it's the same. Corona cases. <laughs> Rising up again. <laughs> Are you seriously competing? Cases all those are around the world. Are still those, are still those, those uh, you know, conventions Nero, Nero, and all Nero, that. Nero, all Nero, Nero, we, we as a human race does not compute with your oh, excuse to corona cases. We are yeah, as sorry, a fucking like race much. doomed. It's to be hit. It's okay. No, and Taz is fucked The only it's okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, Taz is fucked, but I the only reason Western Australia is fucked and safe is because of how many inbred fucks there are. They spread the fucking They're talking like, about which side of Australia is better. Either way, most of the country's mm. on fire or flooded. Their opinions mean nothing. They literally have a thing called a drop That's there. That's three spring. And they three lost. Spring. And they lost. It's summer and almost autumn. And they lost. Listen, no, you bring up the fucking emus. And you fucking, you fucking lost, you lost a war against birds. You lost, you lost listen, a war against listen, birds. The difference is you lost a war The difference between birds. those birds. No, hang on. The difference between those fucking birds is even though they're flightless, they are fucking powerful. You try and take on a fucking <laughs> emu by yourself. Second of all, long term, we won that shit. Who was trapped <laughs> in a cage and we watched for our own fucking amusement? Huh? You tell me. Isn't West Australia just Perth in a small town? That's basically, it's just tumbleweeds and pregnant teenagers. <laughs> well, they gotta fucking preoccupy themselves with something. It can't, it can't just, it can't just go into the outback and start collecting, and start counting sand. Have you never been to New Zealand? It's like, I forgot, I just insulted either, that past they, time. They either do that or they count sheep in a different way.
Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're right, Thora. It's pretty much just... It's just a country of nothing with a big rock in the middle. Isn't Ayers Rock literally dead center to Australia? Yeah, it's just a uh, giant rock, and Australia? I find it fucking funny because it's it's like uh, oh, oh, yeah, the giant rock, rock landmark. The giant yeah, rock. The giant yeah, this rock. says and this says you're in the middle because so it's sacred. It's sacred fucking territory to the Aboriginals, right? And one of our old fucking PMs fucking climbed that rock, disrespecting all of them, and she got stuck up there because she was too much of a bitch to climb oh, down. Like what? Ten meters? No, fucking Pauline Hanson. I I don't. Know. I, I'm well, she wasn't a PM, was I invited I Australia no, I to We have dude, 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 dude. We have the dumbest fucking it's, people it's, in this, this fucking country. This is politics okay. in a nutshell. Yeah, yeah, I, I still know, find Pauline Hanson no, is just a racist up. cunt. The Brit invites the oh, Australians for some but, uh, talks. I still find it hilarious. And it turns into arguments. Because what? of the fact... Look because I find it hilarious because she friends. climbs up like 10, 15 meters up fucking Uluru, disrespecting all the aboriginals, and she's like, I cannot get down the rock. It's like, how can you fucking walk up a rock and then you get, you're too scared to just walk back down? She's a fucking idiot. Because, I'm... Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm not even shitting you. She climbs up a fucking... Like, sacred territory. She climbs isn't, up sacred territory, fucking defiles it, and then she's like, I can't get back down. Isn't Australians' politics basically every so often Foster's releases a bear with a gold cap or something, and the person who gets the gold cap gets to be Prime Minister? I don't even know. I, I don't, feel like that's literally they Australian they politics. Do. It's literally so, whoever so, gets the golden so, cap okay. Foster's gets no, to be no, no, Prime no. Minister for the next few years. Australian Australian politics is who gets to fuck over the country the most. So we'll have one party that tries to do good, but they can't do anything of what they planned because they're stuck cleaning up everything that's fucked. That's every <laughs> from the last party. That's every country in existence, not just Australia. That's America. Yes, except except. I mean, did you hear this? Except yours is just fucking. Did you hear this? Yours just. Did uh, you, uh, listen, it, it, listen. It, it, yours and America lacks intellect. Ours is just alcoholics and drug guys. I mean, I mean, did you hear recently what happened with like uh, uh, out of the US? Uh, apparently, Trump was found flushing documents down the toilet and stealing documents from the I White House was... when he left. What is that? What is? <laughs> I thought I thought Biden was in. Biden's in, Wait, but Joel the thing Biden. is, is it's, it's been like two years since Biden. It's nearly been two. It's, what was that? Just over two, over a year now since um. Biden's oh, been uh, but basically all well, the shit about Trump basically go he stole documents that even recently came in he shredded documents which the which is which uh, people in the White House had to glue back together because did you know the president of the United States isn't allowed to actually um, tear up or shred documents it's literally a legal obligation of the president and um, apparently they had that's, to bro, that's free, weird they shit. frequently had to unclog his personal toilet because apparently there was documents clogging. I mean, because he was I have no reason the to documents. believe it. Just for the fact that everybody made up a lot of shit about him. Oh no no no! That's the thing. That's the that. But but that's the thing. Everyone turns around and said, "Oh, that sounds that's all untrue. Why would he do that?" I'm like, and then later on, it turns out actually, um, it was fucking right. <laughs> Go find the other Australian. Go find the other Australian. I get distracted when they're here. What's up? He's Western. Doing? I don't want to deal with them. Okay, so really like, it's okay to luck. I don't. I actually, I actually prefer it when I, I like lurkers in, in my, in my, in my streams. Don't ever think I don't. Just genuinely, never think I don't like streamers. Streamers who hate lurkers are fucking idiots. I seriously, anyone who says, "Why is no one talking?" It's, my chat is dead. Ugh, it's like, shut up. Literally, luck is of the lifeblood of your stream. Let it be. Let it be Lee. Let it be Lee. Let it be Lee. Do you just have Jack Daniels? Like, are you just waiting for, like, um, Beeve to get on or something? I don't know. I learned how to do Unity stuff and it was a very bad idea. <laughs> What Unity stuff did you learn? This entire model. I learned how to make hats. So I have my party time hats that makes me I have glasses and a party hat, which I learnt, I made in like 10 minutes while I was drunk today. I have a crusty crab hat. I have 
Burger King hat. I have my spider Spider-Man suit. I have Kratos. I have an axe on my back, which I can also summon to my hand, and it, if I swing it hard enough, it makes noise. I learned that shit. I have a sword, I have a deagle on one leg, I have a flintlock pistol on the other, I have Mirage's statue from Apex Legends, which reads, if you read the plaque on the front, it says, best VR chat streamer based on views, but mostly drama. But anyway, people got <laughs> angry about that, as it turns out. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what else? I have an I, I have my iPhone, which you saw has this on this on the, the, the screen. <laughs> and another thing I made 15 minutes while I was drunk is this. <laughs> They've been learning. I'm not drinking. Jake Daniels. I'm not gonna drink that. Mm. It's been a long. I it's been a very time. long week. You should get some rest if you're up late. Yeah, you yeah get, get Seamus some... in the lobby. No, it's been a long week in the fact of I hate everybody. I want to drink. I just realized someone's request. Someone sent me an invite called Yuffy. I'm like, I I don't want to yuff. Thank you. No, don't yuff. Oh, I swear to fucking god, I will find you. Okay, okay so if you're coming in, by the way, time. when it, when's exercise? <laughs> exercise happens when I get subs, bits, or donations, roughly one pound to one squat, because do you, I have done do you it play before. music with your CDs? Why? See, what do you mean, why? I I'm stream not, music. Like, play, I, I stream music. Do you, if you exercise, part. do you use CDs? No. CDs not. I'm from a first world country. I'm sorry, we don't. Um, I'm from a first world country. We ha we have streaming services. <laughs> it's so bad, but it's so true. Uh, it's so bad, but true. I'm from a first world country. We have Spotify. <laughs> but yeah. Um, okay, so okay, if you want to know when exercise Spotify happens, Spotify is bullshit. I'll, I'll continue. You say your thing first. But it's the fact that I'm lich from the UK. We lich. We, we, I can literally order anything I want to my door. I go, oh, I want alcohol. It goes to deliver, finds alcohol once, hits order, comes to door, has ID. Thank you for um, uh, sending drunk for the day. Nice. Dab. Don't ask why I dab. I dab. I, 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 I'm an idiot, okay? Are you talking about uh, Seamus uh, McCracken? Yes. You want them in the world? Yes, he is okay. He'll sit there and just quietly nod. But also, what I was going to say, Spotify is bullshit, right? So, if you're using the free version, it makes no it doesn't make sense to me right so you only get six skips per hour so you can only sit you know skip six songs mm. but if you skip too many songs in like one go the a little prompt comes up that says oh you should edit your playlist and change what order your songs play in which is utter bullshit it doesn't make fucking sense because if you're using the free version of spotify on mobile not only can you not choose what song to play from, like, anywhere, it can only play your entire playlist in shuffle mode. So you don't get to choose what order your songs play in. So it makes no fucking sense for this dumbass prompt to come up to say, edit your playlist for what songs play in order. So I'm like, what the fuck, Spotify? Make your fucking mind up. It's the dumbest bullshit. They, you only get but to like, edit. why the fuck does it have to be a premium? Why does it have to be a premium feature just to choose what song I want to listen to in my playlist? I am officially, what the fuck? I am officially surrounded by Australians. I've got the collection. I've got the drunk one, oh, the hyperactive is. child, <laughs> and the god complex. Where did the god complex go? Is the god Smiley. complex in Brisbane? Smiley, there's new additions to the model. I'm leaving. Come back. Why aren't you two living together yet? We are, we are because yet. He's I'm poor. Only just started going back to work. Yeah, but oh. this is because of that. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now we can actually show that he is actually drunk. <laughs> Yo! Drinks! Drink, bitch. <laughs> I'm fine, don't make me drink. <laughs> I'm being so real. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, being bullied by Australians. I get work again, I get the money, help. I save, I did not and sign then up for this. I, I come over. <laughs> I did not sign up for exactly. this. Exactly. I, I have too much work at the moment. You have too much. Is this another Aust Are you another Australian? Yes. For fuck, I've literally, I'm surrounded by Australians. I used to own your land. <laughs> Why am I surrounded one, by one you? Great one is <laughs> Boomer. <laughs> well, we'll still got a queen, so technically it's still yours. True, 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 true. Save me, David. I'm being surrounded by Australia. I'm literally being. Co I'm I mean, collecting no, no, Australia. Listen, Seamus. Listen. <laughs> Seamus is right, but also. Are you wrong. kidding me? I, I, hear... I will be back in a minute. Entertain my chat. I hear March 11th will be an interesting day for the Queen. Uh, Why is that? <laughs> what is March 11th? I, I am very stupid. What is March 11th? Ask. I don't know, ask Jay Schlatt. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Schlatt seems to know. Hello. Wait. My internet is pee pee poo poo. I. Okay, and where's the center of the camera? Is this the center? Okay, okay, yeah, 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 the center Australians the are now taking over the British. Yeah, we have the, taken the, over the palm. It. The palm is fucking yeah, hey, let me take a photo. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, let me Damn. We're vlogging, we're vlogging, yo, what's up? Damn. Welcome to MTV <laughs> Welcome to MTV, yo, MTV Crips, where we fucking killed the British person. Dab. Dab on the corpse. Hey, uh... Yeah, dab, dab on the haters, dab, <laughs> dab, dab. So they already have a crack, there's no need to make another one. The, uh, listen, someone's asleep, I need to crack somewhere. <laughs> crack <a call. laughs> The fuck were you doing? Uh, yeah, oh, I don't know, smiley, smiley. My I dad know ordered a fucking Eskimos. light bulb. What the fuck? <laughs> Just a singular light bulb? Yes, because for some reason he has like a huge thing for like old style Edison bulbs. As so, a, he, so he has to as order. A, as a delivery driver, that triggers me. <laughs> like, seriously, because he gets all, he gets those the big round ones with the huge uh, filament coil in the middle. The like the really Edison. really old style ones. Yeah, the old style ones, and he's like, he orders them, but when for some reason he's like, oh, I've got to get a new bulb singular and it's just round and it fills up the whole box i'm like for fuck's sake it like fills up the entire fucking room it's not even that it's just one single fucking edison bulb and it's not even it's gonna last like 20 minutes because old edison oh, bulbs edison are bulb. shit they the look really big round one they literally look pretty but they are terrible they literally last like tenth of the time like, i think my entire house is filled with those they look nice, but they're so shit. I'm being surrounded by Australians and their humor. This is not good. Where's David? How the fuck does one operate a gun? Where the fuck is the gun? Where is it gone? Hang on. Where's the gun? I got, I have gun now, it's mine. Oh. Stick them up, Smiley. Um. <laughs> Stick them up. Stick them up, stupid. Uh, I'm just going to just, I'm just, just going to just... Okay, goodbye. Bye. Good riddance. <laughs> I think David crashed. Moist. I should never have invited you guys. I should have just stayed on my own. I, just... I started this. You're Where okay. You're not a go? problem. It's this one that's the problem. Ah. Which one's the problem? <laughs> the one Which that- one? the one talking. Who is talking? He was talking as well, so which was the problem? Cookie more cookie quicker, what do you mean? My cable's up there. He's addicted to playing cookie quicker. Really. 
It really yeah, like, I, I like I like it. It's easier. It's easier to connect with you. Like no shit against mutes, but holy fuck, am I too stupid to understand what the fuck they're saying when they sign language me? I don't know what the fuck you're trying to say to it me. Doesn't, when you do this shit, it I don't doesn't, know what the fuck you're saying. Get it doesn't, a pen or like your weird text to speech bubbles. Fucking say something to me, cunt. I'm too fucking dumb to it translate you shit. It doesn't really help that. In VR chat, we have American Sign Language and Japanese Sign Language and stuff like that. So it's like, yo, Sign Language, which one are you using? It's no like, hablo espanol. It's literally, no hablo espanol. Smiley, go home. No, leave this world. <laughs> leave this world. Leave this world. Oh yeah, you might, re you might need to help me re- You might need to help me remember how to put the ragdoll script back on. I've already forgotten how. It has been that long. Are they drowning? Oh, disappointing. Nice. I love the water. Time to go for a nice swim. Uh... I love- <laughs> I, well, yes, the thing I is, is the primary the sign language nice in swim. the primary sign language in VR chat is um, uh, is American sign language. Um, the secondary one would be Japanese. Yeah, like I, 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 I know, I know, idiot. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck <laughs> where I am in my room. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> <laughs> They're drunk. I'm gonna check. You, you, you should go to bed. I fell over. You should go to bed. You should go to bed. No. You should go to bed. Never. You should go to bed. No. You should go to bed. I can't move. I'm paralyzed. That's a you problem, not a me problem. Fucking pom, of course. It's hey, a me game problem. Up. Hey, game up. Uh, I'm uh, being. I'm I'm being I'm being abused oh, by the I, I'm being abused by the colonies. Boy. Ah. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I stood on my cable. I can't break this cable, otherwise no more VR since Vibe does not support the three-in-one cable anymore. Yeah, that's the reason why I moved over to the NTX Switch because my cable was giving out. You can get oh, them. Well, you you see, can get you them. You see, you, you see, I was on Index before, you but can... then my cable broke. And because you... I cannot RMA it, I cannot get new cable. You can get the <laughs> three-in-one cable, but it costs like $200. And and the thing is, this is the older the two hundred dollars I don't have. Yeah, the, the thing is with the Vive as well. The three in one cable just gets increasingly more and more expensive, so it's becoming more and more difficult exactly. to get. So it's just, it's not it's no longer. Uh, when I checked, it was like one hundred twenty dollars, and then I checked. I, I think I checked again like two three weeks ago. It was like up to one hundred and seventy. Means it's probably about two hundred now. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, like, I... yeah, no, fuck that, <laughs> fuck that shit. I'm out. What happened to my music? <laughs> it might. What? You know what I like about the My fucking model? Spotify died! Good. You fucking piece of shit. Smash. Yeah, you know what I like about the tabs model? Are you fucking kidding me? Is even with no facial expressions, my... you can sense the emotion. Okay, from I'm you. just gonna Google Monster Cat sense. and we're just gonna I go. I, I, I want this. Can, I, can I have the tabs model just so I can fuck with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send you one. <laughs> okay, okay. Smile. I have a proposal. If you make your like your current like OC model, like if you give it the outfit and everything, I'll make. I'll give my, my. I'll give my current tabs base the cuts. I, I just need. I just need. I just need music. I'll find a way to like give them the full outfit. The hoodie and everything. Do it, yes. There we go. Two hours. <laughs> I shit my lean anxiety. Really it's just so a head weird. squat you need, I mean, really need to you do. Say, I, wait, anxiety no, has a girlfriend? technically. Because I just give him the hoodie and do the You have the a text, girlfriend? Called... Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> hmm? Yeah, he does. You have a girlfriend? Oh. I mean, where are you hearing this shit, Nero? Chat, uh, chat, chat, chat. chat I've so... been up there. <clears throat> yeah. On the You're roof. You're saying I have oh, the world. 
Yeah, I'm surrounded Maybe. by colonials. Who's Miley? I don't know. Miley the Yo, Miley Cyrus? Okay. <laughs> yes, Miley Cyrus Miley is my Cyrus girlfriend. Miley Cyrus is my girlfriend, I mean, like, but Hannah Montana's a I'm bitch. I'm interested Fuck that in bitch. possibly seeing someone, but like... <laughs> Literally seeing Zaiti saying that Miley Cyrus is my girlfriend, but Hannah Montana's a bitch. I'm like, they're the same person. Nah, she's a bitch. <laughs> she keeps stealing my girlfriend away from me. Fuck that bitch. They're a different... They're the same person, Zaiti. That, that is a video I'm putting on Twitter. Fuck you. Shut <laughs> Miley Cyrus is my girlfriend, <laughs> but... Okay. Hannah Montana's a bitch. A fucking video. Fuck that so, bitch. so I have to make a video about my fucking community because even though the last time they even spoke about it was September, they still want me to buy a fucking bidet. They want me to buy a fucking bidet and use it and make a video about it. You want to know what's really stupid? What's you know what's really stupid? Me and Cal. So you know what's really, so, really honestly, stupid? Honestly, Google it, but TLDR, it's a thing you attach to your toilet and it shoots a cold jet stream of water up your asshole. Yeah, it cleans, it, it's a oh clean- fuck, I need this! It's okay if you if you if you have the money if you if, smiley smiley if you smiley you still need to use toilet paper it makes no difference smiley but here's the thing if you want to go next level get a japanese toilet because if you need to pee that's you walk in. What it is. It's you no 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 no. Rich. It's so much better. It's so much. It's so much better. Cause what it is with a Japanese toilet is you walk into your bathroom. It senses that you have entered the bathroom and it lifts the lid for you. It if you you can also set it so it goes. I'm gonna lift the lid and the seat for you because you if you are a guy and you commonly come in and pee, you go up to it and then you can pee. If you need to go toilet, you just press a button. It goes, and then you, if you need to poop, then you press a button. It goes. And then when you leave the bathroom, it will shut the lid for you, flush the toilet, and then spray the room with some nice mm -hmm. smell for you. Japanese toilets are next fucking level. And they, and, smiley, even better. I smiley, room. I want, smiley. I want those to know the power of my ass <laughs> when they walk in after me. Smiley, even better. Uh, Japanese toilets are heated seats. I hate to see that myself. What the fuck do you Yeah, mean? but they can they no, can they I can both heat and cool They can both heat and cool the things and it comes with a bidet built into it. They're pretty expensive though, they're like a thousand they're like a thousand dollars, but they're way worth it. Like I'm me and Cal are looking at getting our own place and I'm like sitting there going, I wanna I want a Japanese pooper. I want a Japanese pooper please. Give me the Japanese book. I mean, when I first saw that to that toilet, I'm like, no, I want water on my ass because that feels like an enema or something. Oh, shit. I have used bidets, and uh, my um, my um, grand my grandma's place has um, uh, she's got like three bathrooms, and each one has a bidet. And when I was growing up, I wondered Yo, what the fuck it was. Yo, I get a fucking really badly made one for like four hundred dollars that just clips onto your existing toilet. <laughs> uh. You want a Japanese pooper? I, Those are like the ne is the thing. Friend. Japanese toilets are literally so, yeah. the future, it, and, and I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna tell my mum when I next see my mum. I'm gonna tell her that she should look at getting a Japanese toilet for her place because she's like been renovating the bathroom. Wait, this thing is fucking RGB in it. Oh, you yeah, that's another thing as well. You can get RGB models, so they have like little lights that sit around the base, and it just lights up can the whole I make thing. It though, whenever I go for a piss, it just plays caramel dancing. Yes. Actually, yes, you can, and I know how to do that. You know, Smiley, I also figured out how to make, how to modify- Yeah, David, I'm surrounded by the Australians. A, I'm surrounded I, by Australians. I, I also by the way, game of work out, I've got my camera in the middle of the- like, In the middle of the- It's an off and on switch, but if you turn it on, it only turns on- It only activates when you fucking, like, if the accelerator on your car hits the fucking floor. It'll I'm surprised at how well this hex speakers. tracks my trip. It tracks my hip, amazing. even though my track is here, like up here on my waist. But it's like, it shouldn't be tracking me that cleanly. Thing about getting a bidet. <laughs> you see, smiley. What my? Well, I, I I have to do a whole fucking like subathon thing again. My community wants me to buy a bidet, make a video review on it. I don't want to because I do not want a jet stream up my asshole. Apart, the, <laughs> um, they're, they're more hygienic. Will, Bidets are more hygienic, though. 
But days are more hygienic though. Really, I'll, I, the uh, I sent you the. Uh, the more hygienic. I found it at Dick Smith's. Uh, but days are way more hygienic compared to just wiping your ass normal though. We're just, just giving. Gonna me a we're, we're, we're giving. We're giving. We're giving anxiety like a midlife crisis, like a mental like. What I'm am in, I doing? With I my know. Legs? I'm in a call at the moment. Also, no, you still need to use fucking you toilet yes, paper to wipe your ass. Yes, but here's the thing. But here's the thing. You are still. If you, no, so you are still anxiety. No. No. Anxiety. No. If you, if the dryer is effective. If, listen, no, 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 listen, 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 oh, you're not pressing me, this is Australia, this is Australia for you, they, they, they get an opinion, and they sit and they shout, and they moan, no, here's the thing, if you have chili, if you get, who is with my tracker? Good, fuck your tracker. If you are using if you a bidet, get, sure. if you your get, may be clean. no, no, no. If you listen, let me finish my fucking sentence, if you get really you bad chili talk. shit, let me finish my fucking sentence, then you can talk, okay? You use a bidet, your asshole is now wet. If you are like every other motherfucker on Twitch, you're gonna have a hairy asshole. You need to wipe that shit dry, so you're still using the same amount of toilet paper, so it makes this no difference. In it. This one has an air dryer in it. <laughs> Who says the air dryer is effective? The no. reason, anyway, okay, okay, the done. reason oh, why a bidet is more, is the reason why a bidet is more hygienic is because if you have, if you get really bad chili shits one day, like you have a huge chili con carne and then you're up and down all night going to the fucking toilet, you're gonna wipe your ass and it, you're gonna wipe your ass fucking raw. A bidet stops it from going raw. It just sprays your ass raw. It sprays your ass, and it stops it from being super fucking Is dry. This just so the you don't spray get over scarred. Your ass. You don't. You're so pent you up. don't want to scar butthole. Katie, are you just pent up? That cow won't spray over your ass. Is that what's going on here? No. What the fuck? I fuck, and he smells it for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I solved my case. I solved my case. You're a bidet for cow. I'm just thinking this whole time, anxiety. You're gonna give yourself like a fucking heart attack. After He's this. gonna give him himself a heart attack I'm because he doesn't. Attack he doesn't understand the eloquent elegance of a fucking smiley, bidet. Smiley, listen. I've only lived. I, I lived with Smiley for like what two or three days, and he already raised my blood pressure just because he had a leaning tower of pizza boxes. <laughs> Yes, I was at a reading tower it, of pizza Katie, Katie, it reached, it reached the fucking ceiling. And the ceiling was probably about this high as well. I'm, 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 it was about high. this fucking I'm, I'm high. <laughs> it's probably, it was probably right while we were standing. Oh too. wait, I understand why yeah. anxiety doesn't want to fucking get a bidet. He's from Australia, he just wants to, he, he'd rather go outside and wipe his ass with sand. Get, no, no, I'm not into leaf, sand. Get, just get like a fucking leaf from a tree and then you'll I'm just not, wipe your ass. No, 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 listen, listen, emus stick their head in sand. I don't want to fuck with that. They could be hiding in that shit. What do you think people used to use before toilet paper? Small animals. Yeah, but... Tree bark. Oh God. But the thing is this, anxiety is the type of person that would literally go, Hmm. Like everyone else is using like these oh, really soft the using everyone's everyone else is using these off. really lovely soft leaves that are really really good and really superior. Yeah. And he's just going there going, no, nah, I'm gonna <laughs> use fucking poison ivy to wipe yeah. my ass because I, I like, like the no, sting. Katie, just Katie, Katie, I just said small what will happen is I'll use smiley as my ass wipe. He'll shave his hair off, grow back in a week. There you go, new toilet paper. Yeah, it's great when you don't shit for a week, well, you don't wipe for a week and you just shave it off. I want a yeah. divorce. I want a fucking divorce. It's weird that this baby's just give you a I mean, a Katie, Katie, it's a win-win either way, because have you ever heard of a trick? I don't know what to help you. I want to leave. <laughs> I wanted to try and build my it, own today, and then a, the, the fucking Australian spam. But all the Australians fucking spam requested on me. 
That one spam mm. request on me. That one spam request on me. That one didn't. No, I didn't. I they did. Excuse once. me. Excuse me. I yeah, only I hit the request once. invite button once, but it may send 40 invites I when it. I do it because yes. I also only requested once. Fuck you. It... Smiley spam requested me, so I said request of Katie. <laughs> I want a divorce. Yeah, I, yes, I, I, I want a fucking divorce. I don't. I, I, Wait, who, who are you, you divorcing? Like like, Hang on. I, I want. I want. You it. can't divorce I, me. I'm king. I want to quit life right now. This, this, the, the, the this oh, Australian oh, hair is make, it is is making. Oh, man, I was it's hot. They hot. Okay, okay. I can help with this. So. Okay, you ready? You okay? We are, uh, what's the VTuber definition? You're graduating from life. All right. Oh, snap back. One, no, no, no. I'm snapping back two, to reality. That's what it's three. You snap back to reality. You suck. And he swallows as well, so be careful. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because spit is a quitters. What the fuck are you on about, Kong? Where the fuck did he come from? Yeah, you swallow for your homies. That's what you do. <laughs> Oh okay, just drink up. No, just drink up, sweetie. <laughs> homie makes you something. Just, you just drink up. No. Yes. <laughs> she said, spit it out. Uh, I'm bitch. Boy. <laughs> Have you seen my I'm son? Being, I'm being bullied by the colonials. I'm being bullied by the colonials. Have you seen my son? I'm being bullied by the colonies. I, <laughs> my ex wife took the kids and now I have to pay alimony. <laughs> How's everyone doing? <laughs> I thought she fucking died. Hey. Uh, uh questioning, questioning son. everything at the moment. Yeah, I, I don't know why. That, 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 it feels like it's been a few days since they, they last got into an argument and they're just letting it all out. Oh yeah, just a lot of pent up aggression. No, honestly, it's not. I've been learning a lot of stuff le recently. Have you been watching Coach Kaza? When he learns. No, I just learned a lot. A lot more people do not like me, and a lot more people have me blocked than I thought, and I find it hilarious. So I don't hate you. You're just argumentative as fuck sometimes, and it makes you really insufferable to be around. When I'm when you're when, argumentative. When I'm drunk, yeah. Yes, when you're drunk when and you're I'm argumentative, drunk, you're hard to be around. If I'm sober. If you're sober, you're if fine. If I'm sober, then I'll actually sit. If I if I'm yeah, if I'm sober, I'll sit down and have a discussion over the argumentative point but in drunk long 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 I story to get my points long... across, but whenever someone talks over me long... i'm like shut the fuck up you wait your turn then you can speak after i get my point out long story short when anxiety is drunk they they 100% lose all arguments because they're drunk so they start shouting no i i once i once joined a debate i actually won that shit that was funny <laughs> What is going on with my tracking again? I once I won a debate and I got kicked for the world for it. I, I, I got too. kicked from a world, uh, flat earther discord. That was fun. So, so no one can ever get on my level of getting, what is it, uh, banned from the cursed Nacho discord. And the only two messages I ever put in that discord was, how cursed is too cursed? Good. And then a picture of a fucking Nacho. And then they fucking banned me. It wasn't cursed enough. <laughs> it wasn't a cursed enough. It wasn't no, cursed enough. No, it was too fucking cursed. No, it was, it was too cursed. fucking <laughs> cursed. They kicked me out of a cursed nacho Discord <laughs> for posting a cursed nacho. A toasted nacho? <laughs> Cursed nacho. Oh, I thought you meant to I thought you said toasted. I'm, I'm gonna put my tracker back where I normally put it. Hey, you just getting annoying. There we go. That's more fitting. That's more fitting. I'm okay. How are you doing, Flitter? Yeah. How are you doing, Fessa? How are you doing? No, smart. I still need to import Mirage into Blender. I still need to like follow that video you sent me and just fucking get him and, and do his hair and shit. I need to do that. Oh, ah, yeah. yeah. I haven't done it yet. I'm doing good. I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing good, but just arguing. <laughs> oh, I say arguing. Anxiety. We got like, <laughs> anxiety started shouting, and then everyone else had to get involved because bidets are awesome. <laughs> bidets are worth bidets it. Bidets are fucked. The French are weird. And there's a reason why they use the white flag instead okay, of the Okay, I'm not gonna go into this fucking conversation. I'll <laughs> <laughs> have to carry on an argument, bring it back up after everything like dies down. Listen, listen, <laughs> Katie, Katie, 
This yeah. isn't the first time the French use something to get shoved up their asshole, okay? I, I, the bidet is a French invention, keep in mind. Yeah, so is the guillotine. Exactly, the guillotine that? was the last good thing they invented. <laughs> It's like, the bidet is a French invention, so is the guillotine. What's your point? <laughs> the guillotine was the last good thing they invented. Bros cause pleasure and pain for some people. <laughs> Smiley, you forget, it's the last thing they'll ever feel. Need more beans. I mean, they once filled a person with Think beans. Of the Welcome to the stream, guys. By the way, I'm hoping everyone's having fun. I'm I'm hoping these guys vacate at some point. I might drop a portal to trick them <laughs> into leaving in a minute. <laughs> I do like how B finally realized that I like I put my images on the Watergate's like bands thing. It's just like, wait, why is it clickable? Why does it have so many reasons? Smiley, <laughs> why don't you spawn in the bargain bin? Oh, oh yeah, my hair glows like <laughs> insane in this world. I turn off the bloom, but my hair is used is, is pointless shit. There you go, normal. The noise you made just now. Oh. My hair is blindingly bright. Hey ADC, how you been? It's been a while, I'm hoping you're doing fine. Mwah. What the fuck? You doing good? Yeah, I'm hoping you're doing well. I miss hanging out with you. And thank you. I, I may, I may, I may have liked the base for your avatar and went... I wanted that base for a while. I might. I'm gonna find it. And Cal went out of the way. It's the panda base. I love the base. It's got one of those nice booties. <laughs> How have you been? Trying to stay awake, but yeah, I'm doing good. You better be doing good. You better be doing good. Why are you black and white? What happened you? To better you better be doing good, ADC. I miss you. I miss, yes. I miss hanging out. We're never on at the same time. Or we're on at the same time and we're streaming. Or we're in private worlds and I'm passed out on top of Cal. <laughs> I miss hanging out with you. But if you're tired, AD, if you're tired, you should go get some sleep, okay? You should go get some sleep. I don't, I don't, I don't want. I don't want you getting too tired. Oh, oh, oh. I, I made the eyes nice. I love the eyes on my heart. That's hard. Oh. Sir, your head. I, 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 I want to. I can't tell if anxiety is just drunk. <laughs> Or hyperactive, or both at the same time. It genuinely, yeah, I don't know if you one or the, the other. It's so confusing. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm so fucking confused right now. <laughs> the night is young. The night is young. Yo. Time to get sugar. Woo! I, I I don't know what I just did. The night is young. It's only 9 a.m. <laughs> yeah, I think they're I think they're both drunk and hyper at the same time. That makes complete fucking sense. Sheesh. So Cal's internet is fucking up, and I told him if his internet goes down, he should just stream into his Discord. So he's streaming Dying Light in his Discord right now. Yeah. I've become French. No longer, you're no longer horny. You're happy. Congratulations! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to die. <laughs> Please stop doing it. I so do I. I go like I wish. <laughs> I want to I die. I crave the sweet release. I, I need to not invite people next time. I made a mistake. Don't invite me when I'm on the piece. <laughs> Do you want I me to drop a like half an hour ago? Do you want me to drop a portal to a drinking well for you? Do you want me to just drop a what portal to a drinking I, well? You don't have. I mean, 
I'm just kind of vibing on my own in the drinking aspect of things. You don't really need to do that. Okay, 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 okay. Just right. I don't. What are these? I'm merely rocking with the homies. I. What are these things? Does they, anyone know what these you are? You just call me a thing because I'm low power. Does anyone know what this thing is? It looks like a tampon pull string. It's my. I think that's the Swedish flag. It looks like a tampon pull no, string. No, this is the Canadian French flag, just to piss people off. <laughs> this is, this is, 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 it, is it a tampon pull string? Look deep into know. my eyes, Inks. What is it? <laughs> Yo, I want to upgrade my tampon. I'm going to get one of those RGB pull strings. I think these are just like random... I think there's a bunch of strings. Look in your eyes. Yeah. Why do... <laughs> Why did I move like that? Because I added dynamic burns to them and then I made them stay still, but they free flow. Did you like the boof thing I sent you? <laughs> I'll be right back, I need a pee. The, the boof thing? I sent you a thing from boof. It was free. It was either boof or it was gumroad, I can't remember. But it I was think free. it was gumroad. I saw, I saw it, I saw it and I thought of you. You know, both of you said that to me at basically the same time, right? We saw it and we thought of you. My god. I'm, I'm sorry, for fuck's sake. I'm sorry. There's AFK using the bathroom. Why, why doesn't he use the AFK shit? Why does his avatar do that? I mean, with me, it's funny, but when he, he does it, he walked in front of my fucking camera. Uh, because because he doesn't know how to fucking do it. <laughs> go to your menu, go options, go configure. Oh look, AFK detection. No. As in the avatar doesn't have it. It does! It doesn't have an AFK animation. It does, it, it literally does it the floating, the it does the floating piece shit where it just says like going on. He doesn't have the base ones on there. I'm gonna get spritzed by my fucking. This is this man in unity. Looks like a crab. I li oh. okay. so before my stream, I literally just went. I'm gonna move some more of my weep shit from that shelf and put them on the new shelf. And I added my ghost in the shell stuff to it. Now my weep shell. Who the fuck is doing the man? I don't know what I'm trying to do. The camera. Wait. I can twist this camera. And it doesn't say level, or is the level shit turned off? It's there! That's interesting. So the camera, oh, you can pissed. grab it and you can twist it. Oh wait, no, when you let it go, it literally un it corrects itself. Okay, that's cool to know. Yeah, when you went, when you went AFK, you walked right in front of Katie's camera. <laughs> Oh, he gone gangster. Right. Yeah, plus Sorry, this song no. bops. Wait, wait, hang on. I need to water this shit down. <laughs> oh, I'll give you something. Water this shit down. Sir, that Sorry, is, this that song is, is amazing. crime, what oh. you're doing. Ah, uh, yes. Crimes against humanity. It's fucking nails, right? Just one of your Second of all, we need to play Full Warned again. I haven't touched that game in a long time. I feel like it'd be fun to fuck around with again. Tomorrow? I need to fix some of the weights on my top. <laughs> I'm probably around my ass. <laughs> There's always a problem around your ass on avatars. When Maybe you're I should just not charge, so yeah. I mean, is it? I mean, it was better off in desktop. You won't hop on a desktop, I'll get into this shit. Yeah, I could buy it right now. 
And learn right, we'll whatever I think. To voice plus check, your smidge. You know, I have a call going. Yes. I hate streaming the music for YouTube. <laughs> I love it. Uh, some reason I love this old Kratos crossover the party so. time outfit. Like, <laughs> she took the fuck. How are you doing, Tyrus? Katie, I don't think you understand. She took the fucking boy. No, he's not your problem. Yes, but I have to pay her alimony. Just tell her as long as it just tell her as long as you don't get to see the kid that's not your kid, then you don't have to pay the alimony. He never was mine. So why are you playing alimony? Because legal. Just court. change this. Just change your name and go to a new city. There you go. I could take after my dad, leave the country, date someone who's old enough to be my sister. <laughs> Date someone who's old enough to be my sister. Wait, that means that they should be roughly my age. Okay. Yeah, that's God. that. Yeah, that's exactly. It. <laughs> Unironically, Come my dad on, fucked off to, to Hong to Kong, and now he dates someone who's like 24 to years old. Relay, relax. Oh yeah, I'm happy that you got uh, happy that you got a hobby. I need. I think we need to try and find Glub a hobby away from video editing and Twitch. Anyway, I think we need to help. Video find... editing is fun though. You can. Find I know, but the thing is, is offense. but the thing is, is I. I, I feel I, I said this on my last stream. I think Glub is very, very slowly good. burning out, and that's the reason why she's sick. I mean, I know that she took like a week off, but even on her week off, she still was putting out like two to three videos in a day. I'm like, no, you need yeah. to lay down, and you need something away, like a collectible. I collect manga. To that's fair, my to escape. Be fair, though. To to be fair though, the videos they put out, you could do in like a couple hours, like what, like an hour like at Like the, the less than 40 second videos, they just shit post. It still takes exactly. effort to put, like, it, it still it takes effort to put, it still takes okay, effort. Katie, Katie, realist, realistically, like from an editor's fucking point of view, that shit takes an hour to do. Like, maybe two hours if you include recording time, unless you're trying to do something completely and, new that you don't know what you're doing. But, about when you're two doing two hours max, but when you're and then doing, you can just lie down. But the thing is, is when you're day. doing multiples of those in a day, trying to stream for like up to seven to eight hours in a day, plus trying to keep your family happy with whatever the fuck's going on, and doing community posts on everything and Patreon shit on top of that, it even if you drop the stream, it's still basically it's a slow burn out in my opinion. She just needs. She it's needs still about Glub nine needs hours out of a Glub hour needs day. to still get every, of rest, every here's a thing every content creator needs something that they can either do away from stream be it a game that they love or something like I don't know get a get a Nintendo Switch I'm hope I'm hoping what happens is is that Glub picks up the Steam Deck and then basically finds a game that she loves to play on it and then just gets into laying down in bed and just for hours and I, she needs something which is a distraction Outside from that, work. I, I know Glub likes in, fucking around in Final Fantasy, I mean that's something. I mean, I mean, yeah, that's that's fine. I also feel like... Well, they're, they're, they're already different. playing different games, like... No, Smiley, and... I swear to God, you so... take them with I just don't want her burning out. I, I just genuinely don't want her burning out. I actually, fucking... I actually told her the other day, I, I, was like, I think not, you're burning out, you I'm need to just try and focus. You need to dedicate, you. like, one day a week to just go, this is health day. So you don't have the money to do it. I collect manga. I I think everyone. Ooh, I think bro. every okay, content creator, regardless how big or small, should have something that they can create. That they can collect. I just cannot afford Chico's. I'm glad you're comfy. Guys. Stream I go technically go up there. I'm gonna switch my camera. Gonna... Oh, that's a default. I'll I'll come back. Back. Dude, dude, <laughs> I'll, I'll come I... like next time when I come back. To fucking Twitch. I'm, I'm literally just gonna put up a goal. Just say, <laughs> just like 200 bucks, so I can sack wax my. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna put on my own goal. Two hundred dollars to stop Ains from sack whacking me. <laughs> <laughs> and it just 
Dude, that'd be a great idea Are your for goals, you are just your have, like, goals quite... just you, hmm? your, your goals should actually oh. just be $200 to sack whack a smiley and then there's $200 to stop them from sack whacking me. And then it gets to the point where it's like $2,000 <laughs> goes on a real world date. $5,000 spoons for a night. $10,000 actually smiley, gets married. Have you ever met them before? <laughs> They're literally, they're, they're literally a couple Marcus. without the commitment. It's great. <laughs> Smiley, Pretty you know much. what? We make it big goal. One thousand dollars each, and we go on a back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One thousand. Go do a goal. Sorry, Both K. of you set Marcus a goal. Day. One thousand dollars, and you go on a real world day. Two hundred bucks. I sa I drive up and sack whack Smiley, mostly because that will cover costs of fuel. The other thing being. <laughs> 1k each and he will, will date IRL do so it like, the, the, do it I ship it the, the sack whacking shit the sack whacking shit alone is perfect idea for a fucking video I have a, I have a GoPro I'll just strap that shit to my head and just record the 8 hour trip up there. I'll just be like alright boys here I go to sack whack smiley <laughs> Please, yes, yes. I got the base of this avatar. Coming, I, I got shit. the base of my avatar from, um, it's a panda base, and I got it from, yeah, I want to say Crunchyroll, it's not Crunchyroll. Um, okay. March Gumroad, 4th. that's the one. I got it from I Gumroad. I found the head, and I, 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 I seamed it myself. Look, the neck. The neck, oh. the neck seam on this avatar is near enough non-existence. Non I did the texture in myself. Good idea. We'll, we both put up goal. If we put yeah. up goal, goals, we do it at the same time. I, I felt like I did really, really well we with that. <laughs> um, the hair. Is from, I literally, but I literally, I literally, I literally cut up a few models to get this one together. I love that. I, I love mean, it. yeah, that would work. And I'm adding another hairstyle. I have to get into Blender, and I don't know. We just we just stream it like we have like the selfie stick. I have twelve years in Blender. Just, I, take I literally get. Hmm, I days. need to get something done. Goes to Blender, gets it done. Okay, cool. Blender shit gets it is so easy for me. Blender stuff is just so quick and easy for me. Oh, you've been doing it for years, so no wonder. Yeah, I know, but it's literally at a point. It's at a point where I literally sit. Well, cow, where cow has a problem, and I literally just say, just do this, and he's like, what? <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, How? For and then he, and then they literally said, yeah, "Watch so this." And then I show him how to do it on my yeah, side. Like, why did you do that? So, how did you do that so quick? I'm like, because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> like me making all 52 visions for him for his uh, VTubing avatar. Oh, literally to took about work, and, three, four hours uh, to do. Shower, and it was like three, four hours overall. Um, and, and I was like, oh, the, um, I need to do it for this avatar, actually. The, uh, I need to fine-tune some of them, because yeah, I don't like the smile on this one, so I'm actually going to settle this one down. Oh, the frog! Story. You pissed on the frog! <laughs> yes. He, this motherfucker yeah. pissed on a fucking frog in his shower! Blender is very I worth know. getting into if you want to get into doing VR avatars, by the way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Katie. Okay, bye, Katie. Bye. Bye, bye yeah, oh. So he's being really specifically anxiety is being extremely loud, and I'm like, I need to, I need, I need an escape. It's being very loud, and he has been loud the whole time. It's basically a PMX file uh, that I have imported into Blender. Ah, uh, if you can find, um, uh, find FPXs. FPXs do a lot better. Portal. Portal. The portal. David, behind you. Same as don't encourage him. David. I see you chuckling there. The portal. I know, but anxiety comes. You say that like anything I say or do has any effect on him. I'm what? Not stupid. I was going to say. Yeah. Mm, that's true. Yo. <laughs> I was going to say, sorry for being too loud, but I'm also about to dip, so boobies. Okay. Confinas. I can barely do anything you, in your yeah. idiot on my own. Oh, 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 that's the thing I've learned as well when it comes to doing anything creative. Um, do it in short bursts. Just go, I'm going to do this for an hour or so, or go, I'm going to do up, up to X point, and then I'm going to take like a half an hour to an hour break, and then come back and do the next part. You get way more doing it that way. If you go, I'm going to do all of this in one sitting, you'll do about half of it, and then you'll quit. Uh, I think also, often in future, if I'm, being a, if I'm being too much... Just let me know. Oh. 
It's fine. There we go, it's There we go, seamless. Is this aquatic enough? I think, uh, I don't know when I started this avatar specifically, but I think I started at like 6 p.m. also, or like 4 p.m. and ended on like 6 a.m. So. Yeah, it takes a while to get into. I would recommend Cat's Oh, yeah, oh, yeah the Cat's well, Toolkit is really good. I know, I know really how good. it works. Sorry. Yeah, like, the Cat's Toolkit. In terms of Unity. The Cat's Toolkit with Blender is really, really good if you're just getting started and want to just get an avatar done. There is a point, though, where you basically look at Cat's and go, I can do most of this manually. I put, it's great even if you don't, if even if you can do it manually because it's got the whole translation tool. I literally only use cats for the translation tool. I haven't sat down the whole stream. I've been still up for like an hour and a half. Tomorrow afternoon, I'm free. I can, I can help you with other stuff. What's the other thing you want to get going? That's what the model is. Tried adding expressions. Now the eye is just white. Um, I, uh, that could be the eye rotation. I want to make it that but yeah, the translation tool uh, with cats is really, really useful. Even if you you know how what you're doing with Blender, it's still useful just for the translation. Yep. Yeah, that's easily done. After adding cats to Blender, the import part is easy. I don't actually just do that shit manually. <laughs> I do that shit manually. When you export, by the way, if you literally do it manually, just select the parts you want to export, go File, Export, FBX, make sure selected, make sure it's uh, selected only because it's, then it's less problematic. That's the reason why all my avatars, um, all my... All my avatars are literally in one file. Um, anytime I add a new outfit, I make a, I save a duplicate. Um, but it's all in one file, so if I add anything, all of them have it, rather than just the one that I've been working on. It makes the file huge. The, like, the project Ooh. file for this avatar is like three gigs at this point, because it's like twelve. It's like five outfits at the moment. It's like five or six outfits at the moment, and I'm just adding more. I'm adding more hair onto it. But it's like when I want to export. I let you go, I only want these parts. But yeah, the export method that I, the export method that I go for I swear to fuck. I swear to fuck. That might I have to turn I wrote an air spray thing, like it uh randomly sprays the room mm -hmm. to make the room smell nice. I got it the other day. Um and it's got like a solenoid a, t a twisting solenoid thing to uh spray the bottle. Mm -hmm. It fucking freaked me out last night. Like I was laying there, just like passing out, and I said it. It just said it. It just heard the motor go, and I went. I went. Uh, 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 what the was that? The assassins have arrived. Uh, uh, and then I, I smell. Went. Oh, it's the smelly thing. Okay, cool. And I did it. And then as I was passing, and I was, I was passing out, I did it again. I went. Uh, uh, okay. And because I sleep in call with cow, after that, it was like 20 minutes later and I was just passing, I was like... Mm -hmm. I was just getting really comfortable and then cow joins back in the call and I thought... And for some reason, um, I could hear the foxes outside of his room really fucking loud. I fucking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. love, love foxes. I think they're adorable. But fuck foxes mm -hmm. in the middle of wow. the night just outside fucking or fighting. Like seriously, they are the loudest little <laughs> shits on the planet, and it wasn't even outside my house. I heard it coming through my phone. They were fighting outside Cal's house, and all I heard was that what sounded like a fucking crying baby coming through the phone. And I went, uh, uh, "What the fuck?" And he went, "Oh, did I wake you?" And I went, "What the fuck is that sound?" And he went, "Oh, the fox is fighting outside." And I went, "It's fucking terrifying me." And he went, "I'm sorry." <laughs> and then he had to mute. I went, "Okay, I'm about to sleep." And then he, he went, "Okay, bye, bye. I'll see you in the morning." I'll mute, and then he mutes, and they heard me just go. <laughs> <laughs> and he went, wow, she fell asleep, apparently he responded, but like, wow, wow, you fell asleep fucking quick. I was like, it was the fourth time I'd fallen asleep. I'm gonna leave you something, but I need to lurk and go outside. Okay, Terra, go out, have a, have a wonderful time. Go, tr uh, don't touch grass, it is dirty. They don't tell you that in the small print, but grass is dirty, do not touch it. And it, the whole... Go outside and touch grass, clear. <laughs>
Uh, uh, thank you so much for the 25k subs, Jack. I'm gonna kill my legs. Oh god, my legs. that's a lot of subs. That's a lot of squads as well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, it's Friday only. Thank, Katie, thankfully, it's only 50 button. squads. Thankfully, it's only 50 squads. Thank you oh, so me. much for the. I'm. I need. Okay, over the weekend, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be adding in the top supporter. Uh, the top supporter alert. So, uh, in the bottom corner here, I'm actually gonna have it. So whenever someone um does like donations on the stream bit drops on a stream or like donations on a stream it is literally just gonna it's gonna pop up a message down here and it'll last like 30 seconds compared to like the 10 of everything else where it goes name has is now the top supporter it is now the top bits giver top top also whatever i'm literally just gonna it goes Bloom. cool Mm -hmm. I want that on my screen. I, I like my overlays to be extremely subtle. If you can't tell with the new overlays, by the way, I like my overlays to be extremely fucking minimalist, whilst also conveying what it needs to convey. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make sure I, I, I set that up. I need to do the animations for it as well. It's literally gonna be the same as like the normal ones, but they'll be in the bottom corner and they'll come out further because I want it to stay as flat as possible. Yes, that's what I'm going to be doing over the weekend. I say over the weekend, it will literally probably take me like an afternoon to do because it's one animation. It's not got any in, anything extra on top of it. But thank you, Taris, for the 25. I will do the squats in a minute. Let me just rest my legs because I've been stood up for the past like hour and a half. I say rest my legs. It's more rest my feet. I'm also working. On, I'm, I'm working on a new outfit for my avatar as well. Um, I gotta make it all from scratch. <laughs> I gotta make the whole outfit from scratch. It's gonna take me a couple days because the texturing on it's gonna be a bitch. Actually, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing with the texturing. Uh, are you doing it from a base, or are you just modeling it all completely in Blender? I'll be, I'll be, I'll be doing it all myself. Oh, nice. <laughs> Marvelous designer fucking helps though. Gotta love a perpetual license. <laughs> <laughs> when I worked in the games industry, if you're wondering, by the way, when I worked in the games industry, I was the only character artist on the team, mm -hmm. and I, I, and I basically said, you can either get me a perpetual ZBrush license, which I have, a perpetual, um, I wanted a perpetual um, Marvelous Designer license, which I got. Um, I wanted a perpet, I, I wanted a perpetual Maya license, but they didn't do that. I said, I want a perpetual ZBrush, and um, the two which I got was ZBrush and. Um, ZBrush and Marvelous Designer, and then I got, um, and then they gave me a bit extra to get a uh, Maya on top of it, and I ended up doing like mm -hmm. indie, and I got like three years worth of that. Um, literally ended, nice. literally end my my um, my subscription with that ended like um, literally like five days ago. Um, so I haven't got access to Maya anymore. It costs like two hundred dollars to get to renew it. I'm not doing that again. Um, at least not anytime yeah. soon. Um, but the Maya, uh, but the ZBrush one and the um, ZBrush and uh, Marvelous Designer ones are still fucking useful. Even though now they're like going, no, 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 they don't classify the newest version. Seamus, thank you so work. much for the sub. Mwah, thank you for the five months. <laughs> But yeah, they still work. It's just an older version, so it doesn't get it doesn't get like things. It has like mm -hmm. the ability to like put. So it's really cool because I can put clothes on and then I can add a zip or buttons on it, and then I can be like, I want to zip it down oh, to about okay. here, and then you breathe through it and it goes, and then it like floats out. Hi, Rob. Bepis. Oh, that is very nice. Bepis. Bepis. I need to do like fifty-two squats now. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my ass. <laughs> it's fine. It's Friday. This is like the big workout that I'm going to do. I'm getting, I've, I've not been eating daily as much and um, I've been going out more so I've been losing weight. Um, my goal is I'm going to get down to about, I'm, I'm getting down to a weight goal and then I'm going to uh, then I get my gym membership back. And I'm going to with the gym membership. Nice. I'm actually going to do it. I'm. I've decided that I will actually throw money into a personal trainer, uh, like once or twice a month, and be like, personal fucking trainer. Let's go. 
Ooh, look at you, la di da. Once or once or twice a month, I basically like the the first and mm -hmm. second, the first and third uh, week of the month, I'll do a PT session. And the goal will be the goal is gonna be I go in on a Tuesday, I, I go to the gym on a Tuesday, a Thursday, and a Saturday. So three days in a week. Which will fucking kill me because I'm still gonna be doing fitness Fridays on a Friday. But I'll be doing those on <laughs> those days. So I'll literally be like uh so it'll be like uh Monday stream workout. Wednesday stream workout. Friday stream, which is a workout on its own. Saturday workout. Sunday break. So I basically got like three days in a week of not exercising. <laughs> of like, ugh, shit. <laughs> um, but diet wise, I've if been getting. not exercising and more recovering. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's like the big mm. thing. But I, I, I want to talk to a personal trainer. I'll tell them what I do. F I'm going to tell them what I do for a living. I'm going to tell them that I'm a streamer i'm tr i'm if i i say this now i'm a streamer and i'm an aspiring content creator my goal is i want to try and get at least one of my youtube channels to a thousand I, i'd like all of all three of my channels to get to over a thousand by the end of the year mm -hmm. which is difficult considering one is literally me uploading my vods but i i talked to uh devon nash's uh community and i, I and i um I talked to Devin Nash's community and I said, I, d I have a VODs channel that I just upload my VODs to and I use it for thumbnail practice. And their response was, have you considered just trying to see if, uh, seeing um, like how to, using it to practice like clickbait title, like clickbaity titles and clickbaity thumbnail combinations. I'm going, I'm, so I'm going to be using that mm. to tr learn how to make more effective thumbnails and title combinations to hopefully help the channel grow. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm doing shorts again, so anything that happens on the stream, I'm gonna be turning in. I'm not gonna be like going out of my way to do skits for now. I've got a lot of shit I'm still doing, like the merch store. But um, um, I'm doing. Sh I'm taking clips from the streams. I'm editing them out. By the way, Adobe Rush really fucking useful. I think it's free from Adobe great option if you want to um just get into video editing um especially shorts because it literally when you make a project you have the ability to do it in portrait and it has an automatic camera track so if i'm if the camera didn't do if my camera wasn't tracking my face it would automatically try to average out based on the faces on the screen which is really fucking cool so it's like if you if you want basic camera tracking, it just looks for a face and it just follows that around, which is fucking amazing. I I I, I love it and it's free, I think. But I've got Adobe CC, so I got it anyway. But I've been using that. I'm using that for shorts, so I can use Premiere Pro for everything else. Anyway, I've got 52 fucking squats to go. Ah, uh, this is gonna kill me. 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 <laughs> Good luck. I prefer the other camera to this camera, but this camera just has less bug problems. Um, I prefer the other camera. Well, you got the mosquito repellent right next to you, so you'll be fine. Is that a mosquito repellent? Yeah, that's it. Oh. That's what the incense is for. Did not realize that. Hmm. We don't get really get mosquitoes in the UK. Okay, okay, I'm gonna do it from this angle because it looks better. Um, David, you might want to move. I'm gonna, otherwise, I'm gonna be repeatedly sitting on your face, unless you want me to, of course. Last count nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. 
I've been going out for walks a lot more. <laughs> Squats don't hurt me nearly as much as they used to. <laughs> I think I can go to about two or three hundred and then they become a problem. Come on. By the way, with the tower defense world, if I go to, every time I go to the tower defense world mm -hmm. and for every hour I'm in that world, I'm gonna give my chat a single sub. Done all the squats. I, I can go back to sitting down. I catch my breath, holy shit. Oh. How are you doing? Ah. Oh yeah. Hmm. So, to help me quit uh, doing tower defense on stream all the time, when I'm streaming, mm. if I'm in tower defense, if I go to tower defense world, for every hour I'm in there, I have to give my chat at least a I have to give my chat one sub. Just randomly. <laughs> yeah. So I can either go take the L. I can take the L and then just go mm. for like and go somewhere. Um Oh god. Uh, I can either take the L and give the chat like five subs and stay in there for a stream. Or I avoid going there and save a bit of money. And right now, we need the money more than anything. Mm. <laughs> I thought, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be how I'm going to do it. <laughs> it's the smarter way to do it. Oh, God, I'm dead. Ah. Uh, break the addiction. Yeah, stops me from going now. Problem. Kim is addicted to it. So it will it repeatedly invite. Of course, invite. The chat is now going to want you to go there, though. <laughs> no, because technically speaking... <laughs> okay, consider this. Hmm? Uh, per sub, I'll get about $2. So for me to gift one sub, it's technically the equivalency of being gifted three. So for me to break uh. even whilst I'm... For me to financially break even, I need to get three subs. I meant more that they get free subs if you go there, so they're going to want you to go, so they get free that subs. That is true, <laughs> but... <laughs> that is true, but... Financially speaking, it will fuck me up going. Yeah. So, me trying to not go is the better option. Uh, mm -hmm. Not complaining. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the thing though. Sad I don't. I don't like the. I don't like the um, idea of them trying to help support me, and then me just going, and, and then me spending mm. tons of time in the tower defense world. I get it, it's fun, it's a great distraction for me, but I feel like me being in there just isn't good for me as a creator, or a streamer in that, in that it regard. It's a bit samey. It get, is literally, like, literally time, going, streams, I, I, I recently did a, um, like if you're on my Discord, by the way, join the Discord if you're not. Um, if you're on my Discord, um, I recently did like a huge uploading of like all my recent VODs, because I got my VODs channel. Um, as I was going through them, I realized that pretty much all of them had me in that world for at least an hour. Uh, and I uploaded like five or six of them, and I'm like, that's insane. Yeah. So I said to myself, okay, if I end up having to, if I end up going to this world, um, if I want to play tower defense, I just play balloons. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't have balloon TD, annoyingly. I need to get blue. And the game's free. Is it? Huh. I don't know. Don't I've burdens. been. Tell I me. have been trying my fucking hardest to f learn how to do uh, inscriptions. KC mod. KC mod is literally inscription without the story. It's literally just the fucking card game. It's actually really enjoyable. Um, but the game is Ooh. literally set up in a way the AI repeatedly fucks me 
in the most annoying way. Today before stream, I got to the final boss because there are four bosses. You do the angler, the trade, uh, the angler, the miner, the trader, and then Leshy. And that's regarded as a run. If you do, if you can do a run, uh, when you can do a run um, with one of a, uh, one of these um, forfeit, one of these punishment things, um, then what happens is, is by the end of the run, you either you unlock yourself a new deck, you get yourself some new cards, and you also get access to more things, which helps you unlock more. Um, issue: I'm literally just trying to do one run. And the problem is, is the Ouroboros, the card which is apparently supposed to save, doesn't count towards your progress. So I can get that thing up to like 50 damage and it won't mean shit. Because it won't continue. It, won't it doesn't save. save in Casey's mod. It doesn't save in Casey's mod. It's literally, it's literally, you get it and it's one damage and it costs like two sacrifices to get out. It's great if you can get it early because then you can just use it to sacrifice to get your, to get it up, which is cool but it's just like oh my god what the fuck it's so stupid it's really fucking annoying um i'm just trying to do one playthrough and get uh, so i can start getting more unlocks on it and i'm like sitting there going i got fucked on the final on the fight on leshy because i summoned a thing I, so i summoned a thing you need to basically be able to do him in one go and it's RNG as fuck because if you get a shit card in your hand, you're fucked. The only way to really do it is to have it so your totem, I think it's the totem. Yeah, you you need to have it so your totem has the ability to look at cards when you place a card down. That's the only way to do it. And you need to basically have your deck properly properly stacked. And it's like, ugh. Hi, Darth Omega. Hello. How you doing? I'm dead. I, I totally didn't just do like 50 plus squats on my. So spot. I don't know why, but the world does weird things to my avatar. How so? You you might want to not, like, just look, just come in here, just don't put your camera. Oh, is it the water? Is it yeah. changing the color? Yeah, it's just changing the color. I think there's real time lighting rather than baked lighting. Oh, yeah. Like on my end, I'm basically what? going. The closest appear. Yeah, yeah, our, the, the water turns you orange. Yeah, the water for us changes and it makes you orange. What does it do for me? Mm. I don't know why. Huh, it's fine on Underwater, me. Underwater, it's fine. It's fine on me. Underwater, it looks yeah. fine when I'm underwater, but if I'm on my um, it I makes your know. limbs disappear. Are you sure that's just not the uh, angle? You can s Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could just be you the get angle. Duplicated, like kind of. Yeah, the re no, it's just the refraction angles off. Yeah, uh, for me, for me, it's fine. Mm. For me, it's fine. I, I, I don't know why. It feels like it, it could be your shader. I don't understand I, how sometimes water can it's... remove clothes. I, I, I really don't understand that. It might just be clothes with transparency. That that's an over. Yeah. Yeah, it's an over rendering thing in the mm -hmm. shader. Like the water takes priority over the clothes, so. Bye bye clothes. To this one. Yes, it's probably the shader. I don't know. Mm. Uh, I did my nails after stream on Wednesday, so I got some. I got some false nails on Tuesday, mm. and I put them on on uh, Wednesday night, so I can go out uh, yesterday. Um, literally got home, and like four of my nails were like four of because the, they're false nails. They're just glue ons. Four of them are falling off. I went, fuck this, and I just pulled them all off my fingers. It wasn't comfortable. <laughs> it was not comfortable. Is my Twitter still bowing? Yeah, my Twitter's still going. Oh. I, I, yeah, my Twitter's still going. I'm not looking at my link. I'm not gonna check out what's been blowing up because I've been posting not so wholesome stuff recently. Dab. What? I mean, have you heard about that fucking <laughs> ASMR streamer literally air fucking her stream? Yes. She got banned. 
not for what no, you not think. Surprised. She got banned, but not what you think. She's really? part. She was a partnered streamer at 900 on Twitch. Twitch is TOS. Literally has it. Mm -hmm. Twitch is TOS for partners is different for those who are affiliates. Um, Twitch affiliates can stream on multiple platforms, uh, but not at the same time. Um, and there's like supposed to be an hour between them. She was a Twitch partner with 900, mm -hmm. 900 ish average views, right? And she was simultaneously mm -hmm. streaming on Twitch and YouTube. She got banned, not for air fucking her chat, but she got banned because she was streaming to YouTube and Twitch at the same time as a partner, which is against Twitch's TOS, which is why she got banned and lost yeah. her partner status. Mm. She's literally, but she's literally full on banned because she was a yeah. part. She was partnered on YouTube. I reckon that she got part. <laughs> she's partnered on YouTube. See you later, Beatrice. Have a wonderful I day. I reckon they kind of Al Capone awesome. taxes her on that one, to be honest. Like, they, they dinged her for that rather than the ear fucking thing, just so like, just to keep out of pissing. Well, the more thing is this. Content creators no here's, platform here's, as well. Just avoid that whole argument. Here's, here's the general thing, and this is my a core belief uh, when it comes down to it. Mm -hmm. Amaranth is on the no ban list. Anyone, everyone, anyone and their dog on Twitch knows who Amaranth is. Anyone who's aware of mm -hmm. Twitch is aware of Amaranth at this point. Um, so Amaranth is on the on Twitch's do, do not ban list, which basically means that if she gets banned, she's off for maybe two to three days at most. Which for her is basically I'm getting myself banned for one attention yep. because it boosts my credibility. It, it boosts her viewership and subscriber mm -hmm. count on Twitch when she comes back. And two, it gives me a two to three day break. Understandable. When you get to a certain size on Twitch, Twitch yeah. offers you an exclusivity contract, which basically goes, you've got to do 300 hours a month, and the only way to counter it is to get banned for a short period of time. Literally. That's literally the only way to have a break. Uh. Um, so it basically encourages the bigger creators to do stupid shit so they can get time off. My opinion is oh. this. If I'm doing well on Twitch, if I'm doing really well on Twitch, and Twitch offers me a fucking contract which says, yo, you can do up to 300 hours a month. Uh, do 300 hours a month on Twitch and we won't do this and that. My response will be to them is like, why should I do the contract to do 300 hours a month when yeah. I'm doing perfectly fine on my own? And it, the only way for me to turn around and do it is if they give me 100% of all subscriber money. 100% of all subscriber money. Mm. That's the only way for me to justify it. And a higher CPM on my ad revenue, on my ads, which are, that won't fucking happen because that's where they're making their money. Mm. By the end of the day, if, I, if yeah. I'm that big and they offer me a contract and they're going, you need to do 300 hours a month and the contract literally says that, I'm literally going to say, I'm not going to leave Twitch. I just don't want to be on the contract. I'll literally say, I just don't want to be on the contract. Mm. They're like, why? 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 You make more Doesn't money. I'm, you. Uh, why? You make more money. My response to them will be, I don't give a shit about money. Like I'm, I am comfortable. I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm growing, regardless of what you seem to think. I'm doing really fucking well, but I have seen this contract fuck over people more than help them. Three hundred hours forced a month to stream mm. is incredibly stupid. It's basically saying you need to wake up. It's like the, from the moment you wake up to almost the time you go to street, sleep, sit five, six days a week, you are streaming. And I'm like, I need my off days. Yeah, I, need, no. I need my off days so I can be creative on other things. Mm -hmm. Granted, at that size, I'll be in a situation of I am pulling more than enough money to pay an editor so I don't have to worry about the YouTube shit as much. Just pay an editor. I'll literally go, I'm going to pay an editor to do um, my full time videos, which is basically take my VODs, edit them out into like a, edit them out into as much, many videos as they can for YouTube, do the thumbnails, upload them. Cool. And I'll hire another one, which basically goes, do the same, but clips, short clips for my YouTube channel on Twitch, uh, for my uh, YouTube shorts and my TikTok. Cool. So I'll have two editors, just full-time editing. Mm. That'll be it. That'll be it. Uh, that, yes. when, I'm that, that'll be, when I'm that size, that'll be the whole thing. The, the two people running my YouTube channel, and then I'll probably be like, I need a manager. I actually am thinking I might need to try and think about getting a manager at some point. Like, just a person to help go, you should try doing this, this will help you grow, this will do this, and just stuff like that. Um, I feel like I should I, I should try and find one, generally just a friend who knows what they're doing. Because um, yeah. right now, I'm just kind of like, I, I'm not saying I'm free-falling, but when I have slow weeks, when I have slow weeks, which turns into slow months, like January was, it fucking hurts to mm -hmm. think about streaming. Like, me going... 
oh, I must stream. Like it makes streaming feel more like a chore because I'm like, I need to get my, I don't, I don't, it makes me go, I don't want to stream. I, I love streaming. I love streaming. I I genuinely do love being live. I love, I love being the background. I love being the modern version of radio for most of you people. Like I know most of you are likely listening to me in the background right now. Um, but when chat isn't active, like today it's been really fucking great. Um, we've had ADC in the chat. We've had tons of new people because they've been posting a lot more on social medias we've had we have silver monk at the start of the stream we've had let's let's fight who's a rare pop-up we've had people talking so many amazing people today and i, I fucking love it but when i have literally nice. days or weeks where it's just every stream it's really fucking quiet i don't feel like mm. i'm doing I, I like i could be doing everything right but if chat isn't active or stream isn't doing well I, I literally be like a ball of fucking energy the whole time and it's like great cool and then uh, chat dies and then my energy goes with chat <laughs> i hate that sensation i need to i Aww. um i need to grow on tw my goal this year is i'd like to grow on twitch so that sensation doesn't happen i understand most of you listen to me in a day i understand i'm literally background noise i understand if ad is still in the chat i am literally the thing she's listening uh, she sorry the thing they're listening to whilst they're going to sleep right now i understand that's a, a lot for australia japan china um south korea malaysia all, all that side of the world i'm just background noise to them whilst they're passing out which is amazing which is why when i raid people i don't go for people Ooh. who are like completely different energy to me i always try and go for similar energy so it's not a contrast like the whole yeah sh did, so you know about the do you know about the shroud joke on twitch no the shroud joke on twitch is if you're um at a certain time in the day if you're really fucking loud you say sorry shroud because he street he listen he watches streams in his background he just puts streams up in his background whilst he's sleeping and he and one uh. time one time he went to um he he raided some um he i, I think he was watching poker lols i know i think he was watching mm -hmm. soda pop in and then Soda Poppin raided Pokolols. Pokolols ended up um, raiding Tyler One, and Tyler One is a loud motherfucker. <laughs> you didn't know Tyler is a loud <laughs> oh. motherfucker. And then, and then Shao turns up in his chat, say, "Dude, I was fucking sleeping." And then his response was, "Oh, sorry, Shroud." <laughs> So there's a joke basically going if you're really fucking loud, you've got to go, sorry, Shroud. That's the whole running joke on Twitch. You've got to go, sorry, Just Shroud. in case. So, sorry, Shroud. <laughs> I'm sorry, if Shroud was in my chat. If Shroud, Shroud, if you're in my chat, hit me with a sub, just one sub. I don't want like tons of subs, just hit me with a single sub, go for it. I want to know, I want to see if you're here. If I'm in the Send background, if I am background noise whilst you are asleep, I apologize for talking about food all the time. But I was, I, I have been taught by the many that you talk about what you know, and I know me most, so I talk about food all the time. <laughs> but seriously, um, uh, but yeah, um, I forgot what I was fucking saying, <laughs> shit. Um, but yeah, there's a whole, there's a, a whole running joke on Twitch, which is really fucking funny. Um, but when it comes to chat and stuff, when it dies down, understandable. Most of you sit in luck. Other streamers turn on, which you find more entertaining, or you prefer to watch over me. Um, if you're on PC, by the way, and another streamer pops up, uh, if you've got a mouse with a scroll wheel, middle click their stream instead. It keeps my tab open, um, and then you can go watch their stream as well. And then grab, grab the volume slider down about here, slide it down so it's just a smidge off of, uh, just literally so it's just a teeny tiny amount off the bottom. And then that's how you basically give a proper luck on Twitch. Most people just turn the volume down. Um, oh. Another thing as well, if you haven't, get Francoface for your uh, for your thing. Really fucking amazing plugin for um, which helps with Twitch. It has a audio balancing tool, so when you click it, the stream gets really it boosts the sound of the stream. And after a while, you get really used to it. So when you're actively watching, you have that on. And then what you do is when you don't want to watch someone or you want to lurk, you just turn it all the way down and then you click the button, and then they're basically silent. 
You have it so it's not active. If it's active, it's like a smooth curve, otherwise it's all wobbly. Um, so you have it, the one you want to be the smooth curve, and it boosts the audio, but when it's all wobbly and stuff, it's like, okay, cool. That's how I do it. That's how I do it, like. Um, but yeah, the more of you luck, the better. The help it does help me grow. It helps me. It helps me get higher in the um, in the category that I'm streaming in, which means more people turning up, which means more follows. By the way, everyone, thank you for the follows. I really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, slow, slow, slow days and slow weeks really slowly whittle down um, your confidence as a streamer. Like I know for a fact that even even though this month has felt really slow. I did the maths. I've made uh, my average has gone up. My my average income has already gone up this month. Hi, Mira. Yeah. Even though it's been a quote unquote slow couple months for me, um, this month I think I've made. Uh, this month, um, dep I'm not even including donations between now and the end of the month. We're on the 11th, by the way. Mm -hmm. We have like 27. We've got like what 17 more days, like two, three more weeks left into the, you know, like. 17 yeah like just over two more yeah. weeks left in the um in the month i'm already made like 900 plus pounds this month which for me is huge i usually make about oh, 700 wow. yeah granted i will say That's this nice. i will fucking say this i am a fucking idiot i spend way too much i've spent way too much money over the past like <laughs> month on manga i got into a fucking hobby and i kind of just fucking ran wild with it i am basically <laughs> I am only going for specific volumes now, okay? I am not going to be going like, yo, the money that was meant for my new emotes, I'm gonna throw into manga. I'm not doing that again. I'm limiting myself to maybe I'd point three. I'm going laugh, but... I, I'm gonna make it yeah, I'm pointing three. laugh, but I got the Neo Genesis Evangelion Blu-ray Special Edition, like, sitting at the foot of my couch right now. <laughs> that was 150 Australian. Uh, <laughs> uh, see, funny point, um, funny point, uh, I was supposed to be mm -hmm. throwing money at, uh, Princess QB, um, who's the person I'm going for, to for my emotes. QB is a fucking amazing emote artist, and I yeah. came up with, I have an agreement with them that I'm gonna give them about a hundred and, uh, it's about two hundred dollars a month over the next three months until we get all the new emotes out so every month we'll be doing two or th uh, we're doing like 10 emotes a month with them three months 30 emotes cool completely refresh new emotes uh that's the goal but she's because twitch released the whole everyone now gets five animated emotes and loads more emotes available it basically went so mm -hmm. she's backlogged a fuck right now. So I said to myself, I'm gonna get some manga. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I was gonna, cause it was like $200, about 150, it's about 150 quid. I was, I just went, went, went I'm gonna get some manga. I went out, spent about $50, about, spent about 50 quid on manga. Cool, next week went out, another 50 quid on manga. Went out again, another 50 quid on manga. <laughs> I have a problem. And that problem was, I don't have enough place for my manga. I have a new shelf, which is almost full with the manga, which was the problem. I need a new shelf. I just bought um, these. I'm so far behind on even going Yeah, I'm getting at that point with uh, my anime. I, 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 I moved my and, ghost uh, in the shells from the shelf there to the, to the new shelf. So it's part of my mm -hmm. manga. Anime. So it's part of my um, weeb. It's my weeb, it's my weeb shelf. I'm calling it my weeb shelf. <laughs> It's my weeb shelf, yes. We do DVDs weeb. or the manga? Hmm? I got all the DVDs. I got the manga We're as well. in the shelf. I got the DVDs and the manga over there. Oh. The fucking mangas are... I, yeah, I got the hard are you can't, the manga. Could, I couldn't... You can't find the originals of Ghost in the Shell anywhere. The originals of Ghost in the Shell are fucking like... No, you're gonna have to get the... You have... You can only get, get the hard copy. I got hard... Now. I got... I got the hard copy. Mm -hmm. I got the hard copy reprints. They're actually volumes of the standalone complexes. It's like... Ah, oh, so many. Oh, I don't have the standalone complexes. Which ones do I have? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take... Mangas. I need to take a picture, but I'm waiting for some... I have a problem. I know. Don't shoot me. You, you, mm -hmm. you, you support my... You, <laughs> by subscribing, you support my problem with manga. Um... Your enablers, chat. You hear that? <laughs> yeah, I've got, um... The three hardback novels of The Ghost in the Shell, which will be the original movie, which will cover the original movie and the first standalone mm -hmm. complex stories. And I think maybe Solid State Society, but if we go to my DVD, if we go to the DVDs, I have Arise 1, 2, 3, and 4, 
the original Ghost in the Shell, mm -hmm. the, um, which is the um, which isn't the 4K version. I need to get the 4K version. Um, oh wait, um, Ghost in the Shell, the new movie, which is after the Arise movie, by the way, which is after the Arise series, the original Ghost mm -hmm. in the Shell, Standalone Complex One, Standalone Complex Two. Ghost in the Shell 2, Innocence, which is, these are in chronological order, by the way, and Solid State Society, oh, yeah. which comes after Innocence. Funny point, when I got Solid State Society, it was one of the hardest mm -hmm. DVDs to find, because they literally weren't printing them prop. they weren't printing them in English at the time, because it, oh. be, it had to be printed from Japan, and it was print to order. And I went into a store, I found that, and oh. went, mine, don't care. I had literally but, bought that, yeah. and li I literally walked out. It cost me 20 quid for a movie, which should have cost about 7 quid. I went, I don't care. This I've been looking mm. for this for months. <laughs> it took me four fucking months to find that thing, okay? I'm not wasting. I needed it. I tend to budget my, my money, but every now and then I'll see something just like, I'm grabbing that because I'll never see it again. Like, I've got the collector's edition DVD, Blu-ray set of Time of Eve. Like, oh, I saw that um, at a convention for Andrew Box, I was like, yep, fine, mine. <laughs> although I really don't want to, I may get my Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings Blu-ray collections up here, because they're downstairs right now, me and my dad want to go through them. I might mm -hmm. put them on that shelf, though. I need to move shit on that shelf around. But I, want, I don't want, I don't, I might take my DVDs from there, and I put them back over there. I kind of want to keep this a bookshelf rather than anything, uh, rather than... Other things. Oh, actually, I also. So, Mega, I got something that you'll either have or be jealous of. What? I've got the Nausicaa hardcovers, the box set. You got the Nausicaa high hardcovers? Oh. The two volume big fat hardcover set. Oh yeah, there's the jealousy. I want to oh. re. I want to rewatch <laughs> Ev Evangelion, but the problem is, is with the movies. The f when you watch. Um, uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion 1.0 you kind of just feel like it's just a retelling of the series which it kind it really of is. is and it's like why would I watch this and then you watch 2.0 and it's a retelling of the original story from a different universe because Evangelion is a multiverse uh, it kind of just <laughs> it gets yeah, multiverse it kind of just swerves into it's, it's, it goes... 3 happens and I haven't seen 4 yet <laughs> Um, so on my top shelf, I've got the Ghost in the Shell. I, I've got the Ghost in the Shell books, which are hard copies. I'm gonna take a picture once my um, once some of more ma more mangas come. Um, I've got Blade. Wait, um, <laughs> what was it? I got uh, Blade of the Immortal. I got the Blade of the Immortal collection leatherback Ooh, nice. leather uh, leather leatherback books. My dad got me those for my uh, birthday last oh, year, okay. and I, he got me all three of them. He oh, had nice. to import one from fucking Japan. It was an English copy being printed only in oh. Japan. You had to you had to print to order it, and it took three fucking weeks to get here. I have not touched them because I don't want to damage them. Um, <laughs> And then next to those, I have, if you know an artist called, oh, for fuck's sake. If you know an artist called Loish, or Loish, um, I have two I of her. She, um, she has oh. some art books. I have her sketchbook, and oh, okay. uh, I have her sketchbook and her art book, and she has a new one uh, out. Um, hi, Phil. Yeah, she has a new one out. I need to take a picture. Of my manga, but I'm wait. I, I got so my manga. I've got Comey can't communicate, Demon Slayer, and my dress up darling. Nice. Problem. I went to the store yesterday, and I forgot which I I forgot which uh, copies of Demon Slayer I have. So I now have a fucking duplicate. You got of, a double, don't you? I have a fucking duplicate of number fifteen. I think what I'm gonna do is I might get a picture frame, like a big picture frame, and I might tear it up. I might go through the book, find the cool stuff, oh, and just tear it up, the and collage. then just collage it in the picture frame. I might do. Actually, do you know what nice. I might do? Do you know what I might do? I might do a couple. Mm -hmm. I might get a couple of them and just do like a do like get like three picture frames and collage them with pages from the manga, which will be seen as blasphemous. But I've got two fucking copies of number fifteen. Which isn't mm. exactly bad, but it's I, like... I did the same thing once. I got two copies of Gantz Volume 17. Yeah, but I want to put, 
but I need to put something in front of it. I love my dress up going around my mouth. I only, do you want, okay, do you want to know how fucking annoying it is to collect the manga in the UK for my dress up darling? I go to the, I go to my manga, I go to my weeb dealer every fucking Thursday, so I actually physically go out, I walk from one side of my city to the other to get to my manga dealer, right? I walk to the other side, I do it every fucking Thursday, I have only seen one copy of my dress up darling manga, and it's book fucking two, so I can't even read it because I don't have number one yet. Even though technically it, speaking, even, yeah, that's the thing. It's the because in the UK and the in Europe and in the UK right now, we have a huge manga shortage. We have a huge manga shortage in the UK, and it's fucking annoying. The prints, our prints, <laughs> are so hard to come by. I have been way. I have been looking for an issue one of Demon Slayer for weeks, and I can't fucking find it. I have of Demon Slayer, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. 13, 14, 15, twice for 15, uh, 17, 18, 19, and 23. I have the last Demon Slayer, and I can't even start it yet because of, because of that. <laughs> Medboss, uh, thank you so much for gifting Seth, Sephiroth. I actually to have a sword. complete set of the original Blame yeah. manga volumes. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. Hi, Dwagon. How you doing? But yeah, I, I, but um, Comey, um, I have two, three. Mm. Uh, with Comey, can't communicate. I have, um, I have got one, uh, but I've got two, three, four. Uh, two, three, f two, three. I think it's two, three, four, and six coming. So I'm looking for number five. Um, but then I've got 7 to 13, so what I need to do is I just need to find that one missing one and then I can just binge all of them. But Komi is nice. going to be my most complete collection. <laughs> but Demon Slayer is the one I want to finish. I went to the- I went to my weeb dealer yesterday. And they fucking had, and I shit you not, they had a Tanjiro, um, a statue and it was one of those cool light up ones and he was just standing there with his sword back like that and he's like nah, and he's in like a jump pose and it's oh. all fire spiral so it's a second it's a second story arc Tanjiro or, or at least um after the mounting after the mount uh, spider mountain arc but it got eight I got eight which covers the which finishes Mugen train so I literally have the whole Mugen train arc on Oh, on the uh, moving train arc now. This is great. Nice. Oh, wait, shit, I was gonna do something. So, because Terrace. Hmm? I need to make sure I spell this right because I'm just like sick as fuck. Terrace underscore. Ooh. The uh, gifted twenty five. They gifted twenty five because we love them. They get the name. You get your name up on here multiple times because mid boss gifted the sub as well. Mid boss dropped one as well. Make sure I put the twenty seven in. There you go. Because you gifted the sub. I need to Wait, turn. Here we go. Because yeah. there you go. I'm gonna turn off the autofocus <laughs> so you can fucking read it. There you go. Because 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 Terrace gifted 25 subs and Mid Boss gifted the sub. You get your name up on the wall because I'm a cringy content creator apparently. Just gonna put a heart above it. <laughs> Just gonna keep going with it, huh? I need to own the cringe, okay? This is the type of stuff which this is the t type of stuff that big teddy, yeah. Waterstones have it. Waterstones do not have it. At least the ones by me. I check them every time I go downtown as well. I check fowls and waterstones, and their fucking collection in my waterstones is shit for manga. 
I've seen a clip of a fight between Brother and Tengen. Looks epic. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. The next episode of Demon Slayer that comes out on f Sunday, I think, is going to be a double feature, and it's going to be the final episode in the Entertainment District. I'm re-watching all of them, if it is, but I, what I'm doing is I'm going to watch the final episode, and then I'm re-watching the whole arc, but I'm going to watch it from the beginning of Mugen, the Mugen Train arc, because that's actually its own arc. So I'm going to make sure I watch that. Hi, Grey Fox. Hi, 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 hi. I'm sorry about my shitty handwriting. I'm sorry. Okay. Better than mine. I, I'm better at cursive in VR than I am in... Yeah. I will not... We will not spoil it, but all I'm gonna say is that the next episode is apparently gonna be the very last one. But Oh my god, this is so good. You need to watch it. I recommend watching it on Crunchyroll because they're all on there. If you haven't... If you don't, use Opera GX because it has a built-in VPN. By the way, Crunchyroll, if you see this, I would love a partnership or something because I really, 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 really... I, it's like my goal this year is I really want to... Um... Yeah. Two more days, two more days. And Dress Up Darling tomorrow. Yeah, Dress Up Darling's tomorrow. I've gotten so many people into just watching manga recently, uh, anime recently, watching manga, watching anime recently, it's ridiculous. By the way, I do have a video planned, which I'm going to be working on at the start, from the start of next month. I'm gonna start working on a video, which will be a very long project. Um. So it's gonna be a really long project. I need to get the video done and then I'm contacting UFO Table about it because I want their permission to be able to post it because I wanna be a good content creator and actually give them permission, get permission from the actual uh, anime people to be like, can I make, can I put this video up? Because I, I love your content and I don't wanna fucking tr step on your feet. I don't wanna step on your toes with this. This is fair use. This is literally me explaining why Demon Slayer is a great anime. <laughs> and I'm planning to do the same. I'm planning to do the same with uh, Ranking of Kings. I'm ranking it, but Ranking of Kings is literally just going to be Ooh, how it's a good show. I'm literally going to explain how Ranking of Kings is the best fighting anime because it subverts the tropes of standard fighting anime. <laughs> And it's so good. I was looking for it, and they—they they, do you want to know something really fucking annoying? Ranking of Kings has a manga, mm -hmm. but it's not English. It's only in Japanese. You can only get it in Japanese. Yeah. And I want it. I want the English. Mm -hmm. Watching manga and reading anime. You're telling me I've been doing it wrong all this time. You've been doing it wrong. <laughs> You've been doing it wrong. <laughs> you need to. You need to watch. You need to watch more manga, and listen to more anime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at the pictures and read the subtitles. <laughs> I actually, um, I've been learning Japanese and I've actually been picking up a lot more Japanese just from watching it in Japanese. Ooh. I'm, I'm still learning. I'm not fluent in any way, fucking shape or form, but I know I'm getting there slowly. <sighs> I already did the squats in there. Cool. Damn. Depending on the anime source, you can re read it unless you understand languages and other like, other than English. I'm learning, <coughs> I'm learning Japanese, and I'm very slowly getting there. I know a little bit of French, I know a little bit of German, and I know a little bit of um, Spanish. Um, but the one I really want to learn is, <coughs> sorry, the one I really want to learn is Japanese, because I just love the language. And one of my plans is I want to. I want to um, I want to move my stream times to be a bit more Japan friendly, and I want to have Japanese in my time. I, I want to learn Japanese so I can start. I like Jap. I, I I want to learn Japanese, and then I also want to stream earlier so I can hit the Japanese streaming market, um, which will in turn hopefully help me grow a lot more. So it's a skill which I want to learn. Plus, both me and Cow keep saying, "Do you want to move to Japan?" We keep saying it like every few days now. Like mm -hmm. we're very much thinking about moving to Japan eventually. 
So I want to learn the language. I want to learn the, at least the basics. Like, I know for a fact that you sound like a Taurus if you okay, tourist, if you use the tiny tiny words Watashiwa, which just means right me, in. my, or um, some, over basically me. Work. Hope you have a great stream. Stay awesome. Two more days. Hurry up and get here Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mythboss, for the thousand biddies. I've got to do ten really? spots now. <laughs> Yeah, what, uh, uh, you sound like a Taurus if in Japanese you use the word Watashiwa, and there is no genders in J in Japanese. There's no Japan uh, no genders in Japanese. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna. And no one uses. And see what he's up to. No one uses the words he or she and stuff. It's all they and, the, and them, and you 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 cut out a lot of words. Like if you want to go, hmm. if you want to say, I would like to know where the toilet is. You don't say watashi wa, where's the toilet? You just say toilet where? It li li literally go toilet where? And they'll just say it's over there. Oh. Yeah. It's like, it, the best way to think about Jack, it's like how I, um, it's like learning how to do, I think how to do Google searching effectively. Cut out the bullshit and just put in the mm. things. Like you wanna go, um, so you wanna know how to make a paper, sw uh, like a paper swan. You go, how to paper swan. Not how to make a paper yeah. swan out of crepe paper. You just need the keywords. It's just, you just keyword. It's the whole thing. Mm. Ten squats. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven. Gonna hop on beef too, actually. Eight, Looks like he's up to nine. nine. It's a nice. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get into the how I I'm I'm trying to learn to um, stream on my own, so I'm going to be on my own in the world. Uh, if you if you go, okay. I'm literally just trying to I'm trying to learn to learn I'm I'm trying to learn how to be entertaining on my own. So yeah, oh you're good. I'll get there. I will oh, yeah, get no, there eventually. You. I will really get good. there. It will take a while. Yeah. Hmm. You take care. Me too. Oh, actually, I do have one other manga story. What? I've got a full collection of Blame, which is honestly too many nice, like, best mangas. Mm -hmm. The first volume is really hard to get a hold of, though, because aside from them all being old, it's like, the first one is the rare one. I had to scare a lot of places to get it, and I finally got it off eBay. I live in Australia. I got it from, like, the arse end of Canada. Like, it was a secondhand bookstore, like, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> that book went on a journey to get to me. <laughs> Have you heard about all the shit about Newegg recently? No? Newegg, uh, okay, Newegg in America basically has been, um... They get... So they get a part... And it gets uh, uh, and it go and they send it back and they and they uh, 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 just type in um, gamers nexus new egg onto YouTube. You'll get like five videos on okay. it. Basically, um, gamers nexus bought a uh, bought a motherboard from gamers uh, from new egg for about five hundred dollars. By the way, it was like fifty quid under retail because it was yeah. a quote unquote open box. They sold them a motherboard mm -hmm. with a fucked up uh, with a fucked up CPU socket. And I say fucked up, I mean it was missing like useless. six. It was missing like six of the pins, and it was completely butchered and bitched up. Mm -hmm. um, Newegg, and, and so they turned around and said, "It was brand new. We didn't even open the box. <laughs> they just bought it, got it. They had fixed the problem, so they just sent it back. And they're like, no. And they were like, we're going to keep the motherboard, but no, it's not that. And they said, no, send us the fuck. They literally turned around and said, do you know who the fuck I am? I, I can literally bring down your company with one YouTube video. <laughs> and it turns out... <laughs> so that's what they've new, done. <laughs> and it turns out Newegg turned around and sold them a motherboard that they were trying to RMA with Gigabyte. Whoops. Yeah, because it had the fucking RMA sticker from Newegg <laughs> to them. And it's like the fuck. So, yeah, there's this huge problem. And it's like, the, the, and there's a, vi they got the video of the <laughs> box. The person who fucking had this motherboard before Newegg or before Gamers mm -hmm. Nexus didn't know how the box opened. Because you know a motherboard box, it's usually got a magnetic bit on the side, you pull it up and it clamshells over and it's a plastic bit which you pull out. 
Yeah, the fucker turned around and went, I'm gonna cut the top off of this thing. Like, it just opens this way. Why are you opening it that way, you dumb yeah. fuck? Why? Oh. Yeah, look, look it up. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. Hey, Kim. Oh. How you doing? <laughs> but yeah, it's so fucking dumb. I don't know what's got that. <sighs> Hello, Kim. By the way, Kim, every hour I'm in the tower defense world, I have to give my chat a fucking sub, so I will not be joining you in tower defense for quite a while. Oh, nothing. Hold on. Let's try jump worlds. Hello, Kim. But yeah, I don't every... know what she's done, but I'm sure she's done something. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently she's been going into cinema she's been going into cinemas with her mates, just carrying a ladder and wearing high vis jackets and just walking into cinemas and just watching movies. Because apparently you don't get asked. Oh yeah, it's the old clipboard technique. No he's gonna argue if you have a clipboard. It makes you look professional. <laughs> I'm Mecca. Have you been? Well, sorry, I've been away for a while. A lot of pe personal stuff has been going on. The time. It's okay, Drew. Don't worry about it. I, it's completely understandable. I understand. Life, you later. life first. Say, say that. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much for the thousand bit, uh, Mecca. By the way. Um, but yeah, it's completely understandable, Drew. Don't worry about it. If you're on and you want to hang out, come on. I'm trying to get into the habit of learning to stream on my own, so there's going to be a lot more just me on my streams now. It's not going to be me with crazy ass company anymore. I mean, it, it will be me with crazy ass company, just not prioritizing it. One, two, three. Nine, ten. Oh my god. Uh, thank you so much for the thousand biddies. But yeah, I, I'm trying. I want to get into the habit of me just having me on camera with me, me on me on my own, learning to stream on my own. Um, is this? <laughs> Whoa, well, that's actually proper broken. Let me refresh that to see if I can fix. I need to try and fix my Spotify, guys. <laughs> I fixed it. I just have to hit the refresh button. The fuck? <laughs> now I can shut this. Oh. Hi, Bobby. Yeah, Cal suggested that I basically try and uh, Cal suggested that I try and get into learning to stream just on my own. So it's going to be a lot more me talking on my own, talking about stupid stories on my own. It's going to take a while. It's going to be a journey. <laughs> It's gonna be a journey, <laughs> but yeah. Um. So I've been trying. I. I. I wanna. I wanna. I, I'm gonna. I'm basically now going out of my way to try and improve as a content creator. Cal suggested that I try and be on my own a bit more, like teach myself to be a bit more. Yes. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. I need to basically try and have stories to talk about all the time, which is gonna be interesting. Um. But I need to try and do this. I need. I. I'm determined to grow this year, and if this is one way for me to do it, then go with. Then I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with. It's like so. The way we're gonna be. I'm gonna be doing it is over the next like three, four weeks. I'm gonna be learning to do this on my own, punching in a bit more variety here and there. So Monday, st Monday stream next week is gonna be variety. I'm thinking either Boneworks or Half Life Alex. Um, I have ideas for those, by the way. Main channel is gonna start getting some content. Main channel is gonna start getting content. Promise. I will definitely. Yes. Please tell me I didn't fuck up my. Oh. Uh, but I've learned that I, it can definitely be easier to stream with others, but knowing how to stream by yourself is a good skill. Yeah, that's the thing I definitely feel like I need to do. Um, I can't 
uh, to... Okay, I'm going to be 100% pure and honest with you guys. I feel like if I try and find any other work, I'm literally not going to find it. Streaming is the only thing I think that I'm ever going to get in my life. I'm, I'm okay basically being a streamer till the day I die. I'm happy with that because at some point I'm going to get to where I want and need to be. But the problem I have is I guarantee you if I try and get a job at like Tesco's or Sainsbury's or Asda, they'll look at me and say, you haven't done fuck all. Um, but I need to, I, I need to start pushing this properly. So learning to do this on my own and streaming on my own with occasional company isn't a bad thing. I get hard work on setting a few hours on each stream of yourself and fill in the extra time of other people. I think that's what I'm going to do. I just need conversation. I d the reason why we went to tower defense, the reason why I went to tower defense all the time is because it would be a distraction for me and then it would just turn into conversations. I just don't, I, I just don't think, I, the problem, okay, the problem is, is before I did streaming full time, I worked in the games industry. And when I worked in the games industry, the whole fucking time, I was basically abused as a worker. Like I was fucked. Kim can actually, I can, can actually tell you how bad it was. I was doing like up to, I, I, I think one week or multiple weeks in a row, I did like up to 120 hours or like 110 hours in a week, multiple times. And it got to a I point, I, I hardly got paid for it. I think I was making like $2. No, you never got paid. I got to, I got, I was making mm -hmm. like $2 an hour at best, but it was like two to three months between payments. That's how bad it was. So I would get like a, I, w I would end up getting like a $1,500 check like every two, three months and then that was it. I'm owed like 18 grand for it's, them. This is it, actually it, a, a fair amount of humbleness and understatement because when Katie stayed with me and I will just put this out there, they didn't pay her for like two months. They just didn't even fucking bother. And then when they did pay her, it was peanuts. So she's been yeah. very understated and modest here, but they genuinely did fuck her over really badly. Yeah, it was lich it was lich it left a it left an incredibly bad taste in my mouth working for other people. That's the reason why I want to stream full time. I understand I'm working I'm I'm working under like Amazon. I'm technically an Amazon employee. Uh, by the way, did you hear? Are we technically self-employed? Uh, technically we're self-employed. Technically we're self-employed, uh, but we're self-employed under Amazon. Um, because we're contract- we're technically- oh, okay. We have affiliate agreement, we're contract- What is going on with my fucking hip tracker? This is like the 20th time today. Are you working? Are you fine? Are you going to have another fit child? Fuck you, stupid thing. Um... But did you hear? In America, Amazon thinks that they're gonna run out of people to hire to work in their warehouses. They actually think they're gonna have too many. They they think that um they think in the next five to ten years, American Am American Amazon or Am uh, Amazon America thinks that in the next five to ten years, they would have employed ninety percent of the pub population. As in, 90% of the population would have, at some point, worked in an Amazon warehouse. That is how bad it is in America, because they go through they go through employees too fucking quickly. Can, can, can I make a, a really old farty reference? Silent Green is people. <laughs> that's that's what it is now. That's what it uh. is. Yeah, it's, it's like a dystopian future. It's like Mad Max is where they ran out of fucking oil and petrol, Soiling. but the reality of it is it's not going to be Mad Max. Amazon. It's going to be Amazon. Amazon is <laughs> Amazon is fulfilling Soylent Green. Fucking Facebook is trying to fulfill the metaverse or um, Ready, Ready, Ready Player, Player One. one. Um, mm. They're I doing think, a terrible job of it too. Or is it... Um, uh, what would it be for, um, what would it be for Apple? <laughs> Apple, Apple's a weird one. Apple is kind of, um, is literally, a a Apple, Apple is a self-fulfilling fucking prophecy when you think about it. Apple, it totally is. the first fucking Mac, what is it, a Mac Pro 
the first Mac advert where it was the woman running what, the down first the Apple thing. Mac, the iMac, the, the Mac, the Mac trailer where she was, where a woman was running down the middle of the aisle with IBM, and then she throws the sledgehammer into the screen. Literally, that is oh, yeah, Apple. IMAC. That is Apple. They are the cult. They are literally just a cult at this point. Yeah, and it's like okay, cool. <laughs> you know, you know what happens to computer companies like that though, and it's sad to say, but they die. They do, they do like, die. They genuinely do. They, they genuinely do die. They do die. They do die. They, they do die. And then another yeah, fucking company, see. and another company take uh, takes over. But the, do you know what will always remain? Fucking Linux. Linux will always fucking remain. <laughs> At least a version on a variant oh, of yeah, Linux. It's people powered. It's people powered. Powered by people. So, so Apple, Apple are going down the same road that Sinclair went down that killed their company completely. And then what happened was when Sinclair died, Acorn took over. And then Acorn eventually went down that same road that killed their company completely. And Apple are doing that exact same thing. Yeah, you it's know? it's extremely close. It is what it is. It's an extremely it, the problem with Apple right now is, is it's an extremely closed ecosystem, which is very much not going to survive if it keeps going the way it's going. Granted, I will say this, the level of competition from the iPhone is amazing, but the next generation the next generation of cool hardware coming out is it, it's the fucking Steam Deck. <laughs> it's the Steam Deck. It's handheld PCs which are super fucking powerful, which last a few hours. By the way, um, XQ, uh, XQC watched uh, Linus Tech as a video out of him reacting to um, Linus Tech Tips um, reveal uh, video of the Steam Deck. Mm -hmm. And he says, Do you know what I want? He said, Do you know what I want? I want a company to come out with a huge chonker of a battery for this. And it just slots onto the back and it like triples the weight of it. But it's a huge chunky battery, which basically gives it like a 20 hour battery life. I'm like, I, I, I fucking cool. want, I fucking want that. I, I mean, it's like half a kilogram. It's like 600, it's like 600 grams or something, but it's really, something like, like. it's something, it's like a 650 gram machine, but adding in a battery, which adds like but a it, kilogram of weight. I'm like, most people are going to have it rested down. A huge chunky battery isn't going to do shit and you can actually have it so it comes up slightly and it has a fucking charge port on the top with, with like an it, extra fan. Like, like you said with Linux, that Linux won't die because it's people powered. So it, it's funny you should say that because actually when Nintendo let go of the Game Boy and they stopped it being a thing, uh, the community took over and started like devving for it. And now you can play Lara Croft on a Game Boy Advance with like full graphics. It's have incredible seen, what happens you, when people are allowed to take over. Ha, have you seen um, a fan made a, a fan made a fan made game of Bloodborne? Basically reverts it back to the PS1 era, and you can play it, and it looks absolutely fucking amazing and it's really well done oh yeah open lara on the game boy advance genuinely does look like you're playing the ps1 game it looks incredible like it's amazing what the game boy advance is capable of if you know how to code for it properly it's fucking incredible but this is what happens when people are allowed to like just go nuts when you get all the little people who dwell in their mum's basement start devving for stuff yeah it's, it's really it's, it's insane the funny thing is is that have you seen there's a new game boy out there's actually a physically a new game boy out Yes, I'm, seen, I'm well aware, you, and yes, I will be getting seen, it. Have you seen it? It's literally an OLED panel, and it's like really fucking bright, and it's like holy shit. It's and there's some it's pretty cool. And there's, yeah, and the there's analog a, pocket. There is a, a thing. There's a way to take an old Wii, an old Nintendo Wii, cut the PC, the motherboard up on it, and then you can put it in a Game Boy shell, and it works. There's a way to do it. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, yeah, you can you can do that. You can you can make Nintendo Wii uh, handhelds. I've seen that. I've seen an Atari Twenty Six Hundred made into a handheld. I, I've seen some pretty cool handhelds actually. Uh, the Nintendo Wii is actually amazing because you can play game uh, GameCube games on it, and that was like Boston. Yeah. Imagine playing Wind Waker on your fucking handheld. <laughs> I, 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 I okay. say that. One of but then my all the Switch kiddies are like, shut up, Kim. We've already got that. One of my one of the things that okay, I need I. I, I put pre-order down on the Steam Deck. Uh, on a Steam Deck, I want. I really do want to get one because at the end of the day, at the end of the fucking day, I love my Switch. I love the fact that Cal got me the Switch. I fucking love you. I do. Do not ever get me wrong. Do not ever get me wrong. Oh, but the adorable. fucking games on the fucking Switch are expensive as fuck. It's like forty dollars for a game. For games which last a long time, but you can only play them on this thing, and it's like I need to dedicate time to play on it. 
and it's like, okay, but with the Steam Deck, you can just get games on Steam so I can play them on stream one minute and then sit on my ass another and I mean, just play I'm... it from the other side of the room. <laughs> I, I want to play I, I, I Inscription kind of, on like, this I've thing. I've heard that you can hack a Switch, but I don't know like how hackable they are. Apparently they can run emulators, and like a little bit of me wants to get a Switch just so I can run GameCube games on it. I, I know like, this sounds... a little bit of me. Do you know, do you know Nintendo, is a f Nintendo is fucking stupid with, that, with, with, with some of the shit they've got. I wanted a Switch because I read somewhere that you could get like Pokemon Leaf Green and Emerald and all the old Pokemon oh, 18. Go. But I read somewhere that you could get them on there. Apparently you can't. Apparently it was on track to happen and then t Nintendo went, nope, fuck you, we're, re we're, we're remastering these games anyway, why would we re-release them? I'm like, because it's lit, just add an emulator to the fucking Switch and then add an M EMU store or a classic store where you can go in and just it's be like, I want to play job. What's wrong It's with them? literally something which won't take them fucking long. And I guarantee fucking to you, I would have gone through that and I would have gone, I want Pokemon Yellow, which by the way, I have on my fucking shelf and it works. My my Game Boy still works and it still has the saves on it. Oh my Somehow, God, I need to replace the battery on my Pokemon Yellow. It Fuck's still sake. works. Mine's still fine. I'm like, why is this still working? This my, my red and blue work fine. My green works fine. My yellow is a bit iffy. But the green one's all in Japanese and I need to translate it. Because I'm going to be... Japan. I'm going to go have an amazing stream. Video. Have a wonderful day, Anna Fluff. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay awesome, and have an awesome weekend. Don't forget to watch... Uh, don't forget to... Uh, uh, tomorrow is Dress Up Darling, new episode. And Sunday is going to be... Um, yes. Uh, Sunday is going to be New Demon's Day. My mum sold my old Game Boy. If I said your mum sounds like a bitch, would that be okay? <laughs> don't play, don't fuck with someone's Game Boy. <laughs> don't fuck with someone's Game Boy. No, I butchered my old. Um... <laughs> but yeah, um, if Switch, if Nintendo were to literally just turn around and go, we're gonna make a store. It's gonna be a classic store. It's literally old emulator games, and you can buy them for like three to five pounds. I guarantee fucking you, they'll make more money off of the classic shit than they do from their new shit. But do you want to know the problem with that? They know that, and they want you to buy Pokemon Leaf Butt, because why the fuck not? <laughs> I have a habit of just constantly resetting my play space because I move up and down slightly when I do it. It's a really bad problem. But yeah, how many of you in the chat right now, how many of you um, in my chat and how many in Kim's chat, because I assume she's streaming, how many in either of our chat right now would uh, basically go out of their way on t the Nintendo store to basically be like, I'm going to go get old Pokey games? Well, I've just started streaming, so there's like two people in my chat right now, um, Fire and TV, and I would imagine that both of them are like MU, MU guys, right? You guys like emulating? So yeah, probably. They, they would get it. I definitely would get it. I would go through like and buy Pokemon Leaf Green and all that shit. But then uh, a little bit of me is like a bit of a hacker and I like to play with stuff that I'm not supposed to. Did you see on the Retro Gaming Forum? I don't know if I've added you to it on Facebook. I need to. Um, one of my friends took a fucking N64 car and wired in a real working Pokemon Crystal Game Boy game to it and they had it playing on on the n64 it was so fucking cool and then he made a custom case for it and shit it's amazing i'll send you pictures best thing ever i was like yeah i'd do that i'd love to play pokemon in the n64 that'd be amazing i want I, like, I just mm, i want to add I, it to my I, collection i just i genuinely feel like if they turn around because at the moment switch is really really switch is doing switch is like one of the bigger consoles you can get i guarantee you if their sales slowed down and then they went we're releasing an emulator we're releasing the classic store and you can buy all of our old classic games from the 90s and early 2000s you want all cartridge games? Cool. Yeah, but they, 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 they don't realize like how much of a market that is. See, they think that they, all of us have grown up and had kids and raised families. They don't. I'm, they don't understand that like the vast majority of us are gamers. Yeah, we grew. When, when a kid. Okay, rule one: when a kid grows up, when a kid grows up as a gamer, they stay a fucking gamer and they want their old fucking games back. They like the nostalgia. Nostalgia is cheap. Oh yeah. You nostalgia is cheap. Good nostalgia is so fucking cheap. Why do you think there's Skyrim? No, no, nostalgia what? was cheap. Nostalgia. Is cheap, nostalgia. Sort of. I mean, it depends. why do you why do you think fucking Bethesda releases a new version of fucking um Skyrim every five fucking weeks? 
because they're repeatedly going up to you and giving you a slow drip of fucking El 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 Elder Scrolls, because fuck you, that's why. They'll do the same with fucking Fallout 4 eventually. They won't do it with 76, I think they learned the fucking lesson with that one. But they'll they'll do it with they'll do it they'll just repeat that nostalgia is easy to deal with because you just go okay cool, fucking Infinity Ward has been trying to chase nostalgia for a long ass time and failing because everybody is looking for either COD Four or Modern Warfare Two nostalgia. Those games aren't dying because they're nostalgic. Why the fuck should the why 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 should I buy COD Twenty Four? future rim jobs of Hades or some shit, whatever they're fucking gonna call it. Why should I buy the latest version of Call of Fucking Duty when the last good COD game was Modern Warfare fucking 2? Why should I do that? Seriously. Modern Warfare, okay, my opinion, I preferred Modern Warfare 1 over Modern Warfare 2, but Modern Warfare 2 was still fucking fun. Modern Warfare 2 was actually, it was still really fun, I just didn't like how it was closed servers. Modern Warfare 1 was the last good one, was, uh, Modern Warfare 1 was the last good one, literally just because it was public servers. And that game is still alive, by the way, if you have COD 4, you can still go on. The only problem is, is you have to find an updated version of the Punk Buster. That's, that, that's the only problem with it. Servers are still alive, you can still get on there, and they're still keeping them alive because people keep paying money to keep the servers up because people love it yeah. modern warfare 2 the reason why you, modern, you know, you know, the reason why modern warfare I, 2 I shed went, a tear when the xbox servers shut down that was sad yeah the, the reason why modern warfare 2 died is down to the fact that it was um it wasn't uh, it, it was it was it was a drop-in server system so you had to queue to get mm -hmm. into a game Whilst Modern Warfare One, I missed was still I missed the, the lobbies service. though. Uh, the Modern Warfare One, was I missed still the, the Black old... Ops multiplayer lobbies back before everyone was a fucking wet wipe and people were just you know themselves. But that's the thing. That was so, fun. But that's the thing. Server when you can go when you can go into a game and you get server listings and you can go oh I'm gonna go into this one oh I'm gonna go into this one oh I need to get my gun up I'm gonna go into this one because everyone just literally AFK is in this up. The rule is is that you AFK on the server. Someone runs around and gets headshots on you. They get kills on you. They can train up their weapons. Cool. You're getting your guns up. Wicked. Nice. And then. You, you, yeah, but that, uh, those, those were the days, like, when you had a Black Ops multiplayer lobby, those were those were the days when, like, Karen didn't exist, and, and like, people would just be themselves and not give a fuck about it, and anarchy ruled, and I loved it. I loved every second of it. It was amazing, and I miss it terribly. I, I, that, I, I, I miss some of the old days of my, I, I miss the old days of when I used to do gaming professionally, where, I, when I used to literally go out, when I used to go out of my way to literally spend weekends at fucking LAN parties, and fucking kick Dignitas's ass every fucking day. Like, those were the days. Those were fucking great. I enjoy mm -hmm. those. But I know I'm never going to have them again because at the end of the day... No, those days I, are gone. They, those days are, go those those, days are those gone. Those days of gaming are gone. But at the end of the day... The wet wipes it, took over. At, at the end of the day... No, no, what's even more fucking annoying is a kid that basically gets a Nintendo Switch, hears that there's a gaming tournament, goes to these huge tournaments where everyone's rocking these huge fucking monolithic PCs with like 3090s and fucking Threadripper 12,000s and like 200 gigs of RAM and it's all <coughs> liquid cooled and shit. And then you get a little kid come up and he goes, I'm a gamer and he's got a fucking Switch. Like, you get, yes. or, or, or you get an old fashioned gamer like me who's running out of date technology but somehow cobbled it together to shovel coal in it to make it work. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, is that you basically get a room full of these people, which are basically using like really cool hardware, running like proper tournament shit, and then a kid turns up with a switch, thinking they're a gamer, or they turn up on their. They oh, no, turn you're up not. With no, I, I'm sorry. Here's the thing. If if you don't know, there's certain things. If you don't know what a PlayStation One is, you're not a gamer. I don't I don't fucking care. If you don't know what an N64 is, you're not a gamer. If you've I'm, never played a GameCube, fucking know, forget it. I'm do sorry, you, I don't I don't believe it for a do second. You know you're a gamer. Really fucking funny. I'm honest to fuck surprised. No one has gone into my sound alerts and done the PS1 um, startup sound sound alert yet. Oh, I forgot to change my sound alerts today. For fuck's sake, I did everything else. I knew I was something I was supposed to do, and I fucking totally forgot. I was going to add in... Sake. I wanted to add in the Xbox one, but it's nowhere near as good as... 
I can't do it. <laughs> like seriously, the fucking PS1 sound clip is just. Uh, I'm just. I'm, I'm, I'm just having, having a conversation with chat. They're like, one of them's like, I've played every console that's ever been made, and I'm like, oh yeah, ever played a Magnavox Odyssey? <laughs> just like did, ColecoVision? Did you? Did you? Did you? I'll just did you, throw all the you, you. Did you like the noodle video I sent you on uh, on Need for Speed? The fact that the the that driving get the first uh, the second the first driving game the, the first game ever made was um, Pong, and then the second game ever made was called Space Race, and it's literally just a, it's just a rocket going up that you got to dodge but dodge dots with i'm like that's so fucking cool that the first game made was a sports game and the second one ever made was a racing game <laughs> like that would that was like and i was like because it's just all joystick control i'm like yeah cool 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 cool, cool. commodore 64 my first games console would have had to have been oh c64 let's go my first game Who, who's mentioning c64 i give him a hug i think um sephiroth in my chat um it mentioned the C64. Oh, legend, mate. My C64, first game, that's the way I forward. I think my first console would have been the Mega Drive. Your first console was the Mega Drive? That was a decent console. I got the 16-bit version. It's pretty decent. The yeah. Little, but by 16-bit, there were two 16-bits. There was the big, huge Mega Drive one that like was like kind of okay, and then there was the little one that everyone had. I got, I've got the oh, little I had one the big everyone one. had, because they're the big, cheap. Um, I, have, I have the big one. You had the big one? Oh, nice. I think it's still at my mind. Nice. Room. They're I very cheap still... now. Well, the big, the big ones are not very cheap now. The big ones are very expensive. The little yeah. ones are very cheap. But the games, right? You can buy like a oh. multi cart with every oh. game ever on it for like 12 oh. bucks on eBay. Oh, oh. Uh, cool point. Uh, on the on it, I had uh, I, I, I had Sonic. Um, I had the co I, I Commander, the, the one where you're a helicopter going around in Iraq and just shooting. Um, shooting people <laughs> shooting people dropping off stuff like going yeah <laughs> you're gonna make work cool how about, how about, how about stay safe stay safe i could do lap pillow although although dan dan recently got hold of an amstrad cpc mm -hmm. and and like a, a little bit of me is is nerding out every time i go over there because he's got the original monitor and everything and and, and playing the 8-bit games on the amstrad uh, gives me a bit of a lady boner so I'm not gonna first, lie. so the first console so the first console i would have had would have had would have been the sega mega drive and then i think the one after that would have been the ps1 because we, we didn't get yeah it. psx yeah we had the ps i had a ps I don't know, so if, if you've got like certain versions of that they were for fortune these days uh, so the original playstation um, actually, I ended up having three of the original PlayStation because my dad got one, my mum got one, and then my mum's boyfriend got one. <laughs> so we ended up having PlayStation have, downstairs. Have you, have you still got I them laying one. around the house? Um, I, I know I have an... Okay, and then here's the thing, and I know I still have it because it's in the next room. Um, the next console I okay. got was a Xbox Crystal. <laughs> Take a look at the serial number on the back of the PSX. If it matches up to... There's a, there's a certain type of PSX called the audiophile PSX. If the serial numbers match up and you have that one, it has a very particular chip in it, which audiophiles will pay stupid money for. So definitely check to see the serial number, because let me tell you what, you could sell that for about 500 quid if it has the right chip in it. They are fucking expensive these days. Uh, but yeah, so, so the it's first... It's amazing what people first, will pay for. First console I had was a, was a Sega Mega Drive. Then I got the uh, PlayStation. Then I got an Xbox Crystal. And then I got the Game Boy around the time when the S Advanced SP was a thing because it came from my granddad who died. Um, he died of cancer like 15, 15 years ago, something like that. 15, 16 years ago at this point. Um, so he died, and I, he gave that to me when I was 10. Um, yeah, he gave that to me for my birthday when I was 10. It came with a Malaysian... It, it came with a Filipino version of Pokemon, gold, and silver, on a single fucking cartridge. <laughs> so I had Pokemon gold and silver on a cartridge. Apparently that thing is rare as fuck. But it was a Filipino f copy, so it's not, like legible to people it was really bad english but i understood the move 
I understood the fucking moveset, and then eventually, but I think it contributed to my dyslexia. I think Pokemon Gold and Silver contributed to my dyslexia because it was some, it was a fucking Filipino copy, so it was fucking never English, right? I think it helped with my dyslexia. <laughs> Uh, cause they just translated individual words, they didn't in translate sentences. So it would, um, it would be like, stab, uh, stab Quasar forward with, and I'd be like, okay, that sounds like, so stab Quasar, cool. <laughs> I don't know, it was stupid English, it was broken as fuck. Um, but then I got the Xbox Crystal, which slapped, but the controller was chonk. The controller was chonky AF. It's super fucking chonky. Um. Uh, what did I do after that? What was the console I got after that? I think after that it was just an Xbox 360. And then. What got, came after what? Uh, after the uh, Chris, Xbox Crystal, I got. I oh, know. After the Xbox Crystal, I got myself an, uh, an original DS. I got myself an original Nintendo DS. Mm. Um, uh, and then it would have been uh, 360. It would have been a 360. Yeah, it would have been 360. Was it the white one or was it the slim? White one. I'm original, curious. The original one. Ooh, Ring of Death. <laughs> Funny point. Never had it. It still worked. Do you, do you know work. why that was caused? I was literally just talking to my chat about that. Do you know what caused that? It, it was, was that the it would get so hot, the transistors that were in the actual chip, uh, the solder would melt, that holds them in place, and they'd move slightly and cause electrical oh, no, no, shorts. No. I don't know. That's um, genuinely what caused that problem. I don't know. Uh, the uh, some of the transistors in it um, had a thermal had a thermal point, and then they would it would heat up, causing them to turn the basically it would turn ones to zeros. It got confused. That uh, so I just went ah. Yeah, yeah. It'll it'll move transistors inside the chip and then it all goes funny it's kind of weird that's that's why people who thought... wrap them in towels and then let them run and get really hot sometimes it would line the transistors back up by melting the solder in the chip and Don't it would work again do you want to know what sometimes you... okay do you want to know what the problem was it would red ring because it would get overheated but they would have the console stood up so the transition would slide down oh yeah so if you lay it down it's down. not a problem i always had it laid down that's the reason why it always worked yeah, it's not a problem. But I mean, to be fair, you could just like... I, I never had the problem because I had, I had the, the Xbox 360 Slims, which I have three of currently because I'm a fucking nerd and I love my Xbox 360. Actually, four, come to think of it, because there's... I... So, one, I... One, two, you three, know how, and one in the bedroom, four. You know yeah. how PlayStation always releases a slim version of their console? I'm waiting for the PS5 Slim. Oh, uh, the PS1 Slim was the ugliest fucking weirdest looking I'm, thing ever. It literally I screamed hate, 2000s. It was I, fucking hideous. I fucking hate the Sento Kaiba look on the PS5. Yeah. I fucking yeah. hate it. I, 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 I really I do. I, I want like a it. PS5. I want a PS5 so I can play some of the newer games coming out. But I fucking hate the look. Mm. It doesn't match anything. I don't know what was going about them when they went, we're gonna make it look like a centerpiece in your room. I'm like, bitch, that's my fucking TV. Stop trying to take over. Yeah, no, I, 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 the thing with the thing with the PS5, um, if I if I do any modifications, it's it's gonna be a shell modification straight away. I don't oh, like God. that it looks like I vagina would, lips. I would it literally, literally looks like a. Fight. I would I would li if I here's the thing if I had a 3D printer, I would literally 3D print a side panel which just squares that bitch up, just square the bitch up, adds in. Yeah, the, square it up. Yeah, square it up, and then also add an I'd I'd have it so it could have a, like a little fan, an extra fan support in there and be like fuck you oh yeah, i mean if, if they took if you take the hardware and put it in a nicer looking case it's fine it's just yeah, the i would the form of I, it is disgusting yeah thankfully you can take the side panels off and it's literally just held on with some clips i will I, I guarantee you you could find some 3d prints of it and it's just a flat piece of plastic which just squares the fucker up and it's like cool why? But look, at least the Series it? X. Um, I mean, firstly, the Series X has got has got a couple of great things about it. One, it, it, it's it's black and box shaped and doesn't really like oh, take away from anything X. in the room, which is quite cool. I have a Series and, X. All oh, right, it's subtle as fuck. And number two, if you have a GameCube, you'll notice that the GameCube is the exact dimensions of a Series X, so it makes a great GameCube stand. So you just put your GameCube on top of it. Probably not what Xbox envisioned, but oh, no. I I'm not gonna lie, I fucking love the look of the Series X. And it sounds really stupid. Oh, yeah, no, I, me too. It sounds me too. really stupid. The Series X can subtly just 
d disappear into your setup, and you will use that fucker all the time. The PlayStation 5 is a I mean, fucking the, the eyesore. The Series X is a, be the it's PS, a beautiful, clever the thing. The PS5 is a fucking eyesore. It's a diff it's, it's a difference between yeah. minimalist and fucking... I have two more money than cents, I mean, and that's the problem. The PS5 is more uh, money than cents. The PS5 cents. works in, in, in Sony's mind, okay? Because it, it works in certain locations. If you have no other consoles and you live in a modern white apartment building with, you know, magnolia walls, then maybe, just maybe, it might look nice next to your TV because it's very minimalist. However, so. if you're like me and you have fucking consoles everywhere, it stands out like a sore thumb I've, and it's the ugliest I've, fucking thing. I Okay, here's the thing. The only only people who give two flying actual fucks about the console wars are kids. And guess who's buying the consoles for the kids? Yeah. The fucking parents. And the only reason why the it, and the only reason why it that console wars matter with kids is because the parents aren't gonna go out the fucking way to buy multiple fucking consoles. But guess what? Adults are gamers now. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna settle with one fucking console. They're gonna get both of them. No, all of them. Make them subtle. Make them work. Like they should have gone. We're gonna have it so it fulfills this footprint. And here's our dimensions. Try and get it close. Both of them yeah. go. Okay. We're well, gonna... like the Series X. Let's make it. Let's make it the same as two GameCube stacked on top of each other. Great. That works fine. That's What's... that's perfect. Everyone. I can, I can chuck it in my setup and nobody even notices it. Look, it's not very here's... assuming. It looks nice. Yeah, Square is easy. Square is easy. Funny point. If you look back over the past, like, if you look past over the past few generations of the consoles, right? Um, Xbox, uh, original Xbox, Xbox Classic, the Crystal, the Classic, the um, and stuff, right? Square as fuck had a slight X designed for it because it was called the X, the Xbox. Cool. Really simple. Really simplistic. Its competition at the time was the PlayStation Two. Guess what? I kind of like the Xbox design over the play uh, over the PlayStation 2 design. I thought the PlayStation 2 the PlayStation 2 wasn't terrible looking, but it was yeah. It was it was yeah. Actually to be honest, both the uh, but okay, the PS2 and the Xbox series uh, the Xbox Classic both were very sleek and minimalist. Then Xbox won the console war because they had Halo. So the following generation, they went a bit extravagant. They went a bit curvy. They came up with the 360. Okay, cool. And then PlayStation turned around and said, "We're going to give you a we're going to give you a George Foreman with the PS3." Guess what? PS3 fucking wins the console war, but it's still a fucking George Foreman. Then the PS4 comes out straight with italics against. Guess what? A box. Which was the Xbox One. Guess what? The Xbox One won the last generation. I don't care what people say. Cyberpunk proved that Xbox was the superior console. Cyberpunk would run on Xbox One and wouldn't run on PS4. PS4 literally just was a box with italics. Meanwhile, the Xbox One was literally just a box looked clean this generation we're gonna take that box idea we're just gonna make it fat they literally just went make box make tall add fan cool meanwhile me meanwhile someone at fucking sony turned around and took the ps5 and just went we're gonna design this really really cool console we're gonna make it really really really, really powerful and then they looked at him and said it's a bit boring isn't it it's a bit boring it's uh Let's let's make let's make this look a bit more interesting. So they just went. Why don't we, why don't we, why don't we just slap it with a bit of a smooth brush? Is that a smooth brush? Let's smooth brush this shit. It's like, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Just keep the fucker straight. I know I am the gayest person you will probably ever know and meet. And I'm sorry. I want my shit straight. <laughs> I want my consoles to be straight as fuck. I want them curvy. I want it bent like a ruler, just straight. I don't want it. I don't want it like a protractor. <laughs> PS1 looked funky. PS2 looked futuristic. PS3, uck, fucking grill. 
Italic square PS5, what the fuck? <laughs> exactly. You got that fucking right. You you got that absolutely fucking right, Salad. The PS1 looked funky. The PS the PS1 wasn't funky. The PS1 was a grey square with a button that made it go. It's just the the, the top loading. The top loading disc thing on the PS1 was fucking amazing. I literally spent hours just opening and closing that thing. It was so cool. What, the PS1? The PS1. Yeah. PS, PS2. Oh, yeah. PS2. PS2 was the last time PlayStation got the design of the console looking good. Oh, no. PS, so, so PS2 was like, it was like iffy. Because when they came out with it, I looked at it and went, I'm not sure I like that. Because it didn't fit with my PS1, and I was like, I'm not sure I like that. That's a bit, a bit weird. But then, thanks, Mac. Uh, but then I was like, okay, what am I? What? Where am I going to put this? And then I stood it next to the PS1 on its side, and I was like, actually, and the little PlayStation logo on the disc tray, you can rotate it, so you can always rotate it so it faces like the right way. Not many people know that, so I did that, and it was, uh, it was, yeah, it was beautiful. It looks good. But yeah, it's just, I, I, but it's, 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 um... Nintendo, 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 base with, with their consoles, literally just went. They looked at what everyone else was doing and just went. Hand me the sake. Fucking handheld. Let's go. <laughs> they literally just turned around and went. Maybe mums want to get fit. Maybe mums need a games console that will help them get fit. Fucking Wii Fit, let's go. <laughs> it's the yeah, you know where the design of the Nintendo Wii controllers came out? Yeah. Like, do you, do you know where that came from? Where? Some some fucking dude in America, right? Get this. He developed the, the, the tracking shit that they use on the Wii to fly airplanes with. He thought that that would be good for flying airplanes. Fucking what donut. But then Nintendo saw that and were like, hmm, it's shit for flying airplanes with, but I bet you it'd make a fun games console. We'll have some of that. And that it, the it, it, the, but that's genuinely where it came from. My only issue with the fucking the Wii was the fact that it needed the sensor bar. That was it. That was it. The sensor yeah, bar. I know, but can you, can, you, can you imagine actually like trying to fly a plane with a Wiimote? Like, like, dude, that was never wait. gonna catch on, but it works fine for, wait. for a games console. Wait, 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 wait. If it wasn't for the Wii, modern VR wouldn't be anywhere near as accurate as it is now. When you really think about it, full body tracking in VR, oh, yeah. we use the exact same system, except we just spread the fucking sensors out and made them small squares instead of a long ass bar. Mm -hmm. Unless you're using the uh, Hitara, whatever the fuck it's got. I think it's Hitarari, Hit Hit whatever, the, the Japanese thingy, my Bobby, because that uses um, positioning sensors. Like it, cell phones. Very, very advanced cell phone sensors apparently but you oh, can't order one because they fucking are stuck funny funny point. okay here's the thing the 3ds was a fucking innovative thing and i'm not gonna fucking lie i hate that the idea of the 3d system that they i never had with. a 3ds the 3ds system was so fucking clever i shit you fucking not the dude who thought of that must have spent so much time stoned off of his fucking ass on whatever fucking chemicals he can get his hand on to figure out how the I, I fuck that would work. Like, I'm sorry, the 3D system on a screen that doesn't require fucking glasses worked flawlessly. Yeah. How the fuck do you do that? If you're on it for what? Hours. Can you imagine that on a fucking TV? Or can you imagine that on? No, a, that would break can me. you can you imagine that on a TV? Can you imagine that on a phone? Can you like? That would fuck me up. That would it would be so amazing. I I'm not gonna lie. I have a 3D I mean, TV. VR still fucks me up. I though. I I have a 3D TV. I never use the 3D feature because there's nothing that utilizes it. But it's like what the fuck. Yeah, I don't need. That's the thing. Once you get VR, you don't need proper 3D. I mean, we've gone to the movie world. Before, we've gone to the movie world and watched 3D movies in VR, haven't we? It's insane. Oh yeah, yeah. The 3D movie world is amazing. But but the VR thing, right? So so you know when you first put the headset on, you get that sort of like, fuck me, this is cool. I'm in a game. I'm in a game. Look, there's my hands. You do this for about 10 minutes, where you're just looking at your hands. Like, there's my hands. 
them in a fucking game. What the hell? It's it's it's. I still get that from time to time. If I go to certain worlds, like this one's quite pretty. If I go to worlds that are really well done, I stand there for about two minutes having that same experience. Like, wow, I fucking love VR. This is so cool. Oh god, yeah, yeah, yeah it like happens. You're really there. It happens every now and then. But obviously, uh, where I've been in VR for like nearly four fucking years now, my brain just goes, "I'm in VR. I'm aware." Oh, of it, it takes a lot. It, it takes a lot. I, 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 te yeah, I, mean... I technically should move my uh, lenses a bit closer to my eyes to give me a bit more FOV, but I don't like the sensation of it on my eyebrows, so I move it forward until I don't feel mm. it anymore. Um, I mean, it, it's like there's, there's two worlds that constantly give it to me. The carrier world with the F-14s on it because it has that beautiful sunset and amazing water texture and it looks incredible. And also where Pink went to the night church. Fuck me. I went back there and I spent ages just looking around it going, this oh, is God, the yeah. coolest fucking funny, thing ever. A funny point. Um, You can go to Notre Dame in VR. Uh, VR chat has a Notre Dame world. But there, there, there's actually like a 3D that, scan. That doesn't there's surprise a, me. There's a 3D scan of Notre Dame. There is people preserving historical monuments in VR chat. There's actually VR. Ch there's a historical. I love that. Ones. You can go to. Um, I love that. There is. Uh, so there's. Um, is it's not Geiger. It's it, there's an uh, there's one of the artists. Um, uh, one of the um the artist that um chopped off his ear. You can go to his bedroom in VR chat. It's perfectly preserved. It, it's perfectly 3D scanned. I mean that's that's. Chat. That's pretty awesome, to be fair. Yeah. There mean, is. You did. did, did um, <clears throat> um, hang on, let me work out whether or not. So I have to. I have to preface this with: in historical context, you can actually walk along the deck of Bismarck in VR, which is pretty fucking amazing because it gives you some good idea yeah. of scale. VR chat, honestly, VR chat honestly allows you. <laughs> I actually want to see if I can find the uh, Notre Dame world because I haven't actually been there. Honestly, who thinks that would be making yeah. handheld systems with two screens? Uh, one being touch screen and then pretty awesome. Being... I thought here's the thing: people thought that the next generation of um, the Switch was going to be bigger screens, and both of them would be touched. And now that they've got these foldable screens, now that you can get foldable screens, it would be really cool if they did a new Switch with just one continual screen, with just two controller bits on the side. I'm just typing not, not. Uh, yeah, so there are people that are basically going out of their way to preserve ancient monuments in VR chat, and I fucking love that, because uh, I'm I'm not a shut- I, I, I won't declare myself to be a shut-in, um, but I'm not exactly- I go outside, I'm not exactly- I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna go on these huge adventures, I'm gonna go for a walk to fucking whatever. But if I can go somewhere and visit it in VR chat and I go, wow, this is amazing, this is really cool, I go- I want to go and see it in real life. <laughs> Who would have think about making a handheld screen with two crazy two screens, one and being a touch screen? The Switch was the, the 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 DS was really really clever. I thought that was really really innovative. I also liked the original because it had a games console, a uh, uh, Game Boy cartridge slot. You know. I was just talking historical monuments. Me, me, Fire, and Mubi went to Das Boat in, in VR chat just so I could look around it, right? And get this. With five people in it, it felt cramped. That thing was crewed by like 20 sailors. So you can only imagine how horrible it must have been to work on that thing. That would have been fucking horrendous. Like, it feels cramped with five people. Imagine with 20, just bleh. Jesus Christ. That would have been a really awful way to be, you know? I can't, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. But I, I like how that... Are you broken? Oh, no, there we go. No, I, I was thirsty. I need water. I Dude, haven't I, eaten today. I like today. how we can do that, though. I like how we can go to, like, historical things and get a feeling for scale and be like, wow, well, imagine yeah, being but, here in real life. Yeah, yeah the, the only issue is, is that for them to actually give you true scale of a world, they kind of need to actually go out of their way and be like, this is an avatar, which is actually too human scale. Um, if you want proper proportions, get into this avatar and you'll understand the world better. Yeah, the weird, the weird thing is, and, and the bit that sort of gave it away for me was that the beds in Inside Dust Bowl, it, were roughly the same height as my avatar, which meant like like my avatar was roughly the right height. So if Sweet. everyone was the same height as me or close enough to it, it'll give you some sort of idea of what it was like. And with four or five of us running around, it was fucking cramped. And I was like, shit, can you imagine 20 of us being in here? Fuck that. 
I'm glad I wasn't doing that job. That was that's an awful fucking job Does being a submarine work, sailor. Though, Fair play to them, but Does I couldn't do it. Does your NES still work? Because a lot of my like, NES, yeah, of course it does. I got three of them. They all still know, work. Like, I'm gonna talk to Halo Man. Halo Man in my chat. They said I oh, still got NES. Uh, 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 Kim here collects old consoles. She she has a she has a monument to them. If you're on the Discord, she would probably spam the Discord with all the collection later. If, oh, if my, people would like you know to see I, my collection of consoles, you know, I will spam it. You know I did my nails the other day. Yeah, they look very pretty. Yeah, I took them off. I went out. I I, I went Aww. out. I I went out um yesterday and I went and did stuff, and then um I had to take them off. Um, hello, here I am. What are your other two wishes? Oh my god. The fuck. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, I think that kills my chat. I just realized that actually, I, I think that kills my chat. Okay, yeah, that definitely killed it. Um, two seconds. My chat arena died. Um, move you out the way. Minimize VR chat. Yeah, I think the sound alert thing killed my chat. <laughs> Oh no! Um, new screen, you chatterino. Wow. I don't get why it does it. I I, I just noticed that that that's like that. I, I just noticed that the chat died and it keeps happening. So it could be that. It's okay, salad. It's okay, salad. Salad with bacon's not really a salad if it's got bacon in it, is it? Oh no, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's probably just a little flaw with Chatterino, which just causes it to crash when it, it does a thing. We could test it if one of you does the sound, the pickup line sound alert again. If one of you does the sound alert for pickup line, if it kills Chatterino, because I literally just look under my VR headset at my monitor, if it disappears with the sound alert, then it's causing the problem. Which isn't my problem, it's Chatterino's problem, but I can at least bug report it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, when a sound alert happens, it fucking kills it. <laughs> I'm salad with chicken. Oh, salad, that's true. That's true, if you can have a chicken Caesar salad, why can't you have a chicken bacon, why can't you have a chicken bacon salad? Chicken bacon salad. I think Cal wants to buy me pizza tonight. I'm like, no, I have like carbonara. Shut up. <laughs> Cal! Let's see who's on. Beeves on. Bro Bluey. Cha Chi. Cyber's on. Okay. Drew! I'm gonna invite Drew. I invite Drew. I say hello. Eo's on. Jesus. Jesus. Sean's on, but Sean's always on. Sean doesn't log out. Sean literally puts his controllers down and walks away, and he's like, I'm done. I'm still in my home world. I've been streaming for four ish hours now. Dab. Alcohol is vegan. I'm. I want. I want to try sake. Have you tried sake before? Have I tried sake? Uh, yeah, a long, long time ago. So um, a couple of friends uh, in college um, introduced me to a guy called Yikai Shao Jom, and me and Jom got along really, really well. And one day, Jom went home to Japan uh, to see his parents uh, over Christmas. And when he came back, he brought sake with him, and we all got to try sake, and it was fucking amazing. I got to admit. Yeah, I've it's not heard. Bad at all. I've heard that um, sake. Uh, one of the cool things about sake is the fact that it it's very subtle flavor like good sake is very subtle it is on the alcohol. yeah you don't it's like 30 percent mm -hmm. alcohol it's like 30 percent alcohol or something and you're like you're trying you're drinking it going oh this is fine this is fine you got like five shots in i'm like why That's am i hammered i'm like it's sake you can't chase the taste the alcohol but it's the, very the weird... high alcohol hello Zega. thank you for the follow welcome to the stream. Uh, the weird thing about sake is you get drunk from the legs up it's really bizarre. All of a sudden, you can't walk, and you don't know why, because your brain's operating perfectly normally, but your legs aren't doing what you're telling it to do. Drew, hello. How you doing? You're not talking today. I'm doing fine. Oh, you're talking. No, I am. Drew, hey, yeah. Drew. 
I'm a little laggy right now because I'm in Unity. So, <gasps> oh, I, yeah, Cal, 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 we think we've worked out why Cal's internet is so shit. Um, he has worried works in like both directions from him. <laughs> I, I did hear. He literally has he was one. On he has and like. He, said, yeah. he has like one. He has like one up the road and one down the road from him. And like, oh shit. Hello, Tulip. How have you been? He has what down the road? Uh, he has roadworks going on down. Uh, um, um, Cal has roadworks, and its oh, internet's been fucky okay. for the past like week or two, and we're thinking it's the roadworks. Oh god. Like when I say, well, that's terrible. When, like, here's the thing: before the road works, and we checked, it was like ju around the time it started. Before the road worked, internet perfectly fine. We were sleeping a cool all the time, no problems. He could stream, do stuff, and and, and like half the time we're just sat in cool talking, and he would be like telling, it would be like talking and talk, saying really, really so something interesting, and then out <gasps> of nowhere he just starts, he just starts like roboting. I finally know who you are. Diva! Thank you for the brain! Like, Welcome to the stream! You have your... no idea! You popped up on my friends list and I was like, who the fuck is Drew? It took me ages and now I know who you are! And I'm like, oh, fucking, th that's who it is! Brain okay. fart! Uh, div. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't mind me with my brain not working correctly. So sometimes there's planes that fly by and destroy the Wi Fi signal. Like every five minutes. Div. So terrible. Oh, no. So that means. And so Wi-Fi goes out and I disconnect from everything. I have no it internet. Happens occasionally, I, I I don't get internet problems, but if my power ever goes out, which is more of an occurrence than I should be, um, if it ever um, if it uh, if my power ever goes out, then it's a problem because my what my router takes up to an hour to reconnect for some fucking reason. How was your stream? Did you have Ooh, fun? Your friend request. Cause, Cause now I know who you are. Oh, I, I feel yeah, like no, such I, a I donut. Accept, but I guess it didn't go through. Underdog. Mm. Yeah, well, well, welcome we'll to that. my world of me being a donut. I forget I'll stuff. There we go. Accept nice, or deny, and it just doesn't do anything. It's like, no, it is fine. My, my brain just doesn't <laughs> work. It's and yeah, I'll, I'll see someone like twice. I'm doing and then fine. Wait, 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 I, I'm trying to learn to stream on my own. I'm, so I'm stupid. Today, I, I, I'm still in my home world. Trying to upload the hours in this model. Uh, apparently it doesn't work for some reason. I already uploaded it and oh. now it's broken on my model Thank you Charles again. for gifting Diva. So I'm re uh, so I hope you enjoy the emotes. I'm trying to get more done. How are you being Charles by the way? Ignore me. It's Friday. Tulip knows what that means. I don't get what those dangly things are. You eat fitness I thought, Friday for I thought, stream. I thought, I thought that they were like pull strings for like tampons. Why? Because why it's not? It's probably not good that I'm uploading while connected to a VPN. <laughs> Turn off the VPN. I I get VPNs, but I don't get VPNs at the same time. Like the only use for a VPN is so you can watch Netflix and Crunchyroll in other countries, so you don't get I, restricted. I use VP I use a VPN though to make sure that nobody finds my IP address. Yeah, if someone like, ever uses, if someone, if someone ever like uses my IP address to find out where I live, and they lock on my door and they try and come in, I'm just gonna deck them. I'm like, get get, get the fuck out. <laughs> oh my music! Oh no! Don't tell me you broke again. Did you break again, you bitch? There we go. Oh, that looks like it's working. Did, did I break what? I haven't broke nothing. What are you on about? Nope, I fixed it. Okay, cool. Heck yeah, nice job. Yeah, I don't know, sometimes it's having stupid issues with the right defaults. Oh, shit. Ah, I also do you want to know the trick? The FX layer, so. uh, funny point, this avatar does not use right defaults. You shouldn't use de right, right defaults, by the way. No, you shouldn't, but I, I had to destroy my FX layer because there was something messing up with oh, the no, mask um, on if it. You, if you want to not do right, if you don't if you don't know the trick behind right defaults, just add an emote which turn, which has everything off, set it above, like, the gestures, and oh, set it yeah, under no, all. Oh, yeah, no, I know how to. Yeah. Kind loads of people don't know. I of understand people, how to do it. Loads of people don't know how to no do it. I have no idea how to do it. I, I understand how to do it, but I don't know how to do Unity stuff, so it's... Oh, I've, I, I've got my head around how to do Unity. I don't make my own I, I, I've, I've got my head around how to do Unity things now. 
Tulips tell as precious. That's why I buy my own stuff. Almost as precious as why them. Why I buy avatars instead of making them. <laughs> I made the outfit for this Otherwise, one. I would 100% change my faces that I have on this model, but I don't know how to. I don't know how to change my facial gestures. If someone told me my IP address, I would say thanks, but um, I didn't know my IP address. Funny point yeah, when thanks. someone, fun, someone like funny point, someone tried to dox me once and be like, going, "Well, you live here." I went, "Yeah, thank you for telling me my address. W what is the point?" <laughs> then I go, "I'm gonna, I'm it's gonna like, get yeah, I you." I already know where I live. I'm like, I, I'm like, thanks. and they're like, "I'm, I'm gonna get you swatted." You know I might go, "I know my IP too." Oh my god, that's <laughs> my count. It was really funny because they like their response afterwards like, "Why are you telling me my address? I know where I live." And like, "I'm gonna get you swatted. Fuck you." I went, "Good luck. I've already told the police that I'm a content creator and people will try and swat me, so I won't get swatted." Uh -huh. Yeah, you're, if you're a content creator or a streamer, tell your local police department. They'll literally call you before coming in. Yeah. Because it, it turned That's into good to a, know. it turned into a problem in the U.S. The U.S. still has a problem with SWAT, SWAT, uh, with SWAT, and literally down to the fact that they they shoot first and ask questions later. But yeah, yeah. That's why I've got an IP uh, high, or I've got a I've got a a VPN. <laughs> and I have a I don't have a static IP either. So oh, I don't give two shits about that. My my fucking root is a piece of shit. Even if my PC is, you need it set on the router for it to be. You need it to set uh, to be set on the first point of internet connection for, to properly help you. Because technically speaking, if someone was smart and they found out that I've got an Xbox connect, I've got like an Xbox Series X connected to my internet, they can just literally run a line into the IP. Go, we can see the Xbox. We just look at the IP of that. It doesn't matter because it will just tell them what my official IP if they're smart enough so there's no point you have anything else if you've got like a most um, people what they'll do though is they'll send you a link and if, you click on it and it tells you your current ip yeah but then it'll it's tell you one. everything else connected to it and then they'll just run a uh, then they'll run a feed because the problem with xbox is that each one has a serial number so they can just ping the serial or the connection number to it so they'll just ping the ping the connection to it and then it gives them back the the same the the proper ip so there's no point in a vpn if you've got anything else connected to it yeah my ip it shows different locations i try to use my ip to look myself up not the correct location yeah i try to hide mine because there was another content creator who does the same stuff as me and his ip got leaked because he was being an idiot and didn't have an, a vpn and now people are swatting him and also he's been in danger so yeah i i i, I don't want that to happen to me yeah protect us though i'm gonna take precaution so he basically shut down his content and that's why i'm able to grow on youtube because there's nobody else doing it mm. it's supply and demand yeah, i'm the so supply many. yeah my 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 whole thing is is if someone tries to turn up to my if someone turns up to my house being threatening i will literally drop kick them if they if, um, if someone the police, tries to swap me no. it's a if, it, if someone tries to swap me though it's a situation of i've already told my the police know that i'm a content creator and a streamer so they'll call me first i'm like i'm not aggressive in any way i have no criminal history i have no criminal history in any way shape or form you can check um What's but i'm a content that, though, creator i'm a content police and you're like hey i got a situation down here they might go are you oh, well, <laughs> i don't know they're literally cool they're literally cool yeah, i had so is asking you to accept his request to your house oh okay like you could get spent with i don't know stuff Huh. I had my HUD off, so oh, I, I can't. Oh yeah, that's like I can't. I, it's an invite. Yeah, I can't click it either. I don't know why. I think it's like invite plus or something. It's because this is my home invite world. only or something. It's my home world, Kim. Oh, <laughs> it's this is your home world. Yeah, you updated. I like I changed, the old one. But changed, this is nice. No, my old. My, I love my old one, but the problem is, is it was a very fucking small room. This one is at least big. Like if I if I end end up inviting loads of people and I'm like, you guys are being really loud, I can run to the roof and teleport over to there. I can get away easier. It's a bigger world. It's a it's a lot bigger. It's a 
it's still a little really calm. Plus, this one has a bit, this one has an amazing glow, which looks really, really cool with my hair. <laughs> I just ordered a new index headset. I, I am oh, fine. I need, I need, I need, oh, I need so new um, trackers. Um, I'm looking at the 3.0s so while waiting on the Tundras. Go have food. Go have food. Go have, go have noms. Go have noms. Thank my, you for the break. My cable mm -hmm. is broken. Oh, my cable clip is broken, so I'm now starting to see the dots all over my screen. Uh, Fantastic. You could just replace the cable. E however, my my audio solution is broken, so my my headphones are broken. And then the headphones I'm wearing are breaking Make down. All the padding is worn off. I have one base station, and my left joystick is also I'm about to press this button. drifting oh. terribly. It's not drifting because I have it all the way up to its max. Oh so yeah, funny, zone, funny point when it comes. Funny point with controllers. Um, if you get stick sh uh, stick drift on like any controller which have got a thumbstick. There'll be a little lip underneath it. Just get some compressed air or some electrical cleaner. Just spray it into it and then just mash it for like 10, like 20 seconds. Oh. It cleans it out. It's just dirty and it's just causing it to uh, unbalance itself, which causes it to drift. You just need to clean it like once a year. It's literally it. Just clean it once a year. I... <laughs> I've gone through six pairs of controllers. Because, because my of... last pair, the battery wouldn't charge. Oh, see, no, my I have two sets. Of, I have two sets of index controls because I bought the controllers and then I got the whole, and then I got the index set. Um, so I just use the new controllers. On the other set, the touch pads, the grip pads on them. Um, I, I, I did a game and it, early on after getting it, and I gripped them too fucking heavily for too long, so they they're really really loose for no reason oh. <laughs> and this one would have the same issue um i'm yeah i or i ordered a whole new index headset kit like everything that way i because i only have one base station everything's messed up but that way i'll have an extra pair of controllers despite the joystick having issues but that's fine if i can fix it that'd be fantastic oh, if yeah, not i can deal with it it's fine yeah. it's nice uh, having I'm a spare either way index. but everything else is I, broken angel just um if it become if if a uh, stick drift on anything becomes a problem, then you just just clean them. The problem is is with the index controllers is by the time you get stick drift on any of them, usually either the batteries will be going or the grip pads on them will be going. So you might as well just replace them. New index controllers when you open them out of the box just feel fantastic. Oh god, they're so is. nice. They're so fucking nice. They're like you I put them on, and the, why do they like feel it, worse the more you use them? <laughs> yeah, I I think it's just because I I, I don't know. I, I I genuinely don't know. I really don't fucking know. I will say this though, my only issue with the index controllers is I feel like they should have um I feel like they should have added in grip bump slight grip bumps into the touchpad because how it's just smooth it makes figuring out which finger you need to go for really annoying it just needs like a slight bump like two small bumps yeah, that in would the middle be nice. that way you can like fit your fingers into each individual thing yeah or have it so it's yeah. a bit or have it so it's a bit mushy with like a memory foam style thing so when you mush down on it like you grip on it down on it it just conforms to your fingers and it then it works something like that would be cool that'd be nice too I won't do that. Or though, just but... gloves. Why don't they just make gloves? That'd be cool. Oh yeah, that's an that's another thing as well. They could just do like one of the things that I was thinking is is uh they could do like a wrist strap thing with like a small camera or a sensor in the palm, and then just do finger tracking, where it just looks it looks for the points on the fing fingers and then just sends that data, and it just goes okay we're looking for that data, but uh, there's so many ways for them to do with controllers. Like you could just have it where it's just like the top pad with a with a thumbstick, which is just on a glove, and then it has like tracking points on the fingers, which then just track the individual fingers. <laughs> By the way, I'm really really sorry if you got hit with an ad. They happen roughly every hour, and there should be about a two minutes worth of ads. I'm sorry. I'm excited to see where VR goes. However, I have a friend who has a 3090, and he struggles to run his Vive Pro. Uh, do you want to um, know? Okay, I have a 3080 and I figured out what my bottleneck was. My motherboard is my bottleneck. 
<laughs> I have a fantastic motherboard. So I have a my my problem. Your bottleneck was what? My motherboard on my PC is my motherboard. bottleneck. My motherboard is a bottleneck. Oh. oh. It's I'm not. It's not that it's a problem. It's still way better than my 1060. But the problem is, is I have a PCI th Gen 3 motherboard, and it needs Gen 4 to get the full legs. And the problem is, is it's Threadripper I Gen 2. Don't know what I have actually. It's Threadripper Gen 2, so I need Katie. to. Katie. Yes. Zega is asking, did you get his invite? Oh, Z Games. Yeah, Z Games. Yeah. I, I just. Do you know he's, he's? I just accepted the request. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. I, he's, he's good people. I don't know what mine supports for um, my... There. AM4. Supports AMD Ryzen 3rd Gen, 2nd Gen. You I might not have update. Gen... You PCIe might... 4.0. Oh yeah, you'll be fine. I do. I'm Gen 3. I'm, I'm on a 2nd generation Threadripper. So it's like, yeah. I'm looking at doing a gaming rig. I'm looking at doing a gaming build at the end of the year, turning this one into a uh, um, like a workstation slash uh, encoder. And then what I want to do is um, right. what I want to do is after it's done, uh, what, what, what I want to do is after I've done uh, after it's run its course, I'm gonna turn it into the storage. I'm gonna call it the store hall. I'm just gonna turn it into a storage farm for all of my shit, so I don't have to delete stuff anymore. <laughs> Um. Oh, I don't know if I told you, but my 3070 finally came after oh, yeah, you, like I, I remember telling me a couple months. Well. I remember last time. Yeah, I remember you telling and me. And it's so much better. It's like so much better. Do you want to know something really fucking stupid? I went out, so I went, so I went and saw my weeb dealer yesterday. Oh, hello, Drew. Good to see you. I went and saw my weeb dealer. I hope you're well and good. And health. I went and checked out second. Uh, I, I went to CX. Yeah. They good. had a 3080 Ti for 1,200 pounds. I was like, motherfucker, what the fuck? Uh, How is you. that in stock? <laughs> How has this not been stolen yet? This is cheap. <laughs> This should be about two grand. I know. I spent twelve hundred in total on my thirty seventy. <laughs> Is that what and the fuck? I, it was like everything. I spent everything that I had on it. Oh, I spent seven. Um, I spent seven hundred and thirty. So I spent seven hundred and thirty quid on mine, and my card when I got it was worth one thousand seven hundred. Hey Kim, good to see you. I, my friend, one of my friends has it's a thirty seventy. He just bought a thirty eighty mm -hmm. in stock. It was about a thousand bucks. One Which thing. It's still I relatively out. cheap for what they're going for right now. Yeah. Sharing tips because we're both, both small peeps. Having oh, a shout oh, out. Oh, right. I have a friend who's got a 3080. Mm -hmm. And he runs a Pimax oh, 5K yeah, and he yeah. struggles I'll, to I'll, run I'll, that, which no, means 3090 that, is not going to be enough to run the Pimax 12K. Because oh, cool, cool. the 3090 can't run that. I'm sure it doesn't get to be now. It's too much. It tell you the command prompt to do it. It's more power than a 3090. Yeah. I think my mods can manage it. I think my mods can do it. Which means that okay. they come out with another index, a 3090. I don't, I don't know, I'm stupid. Oh no, no, the problem, <laughs> the thing is, is the next generation, the thing is, is the next generation index, um, one thing that, the, okay, like built in. Uh, eye tracking, foveated, okay. uh, foveated rendering. <laughs> right, which I think the, the new Pimax also has the 8K, yeah. but it's just, it's, yeah. the, uh, the, the optimization of it Cal, isn't good enough. Cal has an in right, right. Cal has an in an index and he also has the um <laughs> now Vive Pro I the and he and he here's the thing. Literally the same resolutions, but the performance difference <laughs> on the Pro I compared to the index is he'll get about an extra thirty frames. About an extra twenty, thirty frames because of the foveated rendering. That's really good, actually. Yeah. See? And that's in, like in, in and that's in VR the hat. <laughs> then all the next generation VR right. shit is going it's to like, have eye tracking. It's surprising the guy who including the Quest right Pro, including <laughs> including the Quest Pro, which is coming out. I know. Yeah. I I didn't want to buy a new Index because I was like, it's a thousand bucks and there's better stuff out there. <laughs> but at the same time, it's the cheapest. It's the best. That's the, actually at, decent. At it's the end good. of the day, try and have as it's long if you sh if you stream with it, if you do YouTube with it, I it's am, to pay the bills. It's the best. It's to pay the bills. It. At the at the end of the day, your goal mm -hmm. should be when X comes out, I'd like to buy it. Like when the Index Two comes out, as long as it's got better <laughs> cool features like eye tracking and stuff, 
then yeah. But more game, but more ga the thing I I said this as well. VRChat needs to add in the eye tracking system, the eye tracking support for the avatars because it will help them be way more avatars be more expressive. No, like right now, no, for me to blink, I have no. to tap my thumb. Mods do not get access to, to all have... the emotes. Oh god! I mean, mine kind of already blinked, but mine like, mine does you know, as well, it but it's nowhere near ah. as much. I I I I, ah. I don't even know why I, I have blink in setup. But um, what was I gonna say? But here's the thing, once VRChat gets the eye tracking, which it needs, more games will follow yeah, suit yeah. because, funnily point, if VRChat adds it, it turns itself into a standard feature in other games moving okay. forward. Like, most other games will start getting, like, eye tracking, <laughs> like, foveated rendering oh, yes. and stuff. Like, I, imagine a game, like, imagine, imagine yeah, this, know, a I horror best, game which requires eye tracking. Ever. Where where you can look down like when you can look, walk walk down a corridor oh, that would be and nothing pops up until you look around or you look at the corner of your eye somewhere and it knows you're looking there and then it turns something there like you can look over here and then like a figure turns up here and then you look that way and you're like oh fuck you can do some really cool things but it requires eye tracking and it's vr chat not having eye tracking is <laughs> holding back the industry the more you learn about your mods <laughs> yeah i mean i mean i'm excited i hope that vr chat does start to implement better things but it, it needs, doesn't seem it, like they're planning on doing that anytime soon well they've got here's a thing yeah. don't forget a year ago when they did the whole video and they were showing off all the cool and interesting features that vr chat's getting they mentioned the thing where you could use an iPhone to like skateboard with because you can put it on like a balance board and it will detect where it is. Why the fuck can't they do something as easy as your VR headset is sending information to the game? You could do the face tracking system to the game. <laughs> Literally, people mod it in. It works in <laughs> VR chat. People mod it into the game using hey, VRCX. Bless you. Why can't it just be standard? Why does it? Why does it have to be modded in? Hmm. Like I get it. Oh, oh but it stupid. might cause issues. And then you issues. get banned for having mods. Yeah, and it's like why? Why? Because oh, I've got a. Why? Because I got an expensive headset with this feature, and guess what? I would like to use it for my streams. You can get banned in VR. You can get banned in VR chat for sitting in your home world talking to your chat, but you use VRCX for face tracking features. It's because you want to be more expressive. But you get banned for that. It's so stupid. It's so fucking stupid. And the thing is, as well, VR chat. If you've got VRCX, you can't be crashed by crashes. Did you know that? It protects. It has a protection system in place to stop people from crashing you. The last on I, I, on on Wednesday, me and Kim were in a uh, were in a world, and there was a person in the world who was invisible, inviting people into the world who were blasting music. They weren't Jesus. crashing us. They were just. They weren't crashing us in a conventional sense. They were crashing us with other people, and we were doing tower defense. Mm. And someone literally walked into the fucking world and started playing around with the towers. We're like, we're on wave like 130, 140, how and rude. a dude comes in and just starts putting oh, towers God. down and spending all the money. I'm like, you understand how hard this is? Fuck off. <laughs> very rude. Yeah. It is yeah, very that's, rude. That is fucked up. So the reason why people... If, if, you, if you join a tower defense world and somebody's playing, let them fucking play. Don't yeah. get involved. Wait rule, for their turn to be over. Rule, it's just polite. What's rule, wrong with people? Rule fucking yeah. one of tower defense. Don't touch the fucking towers. Unless it's mm -hmm. your... Unless you, yeah. you claim it as your go, mm -hmm. and you're going a go on your own, you don't fucking invite and you both are people to... to you yeah, have to yeah. agree to it. You ask permission. But no, the person was silent, just going around going, I put the, 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 yeah. like no by It was the weirdest thing. And and then and then some dude turned up and he said he was part of like some sort part. of um not a crasher family. What was it? Like a like a oh, oh, family or oh. some bullshit. It was a person that basically a, a person joined who basically turned around and said, Oh, I'm part of a family who basically finds people with phantom pain and fucks with them. Oh, that was like, it, yeah. Yeah, they literally would go up to people with like avatars which would like light themselves on fire and then go up to them and 
they could feel the heat and they would feel the pain, yeah, or well, they would go up to them with like. To do with it's disgusting. Got a it's disgusting. It's such yeah. a disgusting. Because I know it sounds stupid. Oh, it's a VR game. They can't feel it. I'm like going. You understand? Okay. <clears throat> Phantom pain is an actual <laughs> thing. If you are an amputee and you mm -hmm. and you, if you're an amputee and you lost your limb, clenched, you. Look, Everyone in my chat right now, clench your fist as tight as fucking possible. Including you guys. Just clench your fist as tight as possible. Imagine okay. that endlessly all the fucking time. That is... Uh, uh, imagine that. You lost your hand and that was your hand pose. That's how phantom pain feels. Like you're clenching your fist constantly. And someone in VR chat <laughs> so thinks, I'm going to have fun with this. Imagine that like all the, the time. When... when when you're in VR for a very, very long time, your brain starts to connect the dots. And the streamers yeah. in particular, we spend a lot of time here. We network, we, we go on stream, we do quite a lot. And when we're in here for like extended periods of time, our brain somehow connects the dots between the avatar and and like actual that... real life. And that's why yeah. Phantom yeah. Touch and Phantom Pain becomes a thing. Yeah. Uh, so you can, it feels like goosebumps sometimes when you're being touched, but you know where you'll be in touch because you can feel it on your body. Um, and Phantom Pain, you genuinely do feel your brain connects that dot for you it's really quite bizarre so going around and Everybody. fucking with someone who who can feel it is awful that's a horrible thing for people it, to do i don't is. fucking understand why anyone I would do that really, somebody came up to me and they're like yo do you feel like do you have phantom touch and i didn't answer and they just started coming up to me and started trying to stab me yeah and i i do have phantom pain. Well, have yeah your response yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing in the situation where someone's like yeah it's the thing i like to fuck with people's phantom touch i i will literally i like it, like <laughs> if i know that someone has phantom touch right i won't go up to them and fucking stab them mm -hmm. i i just i just do like little things which freak them out like um a second fuck off i i do things like along the lines of um like if i if i'm sat <laughs> so if i'm sat here with drew say hi to the camera drew so, if, so you've got phantom hello touch. people you've got phantom touch haven't you yeah i do put your hands out like that and line up your real arms with it's like 100 percent accurate yeah so if this is one thing that i like to do in vr chat if i find someone has phantom touch i tell them to line up their arms in vr chat like they would in the real world and then what i do is i would just like i could feel you laying your arms on my arms when before yeah i can feel that yeah it just feels real to me yeah that's the thing that's the bit which i love to do i like to i like to boost their phantom touch i like to like do i small... don't think you can boost my <laughs> i i like to do things which would freak them out like one thing this might be a bit too less like one thing i think would, is really really fun is when you take your fingers and you run them down the inside of their legs and they don't like that because it really does turn people on when you do that and you've got to like I was gonna say no, I do like that. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Hmm. But yeah, that's the shit that I like to do. But when someone says, "Oh, I've got, I, I do have a phantom touch," and they go up to and start stabbing you, I'm like, okay. So would you go up to someone? Would you in real life? Would you go up to someone and be like, "I'm gonna just like, do you feel pain?" And then just randomly start ramming them and like, yes, a person on the fuck, yeah. a random person on the street, go up to a random person on the street and say, "Do you feel pain?" And then punch them in the face if they say yes. It's fucking stupid. Hmm. I don't worry, I was just turning People over. like to do Kali Ma every time they approach me, so I have to be weird if I'm doing a VR next to the OP and one's just shoving their hand through my chest trying to literally oh, I go know, so I know, I have, a, I have a friend who has really weird phantom pain, and the thing is, is if you, you go up to them, you put your finger on their forehead and then you slowly push it forward, they get like brain freeze, and I only ever did that when they were really fucking annoying me. I just go up to them and be like... <laughs> and then slowly push my finger into their forehead. It literally would get brain freeze and be like, and they, I, I did it once and they actually passed out. That's how bad it is. Phantom pain oh and phantom touch in VR chat is a very real thing. Do not fuck with someone because you think, huh, I'm being funny. Mm -hmm. It's like the next generation of crashes mm -hmm. aren't crashes. They're just no. dickheads trying to hurt people. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you for the nut fireball. Fair. What's funny is um, I didn't know Phantom um, Touch existed uh, until I had it. So it was actually, I got my Oculus Rift, or I got an Oculus Rift around 2017 for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And my frames were capped at 45 and I was kind of confused it was what was going on. I uncapped it, immediately I started feeling people touching me and people were like, yeah, that's Phantom Touch. Yeah, my frame... And it's always I been 100% accurate since yeah, then. I, I very rarely get like... Ooh. 
stupid amounts of FPS. So, mm -hmm. like, right now I'm sitting on 30. Oh, yeah. I, 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 in VRChat, I very rarely go above it. I think my motherboard is very oh, much above on it. Yeah. Um, but I do get fan I'm things now. If I, seven, if I'm, if I'm, I'm around, if I'm around people I know and I develop like relationships with, I get phantoms out. Like with Cal, he smells like lemon, like nice soft lavender and lemon. Um, and I just j j over time, I just genuinely, it, the more of a, the more of a friendship I develop with someone, the more I associate them with a given smell. Which is a really, really interesting thing. And the more I hang out in the world, the more of a smell I get from them. Is it? It's weird. Um, but it comes and goes with me. Um, I, I mean do... to leave your room more. <laughs> <laughs> my room smells. My room is really. My not room. You, not you. Not you. My room is like the. <laughs> my room is like the cleanest room in my entire house. It's because I keep my room fucking clean. Nice. That's no, funny. I. It's not an FBS thing. I just mean, it. Oh. Hmm? Hmm? What's up? Uh, did they crash? Who, Kim? Uh oh, who crashed? Kim? Nothing. Oh, both of you no, freeze. Kim's not my crashed. End. Oh, it might have been on your oh, side. Sure. Oh, what? What? I think you're. Oh, what did I miss? And I'm you. A real like, both of you were like die. froze on my end, and you were fine. <laughs> it's alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> It was very odd. For it. It was See, my it's a desktop. We're, we're, we, we we stand still. Everyone's used to us staying still. If you guys are moving all the time, stand still all the time. It's like, oh shit, you there? Shit, I think they crashed. No, yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, Phantom Touch wasn't like, it's not a, an FPS thing. It just, that's what had like unlocked it for me, I guess, was like, I just wasn't immersed. And then as oh, soon as my FPS oh, jumped yeah, to first, a smooth. First time, yeah. I got, first time I got VR, first I, I, I feel like this is for every, everyone that, uh, everyone probably has this. Anyone who gets VR for the first time has an outer body experience, which is really weird. Like they feel very connected in VR. And it's really weird. And then they get out of VR and then it no longer feels like it no longer feels like they are in reality. Like they become un, like almost feels disconnected in real life. For like a weird time, you're just sitting there going, "What is going? Why? Why? I don't feel like a." It's like a floating feeling out of VR, and you're like, "I need to be in VR all the time because the only only time I feel normal." It's your brain. If I you're can wondering, move my fingers. If you're wondering, life. If you're wondering what that is, it's your brain. Your brain rewired itself to VR. Because it was sensing something that it shouldn't have been sensing, which is reality, but that wasn't reality, if that makes sense. So the oh. outer body experience and I... the disconnected <laughs> sensation you get is your brain rewiring and it's just it's just reconnected some of the wires in a weird way. So you just need to learn to get that balance and then it just reconnects everything properly. It's weird. Okay. Trust me. I trust, trust, me. It's, trust me, science. Science, bitch. Oh, yeah, there was one point in time when I when I first got my index and I like moved my fingers. Obviously, you only get so much movement with your hands, which it, it's nice, if but it, it's not a ton. If, if After like spending a month in VR, if it wasn't for me, yeah, there was one my point. Access overlay screen on the back of my hand. I would feel. I, I feel way more connected and yeah like I've been tempted to move it to oh, be yeah. like under here so I don't see it all the time but I'm like I need I like that I'm gonna add a watch to my avatar so it so I can look it makes it look like I'm looking at my watch when I'm looking at the time like I've been in VR for four hours now <laughs> there was one point in time when I got out of VR because I had spent over a week straight in it and I like looked at my real hands I was like I have so much more freedom of movement <laughs> Oh my god! Can you imagine it getting to the? Can you imagine it getting to the point where um, our movements are near enough one to one in VR? I love that. That would be. Insane. It's like movements are one to one. Your ava you don't get the whole fucking having to recalibrate your shit every five seconds because you're you, you budged your hips slightly and shit like that. Can you imagine how it's gonna be? And then someone brand and that's like standard in VR. <laughs> And that's like standard, that becomes like standard in VR, and like every game is like full body tracks and face tracks and everything. Yeah, and that becomes like standard and shit. And it would be like so stupid, and then like someone brand new gets into VR and they're like, I, what is real life? What is going on? I just flew over the Alps. I don't know what real We've had too many people. 
that have had a Google Can Cardboard I... for their first VR headset. I had a Google hmm. Cardboard. But it's not for... VR. I had a Google Cardboard for my first VR <laughs> headset. Too. Do you want to know why I had a Google <laughs> Cardboard for my first VR headset? I had an interview with a game company which was basically making a competitor oh. to vr chat they told me i didn't seem interested in vr bitch seriously oh. <laughs> are you serious it's my livelihood now <laughs> it's like this <laughs> it's literally my livelihood they're like oh we don't think you were interested in vr i'm like going that's because that was the first experience <laughs> i had in vr i went home and bought an oculus rift because they made me want to get yeah. it. I should have said, I've never used a VR headset before. I should have told them, I've never used a VR headset before, so I'm going into this very much. I don't know what I'm doing. And then I got home. I want a mm. VR headset. I, I wouldn't even headset. consider a Google Cardboard a VR headset. I, it's not even... It's a good gateway. It's, like one of those it's so a once good, you get it, you're never going to go back. It's a good gateway to get you through the oh. door and porn. Um... But other than that, it's really not useful. That's true. I'm scared. Yeah, it's, 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 it's only good for watching porn. It's only good for watching porn. You know what you're talking about? One to one movement in VR, like you'd wear some sort of suit and you're in the game. You know you're talking about that just now? Will I still be able to hump animes? With permission. With permission. There you go. There you go. Of course, we're consent. Yeah. There you go. That's that the th I think that's a th I think that's a thing that like, some people don't get as well. I feel like, it's like that's something people don't get as well when it comes to VR stuff. They think, oh, it's a video game. You don't need to consent. I'm like, they're a person. You fucking do. Of course you do. <laughs> the only difference yeah, is, is you can't just you can't just go around sticking random oh, things in oh. people, especially when they're sleeping. That I feel would be like very bad taste. I feel like Drew may remember when this happened. Why do I feel but like a there's couple, an innuendo but like there? A, but like a year or two ago, there was a person in VR and this chat. This is the important part again. Don't make them drink the tea. I don't know what the fuck. But there was yeah, a like thing. Says, don't from, make them drink the tea. But like from over a year ago, um, I, like over a year ago, there was a person in VR who was a streamer mm. and a content creator who found an AFK person and decided to ERP with them on stream, by the way, with an AFK person. Really? Yes. Oh god. They got banned and they 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 had this. They went for a huge religious awakening. And so on and so forth. Everyone called bullshit on the religious awakening, by the way, because they're like, yeah, you only course. saw God because your fucking Twitch account was getting banned. <laughs> you stupid prick. Um, but yeah, he he went from yeah. having he, he went from having because he was on the verge of death. <laughs> he went from having like two thousand people on his Discord to having like no one. Everyone left the Discord after they found out. Because his whole thing was he was just mm -hmm. charming to I girls. I mean, that's, that's kind of like you're asking for it, though. You can't, you can't hump a sleeping person. They can't consent to the tea. Don't make them tea. <laughs> it's a genuine thing. Wait, why do... I think I know something about it. <laughs> Their British that schools the video school consent with tea, basically. Yeah. If, if yeah. you're going to make tea, if and you... now they don't want the tea, all don't all make them drink the tea. I feel like I've seen a yeah, video like that on YouTube when I was in school. There is a video on YouTube. Yeah. Don't drink the tea. Okay. Totally. Yeah, no. If they're, if they're asleep, <laughs> remember, sleeping people do not want tea. I do remember that. I've seen that video. There you go. Isn't that exact video? Don't, don't drink yeah. the tea. Don't so don't drink make the them tea. the tea. Don't. If they said they wanted the tea and then they went to asleep, sleeping people do not want the tea. So don't make them tea. <laughs> What if they have a caffeine problem and they want a cup of tea to wake themselves up and then they pass out because they have a caffeine problem? If if they wake up and ask for a cup of tea, then of course you can make them a cup of tea. But if they go back to sleep, they can't drink the tea. So don't make them drink the tea. Uh, I'm, I, I feel like you need to be high to follow this conversation. You could wake them up again and ask them if they want the tea and you can offer it to you, them. You could wake them up and ask them would they like some tea and if they say yes, then you can give them tea. But you can't force them to drink it, you can I, only make it too I, I, the, the important bit is you don't, don't make someone is. drink the tea. I don't know what this fucking conversation is. I am fucking lost. It's about consent, Katie. How do you not know? <laughs> I don't get what the conversation is. You're talking point... about tea. 
I think that's exactly. So, so T is, is, oh, is standing shit. in the place oh. of Humpy Bumpy. Oh, I get. Oh, I get it. So yeah. basic. So basically, you basically, basically, if someone says, "Yeah, I want a cup. I want a cup of tea," and then they uh, and then they pass out before you give them the tea, then. Then, then, then they, they can't drink the tea. Then don't give them any tea. You can't yeah. force them to yes, drink the tea. Because, heaven yeah. forbid, if you use the actual words used for the thing itself, it makes things actually make sense much more quicker. Yeah, don't. If someone consents to having sex Basically, and then they pass don't out. Don't go around fucking sleeping people. Yeah, don't go. Yeah. <laughs> As, I mean, we'll cut to the chase, right? Yes. It's like, heaven forbid, it's like uh, someone on the age of 18 learns the word S E X. <laughs> S E X. It's part of it. life. S E X. It's in the game. <laughs> it is. It is in the game. It's part of VR chat. Thank you for you this know? wonderful there's demonstration. Like a whole, hour. There's like a whole horny fucks community in VR chat. Didn't you know that? There's, there's a whole ERP community based around a couple of nightclubs in VR chat. That's a genuine thing that I found the other day, totally by accident. Wasn't looking for it. Bollocks. But yes, go on. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't. Like, I did not get what you. Were, I did not get what you were saying. What did you say? There's a there's an ERP community in uh, in VR chat based around a couple of nightclubs that I accidentally found that I totally wasn't looking for. And oh then yeah. Went, oh yeah. There's a whole there's a whole thing around there's a whole thing around the um there's a whole thing around the B club about swing there's like a swing a B club basically being a, a swingers club. Um. Mm -hmm. There's a whole I thing. Like swinging, swinging's fun. There's a whole thing. It's there's a whole... musical chairs. There it's is musical rooms. Yeah, there is also a whole I'm a thing. married woman. I shouldn't there's... be this lewd. There's a whole thing as well around um, some of the furry ones where they literally have an orgy every week. Like when I say an orgy, I mean like 15, 20 people in a world or ERPing at the same time. I mean, I mean, I may know about these. Sorry, oh, so bad. There's, the, there's the horny knuckles. There's the horny knuckles scene, which this one decided to marry into. Mm -hmm. I'll just see myself out, shall I? Like, like... <laughs> <laughs> You've been married for a whole last week. This is my first experience of a relationship. You've been married for a whole last week. You invited me to one of these fairy get together ERP sessions. Um, they're called like YIF files or something. Um, so I went to one. And yes, there is a world yeah, where there are just a bunch of theories just just going at it, just just, just going for it. It's a genuine thing. I think G, I think G, I, I think G might be getting a bit turned on from this. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, if you, I, would I, mean, you I, I may I may, if, have, I may have spent quite a lot of time just standing there watching for no particular reason other than you know scientific <laughs> <interest and> curiosity. <laughs> <You're> just... <laughs> You just offer them a the deck when they there, like, when they Adverse. when the, the, I can literally see them going at it mm. and they look up and say, "What?" and and your response was, "Do you want a Darley Dunker?" <laughs> you just offer them a Darley Dunker. <laughs> well, a cheese string. No, no. Do, do, oh, do, do you want to hang on? Let me let me let me bounce camera just in case this doesn't have any clothes on. It should do. Oh oh oh. I do oh. remember once that I joined, I requested off of hang on. my just point, hang point them. camera up. And they oh, shit, I can't do that. Except for the other it. thing. You need to turn off a look at you. Just turn it. They didn't. They forgot to tell me. Okay, they guys, bear with me a second. Nobody's ERP camera's pointing at me. Good, good. And I, I, think, I don't think they're like, streaming. Wait, what's going on? Next thing you know, I just see like the whole. Anyway, the CRP world is your brain. Okay, have I got close? Yeah, true. You seem, yes, you seem left. You seem left. When you get full body, by the way, you need to wait. When you get, when you, when you get full body, by the way, you need to wait until you're calibrated to confirm the clothing state. But if it's a custom avatar, just make sure that the lewd stuff is set to not save because you can actually tell it not to save. So, basically, I would run about in this avatar, oh, which my, my stream can now see, um, and I was dating another shark, and we uh, went to some of these fairy meetings, um, and it was it was interesting. It was it was an interesting time. I actually modified this shark well, to guys, be able to do, so uh, um, what right they now, call so. it ASL, because I wanted to learn how to speak to mutes, so I, I, I modified it to be able That's to do cool. the hand gestures. I know, I know, it's a real, why. real thing I, know I a, spent time I know doing. I know a bit of Japanese one, I know, I know, Baka, what's that, Baka. Oh god. 
I have troubles just trying to know no, like no English bullshit. like ASL. I know Another language ASL. I, I know I, the only the only um the only um, the only to... sign language signs I know are Bach. It's Barker. Point out thumb in Barker, mm -hmm. and then you got beautiful. Yay. Um. I, I know that it's I love you, and. I I know that that one, that one, that one, that one, that one is fuck off. <laughs> There's a lot to just say fuck off. Do you know what's an even quicker way? That. <laughs> that works yeah, then, just as quick. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know an yeah, Australian yeah. one, which is basically you take both middle fingers, you point it forward, and then you <laughs> spread them outwards. And it's like, fuck you and all your mates. <laughs> wow. I still, I still, I still think that the, the best way of telling to someone to fuck off is the Welsh way, which is Kerry Gravy. Which I love that. I love that. Kerry Gravy is actually a shortening of a whole sentence. Kerry Gravy to clean Dean, which means go and scratch your ass. Oh, yeah, there's which also. Which I think is the nicest way of telling someone to fuck off. There's also you put your thumb in your I mouth and then you, you can go also like, bite your thumb, yeah. You go like that one and you go like yeah. that, which is like, go fuck mm. yourself. Yeah. I'm learning Japanese. I, 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 did, I, just... I know that this is Cry, this is World, um, that's yeah. Brother, and that sister or something along those lines. It's, uh, it's been a long time since I fucking think Well, I need to do uh, Scots. And I know that this means do you understand ASL. I know that. Oh yeah, I'm learning, mm. but the first, Amazing okay, the stuff that you're doing. first, what, okay, when you're learning a new language, I'm learning Japanese, um, when you're learning a new language, the first things you need to do, the uh, first things to learn is, um, do you speak English? That way you close the language barrier and so you can actually have a conversation with them. Do you speak your language? Mm -hmm. The second one is I'm learning to speak your language, so please be patient. Um, and then you can say I'm very new. Um, it's like, I'm very new to learning said language. The third thing, the, the next thing to learn is um, fucking learn all the swear words. Language has become way more enjoyable once you know all the swear words. I'm not even lightly exaggerating with that. You can quote me on it. If you want to learn a language, mm -hmm. learn the swear words first, and then it's so much more enjoyable and you learn way more. After that, learn the numbers, learn the days of the week, the months of the year, and then everything past that is just usually structuring and specifics but trust me get that shit out the way in that order and you do way better mm. like i can count one to s uh, one to seven in japanese easily now yeah i can count one to seven and i'm still trying to get the rest of them down though but yeah I'm, i've only just recently really started learning and trying to learn in between things i'm learning hiragana and stuff as well Hmm? What's up? You're muted, by the way, Drew. Hmm? Drew. We I... can't hear you. <laughs> Hello. Kim is muted as well. <laughs> Bonjour. I'm not boop. Are you, I was doing part. something. Are you kidding me? Mm. I literally didn't do anything. Why is... Wait, did I just call you Drew? Oh god, I really am tired. What? I actually swapped you too. I think, I don't know. I... I'm confused. I don't know. I have I'm... no idea how to breathe. They, I know Katie said someone was muted, and I thought yeah. I was pointing at the person who was muted. Oh, it was me. Yeah. Sorry, I was talking to chat. What was it? Right. Stop drawing all over the world. I, I, was talk I, was talking, I was talking about learning French, and how ridiculously difficult it was to learn French because oh, of the I learned... that you had to learn to start with. I learned, I learned a bit of French when I was in See, school. I can do... I, I can count I, to, like, I, 30, oh and gosh, I can yeah. count to a 30, and so. I can do the alphabet. You find anything like any luck with the jobs yet? Um, so so I learned I learned some French and I will I will explain it to your chat right now. I've already explained it to my chat. So the French that you learn in in, in school is uh, bonjour, which means hello, and then you start with le souris under le table. For sure. That means the mouse is under the table. Yeah, le chan avant le branche, le chat avant le rug, or something along those lines, which means the cat's on the rug and then the, the monkey's in a branch. It's really really hard to practice that, because if you want to practice that in French, you've got to carry around a table, a cat, a monkey, a mouse, and a rug. You know, and then the monkey yeah. would just fuck off. 
Because yeah. it wouldn't just go in the branch. Okay. It? It, would just, it would just chew wanna, away. Do you want to know my whole... The reason why yeah. I p agree that what you need to learn is swear words first. Do you want to know why I believe in that? What? By the way, if I go this way for some reason, yeah. I get shorter. I if, I go over here, if, I if, you, if you want to learn some swear words, I'll teach you some in Italian. Oh no, that's the thing. Um, I, I, the reason why I agree that the first word you need to learn in, when you're learning a language is swear words is because mm -hmm. when I was in school, the first thing we learned was hello, hi, which is bonjour, salut, and then we learned how to swear in French, literally. Yes, oh, Evan. My yeah, teacher yeah. literally went, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I wanna get you guys interested. I'm gonna teach you how to swear in French. We would go around just Don't going me just we would walk around going mouths all the time because it's fucking hilarious. Hi, Teachers I... knew what we were mouth. saying, okay. but because it was a swear word in a different I language, I couldn't do shit. And we learned way more yeah. French because oh. we were allowed to swear as long okay. as it was in French. I learned, I learned a little bit of Russian, that's funny, um, because a Russian friend of mine that I met bumped into in VR chat taught me a little bit. And I know that NIET is no, DA is yes, KISKI is pussy, what is going on and in my KROVA room? is cow. What is going on? Why so, is it NIET, KROVA, KISKI means no cow pussy. I'm actually probably gonna go Why you would ever need to say that, I don't know. But, Bro, but I, I just find it funny. If you're getting off over... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... That's fair. Okay. I was gonna. I had gotten on to record an update video for YouTube, but I'm not ready because I gotta do a bunch of stuff first. Huh? I'm trying to get into the I YouTube stuff thing. My Patreon. I'm trying to get into the YouTube thing. I'm try. I wanna try and. I. I wanna. I'm gonna uh, do a thing with my streams. Um, where I basically do it, do those, and then edit them out into multiple videos. Gonna try that for a while. See how I... it goes. I might turn that into my regular format, and yeah. then do, and then do passion project videos after. Did somebody say wobbles? I'm changing my whole uh, whole thing on YouTube. I'm still doing voice trolling, however, um, I'm gonna do three people instead of twelve people per video. That's gonna change from a compilation style to a different style. However, oh. I wanted to make an update video because I've been away for a while. Oh yeah, just a yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a good. It's a good. I I have yeah. an. I'm I'm back on the shorts grind. I'm using Adobe Rush for my shorts. It's actually really good for shorts. Okay. It's really, and I think it's free, nice. and it's so good because you upload. You up, okay. Premiere. Cool thing with Adobe Rush is you upload a video, you tell it I want it, I want this to be in portrait, and if as long as you're the only person on camera, there is literally a button to say track me, and it will track you wherever you oh, are on okay. the screen. So you can be like, you can be like over here on the screen, and then you can walk over here, and then you can walk over there, and it will average based on who's the screen. So if there's two people on the screen, it will just it will just choose the middle ground between the two of you but if your face is showing then cool thing and then you can be like i need to recenter this and then you That's just be... nice. it's really really cool it's yeah. so worth using I for gonna... shorts i i don't really do shorts anymore but i when i did do shorts i just used premiere because it did everything i needed to do so is... um you say you say voice trolling right so i'm curious is, is that your real voice or are you putting that on both yes and no I... Okay. Yeah. Cool. Do you want to drop the hat? It's complicated. Do you want to you wanna drop the hat on Kim? No. <laughs> Not now. Are you sure? I feel more comfortable. I wish I sounded like that. Come That's here. just me. Come here. Come here. I still remember you as your snowman. Alright. Yeah. I'm I, um... always a DM away from you. Yeah, I wanted to set my Patreon up before I ended up oh, making God, yeah. an update Page, video, but I Page don't know it. what to give Page, you. Yeah. Page. Oh, just uh, early access. Just turn around and say early access um, and stuff like that. Set up early access. early access to what? Early access to your YouTube videos. That's it. Just have like I, 20... I was just saying to chat. One of those. Just turn like, around. Have... She sounds yeah, just thing. fucking hot. Just set, it, like, just set it to like 12 or 24 hours amazing. ahead of the video. That way they get 12 to 24 hours ahead of it. But the problem is, is that I've learned is you need to try and post on your Patreon at least twice a month. At least that's from my understanding. Sometimes I mean, you just I get... I haven't posted anything on my Patreon and I already have like four people donating. It's oh, so Cal, Cal has 10 people and he has oh one post and he has one post on there. And I'm like, Cal, if your internet keeps going out, make a Patreon. 
It's like going, I can't, I haven't got the money to do the Patreon. Improvise, adapt, over fucking come. Stop being. Isn't Patreon free? Like you don't need money. Carl's Holcomb, he should be able to do that. Bridget, stop doing that. I know that. it's. He wants it. He does. <laughs> he does <laughs> avatar <laughs> shoots. He does. He puts his. He, he puts his avatar in an outfit and then uh -huh. puts it on. The one he was looking at, the I outfit pay. he wanted to put on his avatar, he needed to pay for. Oh, he wants to buy that. Outfit. And right, he needed okay. to buy it. And I went, like, Cal, just find a fucking outfit. It's a made avatar for fuck's sake. It's not anything special. Find something. Yeah. And then, or even do a different one for now, I and then make enough I, money off of the Patreon and I, save that up. For yeah, the... I literally will go into I'm a like world. Super in, intrigued. I will go into a world in VR like, chat, yeah. or I will see a post on Twitter, and I go, "Ooh, that gives me an idea," and mm -hmm. then I'll go off and I'll do the pictures. I don't really go. I'm going to do a very specific avatar with this. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm super intrigued. If that's not your, the voice you were born with, for lack of a better way of putting it, how long did it take you to get that to, to sound as good as you do? Uh, roughly five and a half years of practice. Okay. Yeah. I'm fucked then. I can sing as well, and, um, not fucked. I said, I, 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 my voice is shit. Don't know why my avatar is going My normal voice is a lot, it's definitely a lot deeper. Kim. What the fuck? There we go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there it is. What the absolute fuck? And you wonder why they no do the voice trolling. So you could do voice- No fucking way. You could do for some of the higher rewards, by the way, Drew, on your Patreon. You could literally do it so you help no and advise way. people on what they should be trying to focus on with like, the their voice training if you want to. That's the thing, though. There's so many free tutorials out there. I would just basically what be quoting- but, but here's the thing. But Drew, here's the thing. It's the one-to-one -one vibe that you can give, what, you've give never the person seen the videos. that they don't get. That's the bit which you could try and do. Yeah, but um, no, I haven't. No. The issue with that too is I'd, I'd have to have like so many. I'd have to have so little amount of people donating for that specific uh, you, tier. Like well, I have to make it one tier. You could do it for like you could do it for like a twenty-five dollars a month tier, and then like once or twice a month you're in the Discord. Only people can on that I tier can go and... like only so many people on this tier. Can I make it so you I can, can cap uh, it? You can cap it. So only so many people you can, can, you cap, can cap a tier. It. That's yeah. yeah you can you cap a tier. Okay. Because I don't think I could actually fuck? work with more than maybe like three to five people a month. Yeah, oh, but that's yeah, the thing. You could like, you could do it like you do it one day a week, one day a month, and just say we're gonna do it on this day a month, and everyone on this tier can come in. Cool, and you could just have it as a separate section on yeah. your Discord and just be like private. It's a private tier, so you get access. I to could it. do like um. But problem maybe is, I could is have if... it like twenty-five people or something. What is and going on can, with my like, tracking? Make it a schedule and say okay, these mm. people on this day, these people on this day. But I'm not sure. I just, I don't know. I, I don't want to sell that though. I'd feel so terrible. I just want to be able to make a free voice tutorial. My tracker yeah, is saying it's in the middle. Are you going to teach me that shit? The fuck? <laughs> I want to learn that. She sounds... Like, I, like literally, I was think? sitting there going, she's got a really pretty voice. Hulk, Hulk fucking smash one. And, and then, and then that. What the hell? <laughs> Hulk, ma Hulk the smash fuck? one. <laughs> Hulk smash. Hulk smash many times over. What Ready the fuck? Ready Hulk smash within like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh my, my, my God. fucking, I'm, 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 what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the fuck? My tracking is being weird right fuck? now. My tracker is on the s- Okay, my brain is okay. Grinding now. What's happening right now is my tracker right. is here, but it's saying it's in the middle, so well, at it's... this point, you probably, you changing your voice basically is equivalent to throwing a can of Beijing corn at Kim's head and then causing emotion. When I say damage. voice trolling, I don't, t I don't tip actually mean like, I go up to people and it's like, oh, I'm this way, and then I go, I'm not that way. It's just, I go up to people, they assume one thing, and I switch my voice, and they just assume the other. Mm -hmm. I don't go up to people. And you, I, get, you, get you, 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 basically, you get someone go up to you. Basically, you get someone go up to you and say, "Oh, ha, 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 you sound hot." Oh my god. What the fuck? Yes, mummy. And then you like go, <laughs> "God, what the fuck?" I love, you, like, go I love go, it when people come up to me and they do that because I can just immediately switch and I know they'll freak out. <laughs> I'll be like, oh my god, your back. voice is so hot, and I'll be like, "Yeah, thanks. I've been working on it for a while." <laughs> <laughs> It does not even face if me. Kim, no. If Kim if Kim still if Kim still had a dick, you just oh. made them erect. Oh my god. <laughs> Kim's Kim Kim Kim's <laughs> done the operation and everything. Are you kidding me? It's still doing it.
It's, my tracker's still there. Wait, you do doing. the operation? Yeah, she's 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 upgraded. She's upgraded. Oh. She did, that's she why up... I went from 3k on YouTube to over 50 in less than a month and a half with only five videos. Yeah, because their stuff their stuff is yeah. really unique. Meanwhile, there's me. I'm just a useless mm -hmm. person. I'm just a useless piece of shit. I'm just trying to find my You feet. are not useless. I'm a useless I'm piece useless. of shit. Okay? I literally live with I my mean, fucking mother. I am a I talentless... Shit. My index is I broken. Am I just have the last penny. I am a talentless slut, okay? I have a fucking vagina and I don't sound like that. What the fuck? Just because you got rid of your balls. You want to trade? I mean... <laughs> fuck, don't tell anybody. You want to trade? Sure. <laughs> fucking have it. Let's go. Fuck, I want that voice! What is going on with my fucking track? Look, look, as I go this so way, as I go, right now, as I go this way in my room, I get fucking shorter, and what then the as fuck? I go this way, I get what taller. My knees <sighs> literally buckle for no reason. I don't know why it would do that. <sighs> the fuck? How are you I... doing, Bridget? I'm doing pretty good. You know, That's I would, but I, I have, a, I have a heart problem, so I can't do that type of stuff. <laughs> And that's why I spent over five yeah, years one, practicing. Yeah, one of the things as well that Kim oh, probably yeah, incredible. Wow. Kim, Kim. One wow. thing that Kim's probably forgotten as well is that HLT actually does screw your heart up a little bit. Yep, and I have a heart problem, so yeah. I, I literally can't do that. I would it's die like, if I had tried to do anything. That's why I do voice trolling. I use this talent now. <laughs> Mm. No, it's, not it's, 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 it's not, not useless. useless. It's beautiful, and, and you should be really proud of being able to do that. I am, um, I guess, kind of. That's a hell of an achievement. I'm a talent. Like, seriously, like, like my only, my I only work is I was self-taught. I didn't take any My only work is my twelve years of experience in Blender, and past that, I'm useless. As I, I said literally, before, I just can do this voice, and that's all I've got. And Donald Duck. Oh, I can't. It. That's all I fun, have. Funny sure. point. I, I can't. Have a nice butt. I guess I could sell that. Funny point. I can't I even. I can't even turn around and um, I can't say anymore that I'm a mod of five on a server of seven thousand, because that server merged with the official ZBrush Discord, so now it's completely useless. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was a mod of, I was I one of five mods on a ZBrush server with 7,000 people and it merged, so I'm like, oh, this like is... Swapping between two and fro with Hager voice. Yeah, I know. And I think millions would also want to just sound that way and not switch. Exactly. I, I would love to sound like that. Exactly. That's incredible. Well, it comes with practice and patience. You have a real It comes talent. with practice and patience, though. I know, I know. I know loads of trans people who literally sound I... like that all the time, and then uh, um, and they refuse to go back the other way. They're like, I'm I'm tuned in. I'm not going back the other way. And then something happens, and they'll right. accidentally like they'll get angry, and then they'll switch over. Like it's just a My... rage thing for yes. them. See, now... <clears throat> When I tried to do a female voice, it sounds kind of like that, which sounds kind of like I'm on helium, so it's no good. Yeah, oh, me and Kim stupid, talked so about this the other day. Me and Kim talked about this the other day. The fact that no, when you do voice cool. training, you go through phases in your voice. The whole fact that you go through the nasally sound, then you oh, go through what I like Mickey Mouse. and then we we talked to the fact that the fact that your accent starts to change and you just go bitch voice where you're just like, oh my <laughs> god, all the time, and they're like, what the fuck. Like, literally, it's oh, just like teenage, te teenage, 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 and then you just get some people who literally if, if will I just do a voice. Welsh accent, I, it's not so bad. I just, t I just go super posh when I have, uh, whenever I try to do voice training. I'm like, I don't want to sound like See? that. <laughs> the Welsh can't be bitchy. Basically, what I do. See, now if I do a Welsh accent, it sounds kind of normal because I sound like any other girl who's from Mythfair if you put on a Welsh accent. Because this is genuinely what they sound like. Oh, it's quite sing songy. It's a bit fucking weird it's though, isn't follow. it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, really I, I funny point. Funny, funny point. I stayed around hers for like I, really I sound. I, st I spent. <laughs> I stayed around hers for like two months, a few years back, and she talk. She would. Mm -hmm. She would talk Welsh with her boyfriend at the time, like every so often, and I was slowly picking up Welsh from her <laughs> to the point where I came home and I started talking to my dad a bit in Welsh, and he was like, "What the fuck did you say?" I went, "Oh shit." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because because there's, there's, so there's certain Welsh words that we that we use even in English speaking households. So we'll like we'll like use words like "shumaibat sitoti," which means "hi, dude, how's it going?" Or, or my favourite one that I used to say to him quite often that Katie picked up was I used to say "yam cunt." It's the Welsh way of saying "right cunt," which is our way of saying hello. 
Yeah, fi- I, I, it's I, genuinely favorite, that we do. Favorite word in Welsh has Beyond to be cunt. favorite word, word in Welsh has to be jellyfish. Oh, okay. So we had no word for jelly. Um, so the English in, uh, brought us jelly, and we had no word for it. So, so we literally called jelly wibbly wobbly, which gave us a bit of a problem, because uh, then we had no word for jellyfish, but we have a word for fish, and the fi- the word for fish is piss god. So jellyfish became piss god wibbly wobbly, which is a real word in Welsh, and it sounds a fucking r- wobbly. silly. It sounds silly. <laughs> oh my god. That's so so yeah, piss god wibbly wobbly just sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, it's a genuine thing. We also call microwaves pop de ping, which which is funny to some people. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Microwave is pop de ping, yeah. and, and um, <laughs> board is bordio smoothio. Bordio <laughs> smoothio. <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, funny, funny, funny point in Japanese. Sometimes uh, they actually uh, steal words from they steal English is. words, it's and it's just toast. really, really it's really funny. Um, because yeah, you know, super dry has kanji oh, underneath it. Do you want to know it's super dry? Tosti. Do you, you want to know what super dry in Japanese is? Super dry or? It's, it it probably not, would be the words <laughs> underneath it literally do not say anything about super dry. It's just words from Japan. I think I can't remember what it says underneath it, but it's something along the lines of like um, hope, meaning, and shellfish. I think those are what it says underneath it, and the super dry. It's like what the fuck? Because <laughs> super dry in Japanese is, is super dry. <laughs> My, my, my favorite word in Welsh is sklodion. It means chips. Oh, God. But, but, but I just love saying it. Sklodion. Sklodion. Great word. Oh, God. You know? I nearly fell over. Sklodion. Although a lot of people like it when I say Slanvaya Fukuyiko Gere Krinjoba Slandesi Yugo Yeah, because it's like one of the longest words in the world. That's hilarious. It's one of the longest words in the world. Yeah, it, it's uh, a place name. I'm actually going there um, tomorrow, funnily enough. Okay. Let's go. I can take lots of photos of me standing next to that sign. Oh my god. Oh, I'm exhausted. Same. I'm hungry as well. I, have I haven't so eaten today. I, I haven't eaten anything. Today. I haven't eaten pizza. Well, I'm gonna have. I'm, a, I'm having carbon. I'm having. I'm having spaghetti with carbonara after stream. Oh, lovely carbonara. I want. I really want chicken alfredo. That's just me. I've had it in a while. I'm addicted to unhealthy foods and cheese. I find it really funny how content creators basically go, I'm addicted to unhealthy food, but it's like, no, you're addicted to convenience. It's not the food that you're addicted to. No, no, no I, well, I mean, maybe. Me, I don't really care about the convenience. I'll sit in the kitchen for a few oh, hours. Oh, for me, it's all about it's the just, convenience. There's so there's foods that are just like so good. <laughs> like, for me, it's very much all about the convenience. I would sit there for hours to make. Like, oh, I would do. Okay. I would do. I'm. I'm a... I don't know what's going on. I got short again. I got short again. Okay, I'm. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I fixed problems from last stream because that was yes. Um, I am throwing you glorious people at the, the amazing Lulu. I owe them a raid. So you need to know. I owe Lulu a raid, so I'm throwing you guys at Lulu. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed today's stream. Oh god. I hope everyone enjoys today's stream. Thank you all of you guys for all the fucking follows. I really appreciate it. I'm having problems with my tracking. Thank you for all the follows. Thank you for the subscribers. I really do appreciate it. Thank you everyone for all the bits. I'm going to be adding in the, um, the, t- uh, the, the, the donator and bit thing for the bottom of the stream. So when the top person will get appreciated every stream. Thank you everyone for coming today. I really appreciate it. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Don't forget... Tomorrow we have uh, Dress Up Darling, and Sunday we have Demon Slayer, which might be the last one. So if you're watching those, make sure you catch up, keep ca- caught up. Don't forget to join the Discord. I'm going to be posting a short on my second YouTube channel. It's Miss KB2. Um, I will see you guys Monday, and we're doing variety on Monday. New format. I'm trying a new thing from this point forward, okay? I love you guys so much. Thank you for such an awesome day. I love you guys. Mwah. I will see you Monday, okay? See you. Go show Lulu some love, but guys, bye. Is it not raiding? You fuck.